Boom. Now it looks like a wow. And I think we're live now. Are we live? We're going to pull it up live. Was well, I picking my nose when we went live? What happened there? Well, you're always picking your nose when you Well, that's live. true. <laughs> that's, that's true. All right. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> Should we say that? Everyone hates it when we say that. How come Jet's always giving us crap for saying that? Nah, we're for just D &D? going off the rails right from the beginning. Well, I, I, it's, just, it's just so inauthentic because because then it feels like you're like, just just be yourself. You I know am right? myself. I'm welcoming everybody to the show. This is this is Dennis. I'm David. If you don't already know, uh, we have somebody new on the uh, rack. On the rack? Not my rack. The uh, electronic <laughs> rack. Whatever that is. <laughs> what are you saying over there? Uh, what's his name? Isaac. Isaac So is here in the house. We we introduced him the other day. I like how you have to do his first and last. Well, thing. yeah, because I like the So part. I love that. We're just gonna call cool him Mr. Name. So. Mr. So, because everyone's gonna be like, so what? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's gonna be oh, he's doing the laugh. He's laughing out loud, belly laugh, belly laugh back there. All right. How you doing, Robert Barnes? How do you see? How do you see who's there? Robert B is in the house. That's dude, fantastic. Dude, 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 I'm, I'm way ahead of you. Uh, okay, I'm way ahead of you. That doesn't take a lot. Oh, I think oh. Alex is twitching right now. That's that's what people are saying. Oh, he's twitching. Well, he's that's twitching. too bad. Uh, he's yeah no. So we only have, we don't have like we have like two people. We we have been divided. Oh, we're dividing. We're divide and conquer. Oh well. I not okay, leave, no. no one's leaving Alex. That's the thing. Because if he's in full DJ mode, it's the dude and dude show. Yeah, if he's in full uh, DJ mode, yeah, no one. Alex is sorry. <laughs> Who's that? Okay. Anyways, all right. Uh, pick your friends, pick your nose. There you go. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, yep, fantastic. This is uh, another episode of D&D. But today we're going to actually, this is our independence. We're going to try and introduce all of our staff here at Casino Quest. It's D&D it's uh, &D Plus. It's D&D &D Plus Day. So we're going to introduce uh, some of the students. Uh, all of them have, are going through the school or have been graduated from the school. If you didn't already know, we have um, Jesse, Mark, Isaac here now. We have Dean. Yeah, of no. the Goldberg family. Of the Goldberg family. Of the Goldbergs. Of the Goldberg lineage. Of the Goldberg lineage, yeah. So we have um, we have that little nepotism. You know, runs in the family. Dude, he's been literally dealing since he was in the womb. <laughs> his uh, his mother his mother conceived of him on a blackjack table. He was shuffling table. cards. Like. <laughs> she was shuffling something, sir. Oh, she my was, God. Oof. I don't, I don't want to know what shuffle. she was shuffling, okay? And so there, Dean popped out. Uh, and there was no insurance. Someone skipped the insurance on that one. <laughs> They're like, no, no, I don't need insurance. And then, oh, crap. You're here like, it comes. Yep, yeah. that's a win. Anyways, okay. Uh, so, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much. Alex is live. Yeah, Inception is going on. I got to... Look, that, look, that's got to be weird. We're all live at the same time. Look, Poor just Alex. play both streams at the same time. I don't see the problem. Yeah, you know how you double box? Like anybody, anybody ever play games where you two box? You yeah. Know, if you have like you, you have two accounts and you work one account. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I've done that. I used to do yeah. that all the time. Yeah. So you can you can like uh, two box the. Uh, you can do that at poker. Yeah. Is that cheating? That's like not cheating. Online poker. Online two, poker. Two, two tables open. You can have two, two tables. Just two work two tables. I think I think as long as they're different tables, it's okay. Oh, uh, you can't work the same table. Oh, can, can the same yeah. Oh, he says he can't do. It. Like no one ever does that. Come on, do people do that? That's bro. It's you, illegal? You know what the guy next to you has. You're no, like, clearly. Like, like, what if you end up in a final pot with yourself? <laughs> yeah. You're like, you know what? I would probably lose that hand, just so we're clear. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I would lose that hand. No, that's true. No, it's not K-pop uh, cups, just uh, so you know. Those aren't K-cups. Oh, wait, wait, what? These? These are all chips up collected. Yeah, Mel. I got Mel, Toothpick. I got... Who else do I got up here? I got a bunch of people. I got Color Up. I think I have a bunch of Craps Nation believe it or not. Uh, there's a few that I have at I home. I, I haven't been able to. Uh, this is my new chip rack. Is it these? But uh, I got... Uh, Silent Shooter. I got AZ. Yep. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, Dennis can deal a 10-minute challenge. We, we're going to set it up so that you can request a dealer. We have this new reservation system going out, and you'll be able to make a request. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, prioritize like who you can pick. And as you go down the list, you'll either pay more or less for that dealer. So do they pay half because I'm like half the size of all oh of you Oh my guys? god. Dennis is uh, a debt of Dennis. Dennis. Dennis is uh, <laughs> you can't say my name right now. Well, I got mouth tricks already. It's terrible, dude. dude. I swear to god. We, we start with the we start skinny. with the mouth tricks already. Uh, mouth tricks from go. Oh my god. This is how you know it's going to be a good stream. Yeah, perfect. The, the more the more weird I am. Perfect. I mean, uh 
it's a, it's been a long journey for me to be able to deal a 10 minute challenge i actually dealt mm -hmm. a, a like a pseudo 10 minute challenge the other day really yeah because uh, timmy was running late so I, I actually dealt, I was like, oh, do you want to just do a practice run? When does and I was Timmy doing, not run late? That's all I look, want to know. Look, like, look. If you come here for your 10-minute challenge, book it for the half hour after you actually want it to take place. So you know, Timmy's already here. Like, so that way you know. You, like, let's say if you have dinner reservations at 4 and you're thinking that you can do the 3.30, you better book it at 3. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, by the time, uh, you know, Timmy gets set up and gets ready and, you know, it's going to be... A minute but anyways so you're saying you'd be half like you're not giving yourself any credit like they went instead of paying they would pay half they half <laughs> off for dennis i think everyone wants you to deal but but they would like really they, no they want me to deal. they, they want you to deal blackjack because it's it's it would be it would be funny just having you go yeah. through the, By the whole time thing. i got out enough hands you wouldn't have a chance to win anything <laughs> that's why you would be you would, you would, would win suck. already just because yeah. of so little hands no no so i'm, I'm a slow ass blackjack dealer dude I, I failed all those. They, they test you on blackjack. So what happens when you when you first get hired as a blackjack dealer, they don't really care about how many hands per hour you get. But eventually that becomes a marker. Yeah. So if you're expected to uh, to stay, some casinos have higher and higher hands per hour. They even have there's a one casino that has a 45 second hand shuffle on a, on double deck that you have to get down 45 seconds. And believe it or not, it. It sounds like it should be pretty easy, 45 seconds, to do just a two-deck shuffle. But it, it's, it's not that easy if you're just starting out. And if you don't no, do it, true. you get written up. You know what I mean? And so, we, But if you're doing the 10-minute challenge, you want someone like Rocky or, or even like, like Timmy now pulling cards out quick. Well, actually, I've learned how to deal pretty quickly. I've actually taken two really? auditions. I've taken Lauren's audition. Have you passed the auditions? Which, yeah, Lauren's audition I passed easily. Becky's audition... I had to do it yeah. twice, just so you know. Everybody's a bit nervous about Becky's audition. Becky's audition is tough, okay? I'm surprised Lauren's isn't tougher. Lauren's, because she's got that, no, because that extra urinal uh, Cause Lauren's chromosome. Very, as much as Lauren is great at, uh -huh. at all the, the details, she's very forgiving in those details. So, really? So she, she's so when I, sweet. So when I, did, when, wow. I did, when I did my audition, right, she yeah. was sitting there and she's like, okay, this is how you do it. And then I did it right. And she's like, okay, good. You know what I mean? But Becky's like, you didn't do it right. Do it again. <laughs> Yeah, Becky doesn't. She doesn't stand for any nonsense, dude. Dude, she broke her leg twice and still didn't. She didn't miss a day at the school. She just brought in this little roller thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then she broke her leg again, and she's dude. She just keeps ticking. But to be fair, the the reason why uh, I I failed the first Becky audition is because I grew a lot of bad habits. Oh, really? Yeah, no, that was that was the real reason. I had to uh, I had to clean all the bad habits. I was like, oh crap. Yeah, no, we don't want to have a lot of bad habits. All right, hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Uh, Tennessee on vacation. Fantastic. Uh, we got yep. We got so this is, this is, uh, what do we have? Someone gave us a super chat. Oh, Can Mr. Mr. Ken, Ken no. Fantastic. It's a suggestion it's just, for D&D &D food review. Oh, yeah. Well, really? Yeah. What's the uh, suggestion? Los Arcos Beauty Eye in uh, Vegas. Dude, I'm all in. Really? Do they have drive through Cause, Do uh, they have drive through That's Los <laughs> Arcos Birria. Oh, no, it's I, Mexican. I, is it Mexican? It's Mexican. Yeah, you better pronounce that. I'm going to butcher that <laughs> one. Uh, hello, everybody. We have, by the way, we have a ton of fans today, so that's good. So a lot of people from all over visiting us. We had someone from uh, North Carolina. We actually had a group that met. That's what, It's kind of cool if you, if you, uh, you go to college. Yeah. Or wherever you go, and then you know life happens. You end up in different parts of the country, and then use Vegas as your centerpiece. You come back to Vegas to kind of enjoy each other's time, you know. So we had a group here yesterday from uh, from like three different places, and sort of reconnecting in Vegas. Yeah, they were all from. They're all friends. They had uh, made a reservation. It might have been the day before yesterday. It's all running into each other. It might have been yesterday, yeah. but that's kind of cool. I I, uh, I think that's a lot of fun. I I don't have friends like that. Well, I've been here so long. All my friends are basically in Vegas. Yeah. The only friends I have from, like, not in Vegas are when I was, like, in elementary school. In New York? Or I was in the Army. I have a few friends left. They're all crazy, though. That's the problem. They're all crazy. They literally Ooh. are all crazy. I was infantry. I mean, uh, either they they ended up being lifers and they're... Yeah. They need some, you know, some, some emotional support on the phone now. Or, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. But anyways, all right. Uh, yep. Hello, hello. All right, let's go. Yeah, Alex has been uh, been at an hour. Wow. So he's looking to get out October. Fantastic. Uh, no K cups. Those are my checks. I'll, I'll put this. I'll put this all back. Hot bets on the thirty roll challenge, dude. Alan, go all the way, buddy. Just literally like put it all in twelve. <clears throat> First roll, hold. So a guy put how much did he put on the twelve? He put on the twelve like a hundred something bucks and hit it. Very last roll. 
That's that's the way to go. Screw the field, dude. I mean, a lot of people try to go for Conter. If I'm gonna play the if I'm gonna play the 30 roll challenge, whatever I have left on the 29th roll, unless I'm I'm in the mix. If I'm if I'm on the top 10, uh, then we're gonna set up a board. By the way, we've been meaning to do that. We're a little distracted from yeah. our recent uh, fiasco. We'll put it on the screen. But we're so gonna we have, have an LED everywhere. screen. Uh, yep. And and Dennis here is can update it on the screens we have throughout the place, so everybody's sort of yeah can memorialized. Time. Yeah. You follow? But uh, but yeah, so like if I'm not in that top ten, I'm just going all. I'm gonna hop it. Maybe even like a two way hop. Maybe not all in the, like on a, you know maybe do something like high low yo. Maybe even a three way high low yo something like this. Uh, but yeah, I want to be in that top ten. Why? Like what do I care if I end up going down like? Uh, so we're gonna have a redo. Like Daddy Derek. David. Uh, if I Derek myself, it's not a big deal. It's no it's no problem. <laughs> Poor Derek. I ended up with five dollars. <laughs> That's uh, all. He tied with me. He actually was in the leader. He was on the leaderboard for a second. And then he whacked himself? I mean, he's always whacking himself, dude. <laughs> That's all he's got time for. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Ready? Yeah, Dennis. All right, we did that one. He said he's finishing soon. Yeah, go get on there and tell him to hurry the hell up because we got this. Because uh, I'd love for you guys to meet all of our staff here, which is which is pretty fantastic. Can we buy Casino Quest chips in retail? Uh, yeah, we're going to have... Oh, you're going to have me deal a 30 roll roulette challenge? Uh, you 15 spin? Huh? The 15 spin. Yeah, we have a 15 spin roulette challenge now. Whatever you do, don't bet the double zero while you're here <laughs> until we get that wheel switch. Because uh, just so you know, and, that, and, and that's a, you know, people are bitching about it, but that's like a better thing. Just avoid the double zero. Just bet everything else. That's kind of, we're giving you an advantage. What do you feel like And still zero? paying you the double zero. Uh, you know what I mean? But what if you want a double zero? Dude, dude. <laughs> that's, there's an old expression. It's called get bent. Okay. All right, next up is, uh, yeah, me dealing the roulette challenge would be tough because uh, I would just, well, actually, I would overpay you. Or underpay you or just, or, or just, or just forget, forget to pay, to pay you, you. <laughs> or take away. Yeah, I suck. Can you imagine if you, you see me deal blackjack, right? Yeah. I haven't dealt roulette in 29 years at least. So almost your whole dealing career. Almost, yeah. I haven't even practiced dealing roulette. And, you know, even though we have a school, I'd have to practice up. That's the whole thing. I don't know if Oof. I'd have to practice up for yeah. a coin pusher because I don't think he's going to hit anything. He, dude, he's just going to bet one number nah, right from He's going to bet all in one number, and then I'm going to be just sweep it. Sweep and muck. But what if, what if he hits it? What if he hits it? You're going to be like, oh, screwed. <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to call You're that gone. one in. I'd be like, Alex, Alex, hold on to your stream for a second. Uh, I got this roulette payoff. <laughs> what is a $20? He's on? got $299 <laughs> straight up. Of course, he's going he's gonna to leave out that $1. Uh, two ninety nine straight up. Yeah, well, that's gonna be a tip, dude. He's gonna tip me, and that's gonna go. It's big. for the pennies. New York City Mets. Oh, fantastic! I used to live near Shea Stadium, fairly near. I used to go to a school. I, somehow, I ended up having to walk by Shea Stadium back way back. You know, this is what? How old the hell old am I? But anyway, I was a <laughs> kid, I was a young kid, and uh, there was this uh, there was a stand that we could climb on. I remember people pushing me up. You could sit on the top of it, and you could see over just a little bit and see into the field. I guess they, they covered all that. You can't do that anymore. But this was many, many years ago. You can actually see a piece of the field by, by getting on top of this this stand. I, all I remember is being sort of pushed up there. Yeah. And, then, and then at some point, they were doing construction. Even when I was a kid, they had stopped that. That was no longer a thing. But I went to some kind of school. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've been there. But we, we were fairly close to Shea Stadium. But but when you grew up in New York back in, back then, but when I was a kid, yep. the Mets were sort of like the the miscellaneous. I don't want to call them the bastard children of baseball <laughs> when you like lived that. in New York. Because yeah. like we have someone in the audience. So, cause, I mean, you had to root for the, 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 the Yankees. I root for the Mets. I would root for the Mets. You would root for the Mets? The Yankees? Yeah, Yankees are overrated. But yeah, but back when I was a kid, it was Yankees. Well, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, there was the Yankees were big, dude. That's the thing. They had all the money. They had all the big stars. Re, you know, Reggie Jackson was just whacking it, you know. Uh, but anyways, all right, let's go. All right, Isaac, here we can go. you do me a favor? Can you can you switch that uh, on air side uh, right there? See that, discounted like, strat. So uh, on your right. So here's the thing. If you follow the wire down, there's like a little box. Uh oh, we're we're talking to the uh, tech support. There, there we go. go. We're on air. We gotta let everybody know. All right. So the stratosphere deal is very simple. Vegas has been sold the hell out, and the problem with getting rooms in the strat is that if everything is sold out. The only rooms they have left are these ridiculously expensive. 
do you know that over what was the last holiday we have the rooms at the stratosphere got to like 300 and something dollars a night oh yeah no was it a holiday no i think it was, it was it memorial day packed uh, yeah memorial day whatever it was i was like dude really yeah we were trying to call around for friends another friend that was really highly juiced in you know, he, like nobody can get rooms dude so it was like uh, unless you know you want to come stay at my house yeah, uh, it wasn't a thing. But the rooms are still... What's going on? You gotta look at Alan Toy's comment. Oh, God. Let's go down. How, how far down? Is he talking some smack? Coin pusher? Uh, when you, oh, my God. That little <laughs> bastard. I swear to God. Luckily, I got a lot of his pennies to save up. I got, I'm still working through those. Yeah, in the 40s. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways... Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, he's Papa Papa Alex now. Oh my God, he lost all that hair. He qualifies. He qualifies. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. That's true. So, so he he he's lost all that hair. So now he's Papa Alex now, dude. He's Papa Alex. Papa he's Alex. uh, he's uh, things are going to be evolving quickly. He's, he'll probably be a Papa quick, dude. Are you kidding me? Poor Alex. I, I, I watched a, Alex. A, an old uh, CG video the other day, and I realized how much his hair is just gone. It's unbelievable. By the way, Alex, it's so funny. We were actually watching the camera at one point just to see if we needed to come and help, and uh, you would just lighten it up, bro. It was like <laughs> uh, he was even saying, "It's like, oh my god." He's like, "We all, all we could see was you standing there, and wow, shine." But nothing but yeah, there's a little bit of shine. But that pop, Alex, that's funny. That's so cute. No. Uh, all right, here we go. Yep, no, but I, I've always, I still love the Mets. I mean, I, I love uh, most, most teams. Okay. The, yeah, so the discount of the stratosphere, you got to let us know. And, you know, unfortunately, we can't move mountains or miracles. So if yeah. it's either comping you to the strat or a 300 and something dollar collection at 100% occupancy, uh, you know, for, I get that we are Patreons and we love you guys and we're going to do everything we can to kind of. The, the other good news, we're working with another. Uh, potentially some more casinos to add to that mix so we'll have access to other other properties as well and the, the big the big change we want to make is that we want to be able to book the rooms for you so what we're doing is we're trying to put together like uh, weekends where we can all sort of play like so kind of like what we did for the grand opening weekend where we took over the whole pit we had we had all that fun on dice all that type of stuff and then you guys can come out at a fixed rate cheaper than what you would normally pay. Yep. You know what I mean? We're, we're going to try to get you like half off the room and maybe some discounts, a big, big fat coupon on the cafe, this kind of thing. Uh, so that's that's what's coming next. And, of course, that will only be available to Patreons. And, some, you know, the pit stuff we opened up to uh, to fans. It just depends on how many people we get committed. Yeah, we're, we're working on a lot of stuff. We, we want to do, do meetups as often as we can. That's, I would love to do that, to be honest with you. I'd love to have you guys come out here maybe once a month. Uh, we're going to be doing the strip walks every couple of weeks, every other week. Every we're going to do our week. first one this week, this next weekend, Friday, after our little sports cast. By we're the way, go you should go watch that. Yeah, so my buddy Mike is going to do uh, every Friday, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Every Friday, 6 p.m. We're gonna we're gonna try and stay focused, give you guys all the whatever his you know talk to everybody, get some feedback. And the next one we're gonna have some graphics and stuff. To yeah, we're gonna there. upgrade the production quality, and then after that, 8 p.m. Gonna hit the hit. We're gonna just walk the strip. Uh, you know, we're not gonna we're probably film it, but we're not gonna do any kind of live anything. We're just gonna have fun, and uh, everybody get in shape, burn get, some calories. You get to meet Daddy David. You get to meet me and Dennis. And yeah, maybe Alex, maybe Alex, the whole gang, as many as you know, as you know, all of us, and we'll go, we'll go walk up this trip. Okay, uh, is blackjack with Timmy half off since it's not gonna last? Oh, uh, I know that should be a thing, dude. That's a great question. Is blackjack with Timmy half off since it's not gonna last very long? You you have no idea how excited Timmy gets when he just crushes uh, a ten minute challenge. He just talks about it for like. No, seriously. It's just. And then he starts humming. Oh, he does. He's just more. He starts humming. No, he loves it. He lo dude. When he starts humming, he's enjoying his life so no, so much. He's in that like, moment. I crushed him. There was yeah. zero. I got I got him out in you know three minutes. It was fantastic. He'll and sit then, on this purple couch right here and start yeah. just laughing. Yeah, you guys need to come out here and just you know just beat him down, dude. Someone's got to win a ton of money. Just empty the whole rack one day. Just up fifty Ooh. grand. That's a tough. That's Tell a tough. Timmy might bar. go into hibernation, dude. Even more than he is bar. now. That is a that is a high bar. Okay. I like playing the don't come bar for 15 and then placing the number for 15. I've had a couple of casinos stating I can't do that because I'm not risking 15. 
I mean, if you're betting the don'ts and you're betting the pass line at the same time for the same $15, it's not... Uh, so you place the number. So the number, so it goes behind. So at that point, you're... Yeah, so once it goes behind the number and you place it, you can't. You can only win, right? I mean, you know, your your risk is the seven eleven while you're going to the DC. I've seen people do that. Um, you know, you're just mitigating your opportunity to win. I mean, most casinos could could care less, or they shouldn't really care because it's a, uh, it is uh, let's just say your opportunity to win a lot of money is less, right? Because the, that DC bar, the seven eleven, will maybe grind you out. I mean, I don't want to take too much away from. Uh, it's a very grindy system. I've seen it a lot. So what happens is you go in the DC. Yep. So you put 15. Let's say it goes behind the nine. Once it's behind the nine and you place it, right? Then either way, you can either place it for less and still mitigate whatever loss you have on a seven, or you hit the place bet again and you get paid more. So if the nine comes again, you're gonna win six bucks. Oh, okay. You're gonna lose your behind, but you're gonna get paid 21 bucks. Then you can back the number, do it again. You follow? So how does that work for comps? Uh, yeah, you get nothing. You get nothing. You yeah, just get most. Screwed. Yeah, so uh, there's there's it it just zeroes itself out. E even though you're you're really you are putting at risk the fifteen dollars as it goes through the DC, that's technically true. But m many casinos are like, they just don't like to see that kind of play. I mean, there's a lot of old bosses and stuff that are really sort of you know that's that's one of those things where they see you as kind of stroking the game. You're n you're not playing in the spirit of the table, this type of thing. Yeah. Even though it's technically it's fine. I, you know, I'll be honest with you. I, I would probably, I would give it maybe half a rating. If I was back in the day when I was actually rating players, I'd give it half a rating. You're still risking, you know, that you're still risking the 7-Eleven and the DC bar, right? Yeah. So, you know, I mean, but yeah, there's a lot of bosses that can look at that and go, screw you, I'm going to give you zero, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Like if you bet, if you bet the don't pass on the pass line, obviously, you get rated nothing. You know, even though technically at 12 rolls, you lose the pass line, you know, and and you'll push. I mean, you'll still have sort of fifteen dollars in play, but yeah, no casino will give you the Theo on that is ridiculously low. Wow. How many times is a twelve roll? You follow? So it's just a tough, it's just a tough, uh, tough call. Anyways, okay, open Ooh. a school Atlantic City. I would love to open a school Atlantic City. I don't, I don't see the same opportunity for us there. Uh, I think the next place we'll probably go is uh, Arizona. Arizona just added class three roulette and crafts. They have a new pact. And so that's gonna be rolling out here in the next couple months. In fact, they've even been doing some preliminary uh, questionnaires uh, with their people, uh, with their current dealers. A lot of dealers need to be upgraded. So the dealers that they have, blackjack, carnival, that's fine. But yep. they have very few that have any real roulette experience or any at all really. And no dice, very little dice. So we have been, sort of contacted uh we we've been so busy we've been wanting to be proactive and kind of reach out and uh, make that happen in fact we've had casinos in colorado reach out to us already and in yeah. california that are looking to upgrade crap specifically uh, but colorado has increased their limits at a baccarat now craps and so with these increased limits you know dealing at scale has really become the issue you know uh colorado started out of five dollar bets right you know in the back of the day it's just the ultimate grind five dollars they didn't want anybody to really risk anything you went to the casino to sort of hang out not to actually gamble that's wait, not gambling wait. like that was the max no that was the, yeah that was it five dollars really bet. yeah that was it yeah five bucks they, they rolled this out in the midwest and they rolled this out in other states it went in the states that were real nervous about people going and blowing all their rent money or creating you know gambling addictions they were they they sort of slowly rolled out gambling so oh, here okay. they're like hey come down to the casino bet your five dollars you know that was the limit that was that was it that's all you could play so that, that's not gambling that's just that that's a shocker that's dude. working the atm machine you know and then the atm machine breaks on you and doesn't give you money how do you you can't win like yeah. how do you win like how do you play any kind you can't of create opportunity on that no there's no opportunity it's just to get, just get money screwed. for the casino yeah get screwed so i don't i don't know how they thought that was going to be a good play but then they raised the limits to 100 bucks or whatever it was 200 bucks i've seen that a lot of jurisdictions uh, we had in Louisiana at first. I think we had two hundred dollar table limits, as, as and then they then they eliminated that. Uh, in the Bell, yeah. So Bell had either two hundred or four hundred. I, I I think it was two hundred, dude. I I actually had a guy out ten thousand dollars on two hundred dollar game, and then he was four markers in. Wow, $20, really? Dollars, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, no, it's it's the silliest thing because at that point. You can't you can't win. You can't martingale your there, there's no opportunity to win your money back. 
you can't even take up. So so interestingly, the boat all, every when the when the Bella Baton Rouge or let's say players when players like Charles because that was insanity. That place, every seat was taken every single cruise for the six months that I worked. I only worked there for six months. Wow. Every single day, six months in, every single, it was full. There were people waiting on the dock because you, you had to sail. You had to cruise. Hey, man, you had to cruise. You had to go out, you see? Yeah. And so every cruise was, I forget what it was, hour and a half, two hours, whatever the case was. And every seat was taken. I mean, I've, I've told you the stories where they had to actually, they ran out of tins. They ran out of drop boxes. They yeah, had to use the bags. actual trash bags, hefty trash bags to move the money off the floor. There was literally no, you couldn't, you couldn't push the paddle down, dude. And then they ran out of tins. So they had, I don't know how many tins they had, but my guess is not enough, <laughs> apparently. And e even the dealer tote boxes was, uh, the deal was made, I'm going to estimate $200,000 the first year they opened players. And these were 90%, all the dealers came from the local environment. Up until then, they were like crawfish and shrimp trawlers. I mean, these were, the, a lot of the people made, they weren't used to this kind of money. Wow, really? They, you know, there were more mobile homes, like mobile home communities type of thing, than yeah. there were actual homes homes in, in, in Lake Charles. I kid you not. I'm not. I'm not taking a shot of Lake Charles. I'm just. This is how it's a very sort of migrant kind of workforce. Yeah. And they would. You know, a lot of them would go in uh, to other parts of Louisiana and work on the oil wells, this kind of thing. But they're basically most of the staff were, you know, minimum wage, and then they get paid a bonus, whatever the case was. So these these were kids, like kids, because you know a lot of them are very young, and okay. uh, they went from making let's say fifteen thousand dollars a year to making two hundred thousand oh, dollars a year. That's like a big life change right Dude, there. I mean. <laughs> You would, you would, the transformation, by the way, was, was stunning. You would see these, a lot of people just lose their minds when they come into that kind of, when opportunity yeah. hits you like smack in the face, you know what I mean? It's like, um, I can't even begin to tell you. The same thing happened at the Bell, the Bell of Baton Rouge. It, not, not quite as much. It wasn't as big a success as Lake Charles was. Lake Charles is on the border with Texas. That's why it was a real significant oh, okay. boat, right? It was run by uh, uh, resorts, not this resorts world, but the old resorts world that was uh, owned by um, Merv Griffin. Okay. So if you don't know Kojak, you guys, some of you guys remember Kojak back in the day with the toothpick and the lollipop, the commercials. Uh, and he was promoting, that was Merv Griffin's uh, casino, Atlantic City. He had, a, he had a location in Atlantic City. But um, this is this is uh, the investment that he made. Lake Charles big, dude. Served that oh. uh, that whole Texas market. Still Texas. No, no, yeah, what's it's the matter with you? It's still there? Uh, no, no. Players, um, uh, so Lake Charles, uh, Louisiana. So that boat was moved ultimately. So it was a hurricane that came in. They packaged up that boat. That boat was moved. But now, now there's like three other boats or three other fixed boats. You don't have to actually have to sail anymore so they're basically land casinos they're basically land casinos on water yeah you know and and i and i believe that after the fiasco that was a uh, uh, harris in new orleans at first you know they've they've evolved that whole understanding of what a casino is yeah you yeah all right here we go okay there you go a little history uh you guys uh for those of you guys so uh, toothpick in. says he'll come to the walk if you can bring scott to the walk uh scott scott morrow you oh, know, Scott Walk. Oh, Scott Morrow. That's Scott Morrow. Our Scott Morrow. <laughs> the Professor Scott. You should say Professor Scott. I think I think Professor Scott's on a uh, a boat in Hawaii. Basically, I think he's, yeah, he's not lounging. Uh, he might actually. I don't know. Is, is is marijuana legal in Hawaii yet? Has it I come no to idea. Hawaii? Do you know Isaac? No, you don't. No clue. Yeah, we don't know what the laws are. But anyways, aloha. But, hello, hello. Uh, okay, yeah, he, so he won't be back until September. Yeah, so um, love sports chat. See, here, here's the thing, right? Uh, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go. We're gonna talk to you guys today. We're gonna introduce you to our, our all of our people here. We're gonna introduce you to Isaac, Mark. We got Dean our on team, standby. Yeah. Our whole team. So we're at Independence Day. And by the way, thank you for everyone who has lost, loved, played a role. Independence not easy, dude. Yeah, no. A lot it, of stuff going on. A lot of lives lost. A lot of, I mean, not just, you know, not just a lot of effort required, you know. I don't think, I think people take a lot of that for granted. And, uh, you know, and that's great, you know, to some extent. Yeah. You know, because we, you know, the, a lot of us uh, that are parents or, you know, we, we love that uh, you are, you know, here relatively safe, depending on what yeah. street you're on. 
you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe not my street, but no, okay. Yeah, most streets in town. But, uh, yeah, so that's good. So it, it's good to kind of, uh, I mean, I know it sounds a little quirky, but it, it, it is good to recognize that these days are there for a reason. And independent, even though, you know, history, especially nowadays, the whole PC culture, it's kind of debating ins and outs and why yeah, things no. happen. But let's be realistic. Independence was tough. Yeah, and we should all be grateful for we it. We had a, you know, that wasn't an easy fight. It brought, it brought a lot of freedoms that, you know, we wouldn't yeah, have had that otherwise. No other place. Yeah. No matter how bad it is here, it's probably worth somewhere else. Yeah, no, we, we have it relatively good. No, we have it pretty good, dude. Yeah. I don't think most people don't know, dude, how, 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 how easy it is. Because sometimes here, you know, the worst here is like the best in some other places. Yeah, you, know? you, you, got, you got to be grateful for what you got. Mm hmm. All right, well, let's talk. So we have a, a few upgrades. One is 100 likes, uh, we're going to get a lanyard. You, got, you guys like my, I got my, um, I got my chips now. This store we've got was ransacked by our, the whole fiasco the other week. But now we're back in action. We should have posted some images of the store. It looks like an actual store. We got slots coming back uh, Friday. We are going to be having Game Kings. We're going to focus on Game Kings in perfect condition. And? And a Buffalo machines, dude. Everyone you, everybody is excited. coming here. The guy that we're working with has the software, has the machines. We are going to have Buffalo machines on site here in better quality, better yep. condition, better warranties. Uh, and so there it is. So it's going to look fantastic. Better people. Yeah, better people. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, family run organization. Uh, you know, really diverse good group. Really we good people. We went to their warehouse. They they make sure everything's pristine, yep. clean. Yeah. Everything's working before yep. it leaves the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're and they're focused on the business and delivering that. All right, we're not. Let's not get petty. Let's move on. Okay. All right. Next up. Uh, so my my buddy Mike, uh, you guys, he he um. So he, he literally has been a handicapper for, for 30 years. And the great thing about him is he doesn't take any, he, as much as he's a fan and he, he's all about the numbers. Like yeah. he doesn't really, he's not too emotionally attached. He has his favorites and things like this, but he loves just talking about the numbers, the value bets, how you make money, why you make money. He's not as interested in, his, in, in like, hey, I'm here in Vegas, Golden Knights and my team, everything yeah. on the Golden Knights. He's about, he's literally about the number. That's how, that's how he's lived as a pro. You can't get too emotionally attached. Sometimes, you know, you have to bet the horse or, or the, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, if you get too emotionally attached, it takes you away from the opportunity to win. You follow? Fogs your uh, mind. Yeah. So he's, he's been, he's, he's a fantastic individual. Once you guys get to know him, he's, he's very down to earth. He's one of the few people I actually consider down to earth. Yeah, he's really nice. Yeah, he's just a nice guy. He's, he doesn't have a, a a mean bone or, or you know it's a lot though i was gonna say not a weird bone he is a little weird uh i gotta say he's, yeah, a, he's, he's, the, got he's, his a, he's the simplest person i've ever met dude he i have this um i have this three-story home and he 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 lives on the bottom floor yep and he just he keeps to himself uh sometimes you don't even know he's there you don't even like it's like uh it's pretty odd but uh he's uh he's a low rank kind of guy which is pretty cool you know but he does eat a lot, though. He eats a tremendous amount of food. Dude. You wouldn't it's believe it unbelievable. either. Unbelievable. I've had people ask me on checkout or ask us, oh, "Wow, that's you're filling up for your family?" No, no, just him. <laughs> and I mean, that's 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 literally. A, she's and they'll look at you because you'll have two gallons of ice cream, and they'll be like, "We got to come back because we can't fit that much ice cream in the freezer." Yeah. I mean, the gallons are big, dude. And that's just two nights of ice cream for him. I mean, literally. He can you imagine what? Listen. Listen, a gallon of ice cream, dude. I don't have enough toilet paper to support that habit. You know what I mean? Like, I literally could not do that on a daily basis. I don't know how he does it, man. Yeah. Uh, we do seem to go through a lot of toilet paper, so at least that's that's a mystery solved <laughs> kind of thing. Because you wonder, because every now and then I'll be looking through my rolls and I'll be like, oh, my God, Mike's at that ice cream again. You know what I mean? <laughs> that I go. All right. Uh, and it wasn't in the 40s, you little bastard, uh, when I was a kid. So I was a kid growing up in the 70s and 80s, like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, he says, yeah. He's like, yeah, I grew up in, when did you grow I'm up in the 2010s? I, I grew up in, uh... 2010s, dude. I grew up yesterday, dude. Yeah, exactly. 2010s. But we're going to be doing that sports chat every Friday, and we're going to try to engage as much as possible so everyone can, like, ask away... And nobody knows sports books and sports betting like like I, I gotta say like I've run into a lot of people and I know there's a lot of guys out there who you know they have all the gold chains and the big cars. That's not Mike. Mike's a, Mike's all about the numbers. 
and uh, he he goes to he literally walks the strip. He used, he, he, I used to drop him off at the Bally Sportsbook, and then he would just walk the whole looking for lines, and that's what he does. That's just what he loves to do, and that's what he does. When he was on the East Coast, he you know he would go to all the different horse tracks. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing. But anyways, all right. Wow. Al- Alan uh, Toy is really poking all the fun at you right listen, now. Listen, listen, uh, that's why we call him Anal Toy, dude. Okay? He didn't get that name for nothing. All right? Uh, yeah, if we can get Scott to walk, that'd be something because uh, he would, uh, you know. Yeah, we can get Scott to walk. <laughs> what are we going to talk to Scott? Be like, hey, Scott, how you doing, buddy? Why are you all the way back there, man? <laughs> Get off your chair. Come on over. <laughs> we'll roll him over. I mean, yeah. Well, he'd be like, dude. Uh, does car craft in California the same rules as re- except no dice? Yeah, basically. But uh, it's less fun. Uh, coin pusher. Less fun. So many. I know Virginia is building five in the next two years. So they say lots of opportunity in the East Coast. So many East Coast casinos. Virginia is building five, dude. First of all, gaming is going everywhere. That's why we built the online academy. So Casino Quest, are, it's CasinoQuest.SkillTrain.com. So we have the online academy to kind of help with that and give people a heads up or head start on learning how to deal. And then ultimately, we're hoping to open or allow for us to come and do some consulting work. Uh, it's just tough staffing infrastructure it's just and you know sometimes it's not a lot of incentive to do that there's incentive to go and work for individual properties but not as a whole school yeah it's a lot of risk a lot of work man a lot of work all right mr ken no is dying to know what's the price range on a game king oh so game kings are gonna be 950 to 1050 we have it, but these are really fantastically conditioned, fully refurbished Game Kings. These are not the Game Kings that uh, we had in here where we could only, out, out of every so many, there were a couple that were, were, were pristine. These are literally serviced by the guy who services them. And not only that, but uh, because of the person we're working with now, he can change some of the software stuff. So if you're looking for a specific game, yep, or whatever. and customize it however you want, no issues. Like if you want certain denominations, certain types of games, he has access to all the software. So like we'll have them here, but you know, Game Kings are like nuance, right? All, not all Game Kings are the same. So if you have an idea of a Game King that you like, you can let us know exactly. Like um, we had somebody here the other day that wanted five dollar denominations, which is I've never seen five dollars on, on get with not with twenty card Kino that is, and he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, we can take care of it. So, if you guys have something specific, uh, we'll be able to accommodate you. So, the other great thing is it, it you'll just pick you'll pick the type of machine, and then you know kind of the software that you want, and then it'll be shipped out completely in a separate uh, in a separate facility. And uh, if you're local, obviously you'll be able to inspect it, look at it, turn it on, play with it, do whatever you want. Uh, if you're out of town, uh, it, it'll be fully guaranteed. So no more, you know, sorting. It'll be fully 30-day warranty. We'll provide the service and support for it. Yep. Yep. So we, we've just solved so many issues. It's it's just a much better partnership. All right. Uh, but, yeah, the Game Kings now. The uh, Buffaloes are going to be 1950 to 2050. No way around it. Uh, they're not expensive to get a hold of. The refurbishment part of it requires a, a bit more, well, a lot of work so you know yeah. our costs are much higher and uh you know obviously you know having them here available but but it's it's really about it's the still quality. cheaper it's still cheaper than what you'll find out there and uh if you can find them at all but we will have them sounds yeah, no good then. yeah so no, i mean so by by the way the game kings that we're talking about that you see you'll see them advertised like for on ebay other types of venues for like 1200 1300 uh, so we, we think that we're going to be, you know, priced well. Besides the fact that you'll buy from us, you, you know, we're, we're a store here. We're at Fashion Show. We have physical location. We warranty. It's not some, you know, unbranded, you know, relationship on eBay kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, can, you can come find us. Yeah, you can come find us. Uh, oh, my God. What is this semi-week in Vegas, this guy? Uh, 100-card Kino. Oof. $100 per card. 100-card Pino. Uh, is that even wow. a thing? Is that even I mean, possible? on paper Kino, you can do 100 cards. For 100 uh, bucks. There's no 20. No, 20 card is the most cards I've ever seen. I've never seen a 100 card Kino. I bet they're working on it, though. 
Wow, really? No, 100%, dude. They got to be. Because, I mean, everybody was like, 20 cards? How could I lose? 100 cards? Oh, my God. Because they figured out a way to lose on 20 cards because you do lose on 20 <laughs> cards. Trust me. Uh, and then everyone's going to be like, oh, my God, I can play 100 cards? That's like, a, I could be like... Because people kid themselves. Oh, they, how, how, how much money you're betting per hand? Uh, too much, dude. There's only 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 Alan can uh, can afford <laughs> to pay that, dude. Okay. He's gonna pay it in pennies. No, he will pay it. All right. I got stories from Vegas casino. Does that? Does he have a funny story that has nudity involved? Uh He's got a lot of those, actually. I do have a lot of those. Eesh, yeah. You know. But we, the thing is, is like every time I relay one of those stories, I get canceled. That can well we get demonetized. Also. Or, no, not canceled. Demonetized. Yeah. So uh, apparently, if you bring up anything involving nudity, yeah, we have to keep it very vague on what the nudity very is. Very vague on what the nudity. Let's just say this. So, oh wait, what, what if it's just visual? Does 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 the a bot know this? Does he know this? No, I don't think so. No, I'm trying to think of like there there have been times when uh, we actually had a uh, the bot doesn't know that the bot probably does, dude. Okay. No. It, the no bot's way. looking at me right now, going, "What kind of cup are we looking at here?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is that what's going on? I can flash a little side boob and uh, oh, smack! I got two more <laughs> times. There we go. <laughs> side boob. Um, he said, "Dude." He said, "Dude." Yeah. He said, "Dude." Bot. He said, "Dude." Yeah, I did. I did say, "Dude." Uh, can we make a donation? Oh, yeah, dude, you can make a donation anytime you want. That's that's fantastic. We we have offered these uh, new courses thanks to one uh, Dave N who was here. Uh, we were able to discount our four course. Uh, our four course classes to quite a few students thanks to him yep. and uh we have sort of jump started some other relationships we'll still we're still sort of in the development stage but our, our two biggest charities are well our biggest charity right now is going to be the center downtown uh which is providing a new clinic to people that are indigent or you know otherwise can't afford it. it's in it's in an area of the city that has literally no other no service like it so that's that's kind of the big thing I think for us is uh, you know in our effort to you know give back or try to give back anyways. Uh, as far as our school, I mean we're it's amazing right now because we're quite honestly I expected a lot more students to be enrolled in the school uh, because the the job growth in yeah. casino dealing has really expanded. We have had quite a bit of enrollment. Enrollment has is in an uptick, but not like it was pre-pandemic. We had every seat practically every seat sold out. So we were at you know 90 current so 90 plus current students. So we have um, we we typically would get like 100 students and then graduate 100 students, place 100 every every month. Now it's like you know we're at the like the 60 60 student mark, uh, which is strange because up uh, every casino is hiring. Yep. We have some casinos coming in desperate you know to to hire. The, the the only problem is that some of these HR departments are just so overwhelmed with everything that's been going on. Yeah, it's been a little slow. That they've they've sort of uh, there's there's been some rotations in HR personnel. Some chaos. A little bit of chaos that we've had to kind of filter through. So as much as like the table game departments need dealers, you know, uh, sometimes getting through HR can be its own its own experience. But anyways. Uh, Honda, if you want to do it in person, just come right into the school. We're, we're, we'll always Moved. accept any help. I love it. Moobs. <laughs> I, got, I still got moobs, man. I'm all about the moobs. Male. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, 100%. Why not? Okay. Why not? There you go. Oh, my God. Isaac has... Uh, no, Isaac, I'm sorry, buddy. You don't qualify. You don't qualify? Uh, I fully qualify, sir. My, mine, actually, I can flex mine, just so you know. I can flex mine. Uh, that's a, yeah no that's not flexing sir that's some weird distorted dance that you're doing over uh, there. Oh good night Robert Barnes. See you, B. Uh, take care, buddy. All right. So is is Alex still in the uh, chat? Because uh, uh, I think I don't uh, think so anymore. Uh, listen, I added I added a uh, thumbs up. Just uh, just trying to give myself some validation. All right. So 100 clicks, 100 likes. We're gonna give away something. What are we gonna give away, buddy? Lanyard and some chips. A lanyard and some chips. some chips. All right, we're gonna give a lanyard. Out. What about the red one? This red one. Oh, look at this. Is this a red one? Is this one? This one. Oof. No, is this one here? Because we've been giving away the club chips, but we have this one, right? Yeah. We, this is the uh, heart and diamond the heart one. chip. The heart and diamond. We're gonna give it lanyard. The Casino Quest lanyard. The big and tall lanyard. The good one. The big one. The nice high quality one. Yeah, nice. Uh, we we're out of the grand opening lanyards. We we gave them all away to fans that showed up here. Yep. Uh, but we have the big and tall lanyards left. All right. All right. What do you got, buddy? 
Oh, should we introduce some some people? Should we, yeah, we should probably get Isaac over here before everyone gets bored and just disconnects. What, what if we just do a nap stream? We just do just a do nap, a nap stream where just people like yell and try to wake us up. Yeah, dude, how do you make? I mean, those guys are making money doing that, sleeping. I want to make money sleeping. So let's start doing the oh nap stream. Oh my god, nap stream. That's not going to work well, well with me, dude. Look, look. I have this cat, by the way. If you guys ever saw it, not Bailey. Bailey Biggins, the main coon. He's a big fat cat. Everybody loves Bailey Biggins. But I got this. I have a new cat, Allie, who, who hugs me, who comes in, and she's a hugger and a talker. She's a hugger and a talker. I'm trying to get video of her. It's fantastic. She's this amazing cat, dude. She actually reaches in at night and she she puts her her, her paws around my neck and goes to sleep. And I mean, hug, I mean, it's the weirdest thing because most cats, you know, they don't, you know, they'll 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 lean on you or they'll you know knead on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they don't like hug you and fall asleep that way. It's like it's so weird. You know. Loving cat is rare. No, nah, loving cats are weird. That is rare. Mostly it's dogs that do that stuff, right? That's why I was always a dog person, because yeah. dogs, you know, can be like a best friend. Where cats are like, you know what? They only want it when they want it. Yeah. They're very selfish. And then they bite you when they yeah, don't want like, it. Yeah, they're like, screw you, I'm out. You know what I mean? All right, anyways. All right, let's invite Isaac out here. You guys met Isaac the other day. He's a new student of ours. He's uh, from New York City. And uh, we have him here at the Space Now on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as a host. So you can come by and see Isaac uh, anytime you want. So all right, so let's uh, we'll swap. We'll just swap for a second. By the way, is Isaac older than you? Yeah, he must yeah. be because he's in. Yeah, no, he's at. The, oh, what am I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Isaac is all of twenty-one. Oh my God! Yay! Hold what on. is it with you people born after two thousand? When were you born? Nineteen ninety-nine. Nineteen. Oh, yeah, oh. Nine, he, he, yeah. You're two thousand, baby, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And you were nineteen ninety-nine. Yeah, just barely. Wow. I mean, nobody oh, was sure the world would go on. Well, because that was like everybody was afraid that the you know the year two yeah, year twenty, 2000. the real two thousand bug. Yeah, you know, he was literally like, like a the, pre bug. Yeah, no, baby. everyone thought the bug was gonna. Yeah, I remember. The I, I, baby. I, I, learned, I, I heard about this. Bug. Yeah. So the world actually did survive, and then you came around. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. God's gift to Earth. You're God's <laughs> gift. Oh my God. I'm joking. I'm joking. Now yeah, I have indigestion. Huh? All right, here we go. Isaac is coming over here. Come on down, Isaac. Eventually, we got this purple couch coming, but we have customers. So we got Dean, Mark, and I think Jesse's busy. Jesse's busy too. Jesse? They're all busy. What's Jesse doing? I'm not sure, but they're all yeah, they're all doing something. He is dealing. Yeah, wow, guys? they're all dealing. What's popping? What's popping? Right yeah. By the way, so he's from New York. He's gonna have expressions that some of us have never heard before. Oh come on, yo, yo there's some people from New York in chat. They heard it. Uh, like, some of us are from Tennessee and Kentucky, and have never, you never really interacted with someone from. Come on, yo, my New Yorkers, you guys say my guy, right? My guy, he yeah, called me my on. guy earlier. Come on, you like, say that. Yo, my guy, go, my G. Do we have to go for a drink now? <laughs> when you call me my guy, we have to go out for a little <laughs> drink, hang out a little bit. Because I've never been anyone's guy. I'm my guy, anyways. Oh, dude, now you're my no, guy. No see? one's ever even referred to me like that. You are I now mean, my me. guy. I mean, I'm not offended by that. I like it. I like my guy. Yeah. That could be uh, lots of guys. If anyone says, yo, whose man's is this? Whose man's? Yeah. Oh, I hear that a lot, actually. Yeah. And Dennis uses that. Yeah, he uses whose man's all the time. Every time we get cut off, it's like, whose man's? And then yeah, it turns yeah, out to be some... Song, like, whose man's? Yeah, whose man's is this, bro? <laughs> That's what, what, Boca Raton, Florida. Hello, hello. Uh, happy 4th. San Diego, fantastic. Yeah, yeah what's no, crack a Look at, look at yeah. New York City here. This guy is too popular. That's why... We, we we love Isaac. He, he came to the school and uh, right away, buzz. Yeah, and there were a few people that actually have already responded on how how like happy. Yeah, and, uh, I I saw the that. I saw the YouTube video, the interview, and there are so many positive comments, dude. That that stuff is so heartwarming, man. Reading that. Yeah, stuff. but when it gets negative, it could be really negative. Like know, it, it sucks when it gets negative. You don't have to deal with Al, I mean, coin pusher. You okay? yeah. <laughs> talking shit about you know. How old and right. you know? Uh, anyways, yeah. But no, the, the, when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's like oof. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just gotta, you, you just gotta, gotta take go. the good stuff and then just ignore the bad stuff. Bad yeah. stuff doesn't even ignore the bad stuff. Wow. Yeah, probably, yeah. probably. My guy. Nobody yeah. says my guy. See, I, I have, I have people out there agree. He does. He says my guy. I'm like, yeah. what's going on with the my guy <laughs> thing? But anyways, all right. So here you're at. Yeah. And this is your very first day working yeah. on the floor of Casino Quest. Yeah. We, we had you doing labels, dude. Yeah, I was... <laughs> Manual dude, labor. Dude, they're, they're, they're hazing me. That's what it's called, hazing right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Breaking me in, breaking me in. Yeah. We, uh, 
All right, here we go. Isaac got a hold of David's ghost energy drink stash. That's true. You know, I couldn't find any. You know what those, dude? People always say, bro. Everyone's always asking me, bro. Are you like high or something? Are you yeah. on something? Yeah, bro, like, I'm not, dude. I'm just high on life, bro. That's how high on life. Oh yeah. my god, what kind of life are we walk in here? You know right. what I mean? The, the best kind, bro. The they best used kind. to, you know, well, kids used to think that my mother was always on drugs, dude. Really? Really? Swear to God, they. My mother had so much energy as a as an older person. Right. Even now. You know, she just runs around. I mean, she, I'm like, my, you gotta just relax yeah. a little bit. There's no, Dude, some you know, people, we just got coffee in our veins. You're retired. Yeah, right? coffee in our veins. You know, you like coffee, by the way? No coffee I do for you? like coffee, but... Wow, you want coffee. That I gotta see. <laughs> Holy no, crap. And for me, I don't actually drink it that often, so when no. I do drink it, like, I, I can feel it. Like, all I need you is one lit, huh? can, Yeah, I oh can actually feel God. it. Yeah. That must be like a like a, a whole new experience for oh, those bro, people. I'm going super saiyan, bro. Really? Super, like, jazzed up, yeah. I right, only do so, it for, like, when I need the energy, though, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, so I am from the New York City area. It is bro. Yeah, no, we, we're going to hear that a lot. So the, I lived in Tennessee. I'm from Long Island. I say that shit all the time. And I do. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right, so here's the thing. You actually are going to be you're going to be teaching people poker. You know That's poker. That's right. Yeah, I love poker. Uh, I learned it in high school. And when I say I learned it, I mean, like, I got deep into the weeds, bro. Like, I was studying the books. I was studying really? everything. Yeah, 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 I got really, really into it. So, like, how do you know the math? I mean, you know, so what, what's your favorite game? What poker? I mean, just Texas yeah, Hold'em? No Limit Texas Hold'em. No Hold Limit. Yeah, wow. that, I mean, listen, Limit all Texas Hold'em is out. even Texas Hold'em, bro. Balls that, out. Yeah, that's, yeah, everything, bro. So, we, no one two for you. No one two limit. They've actually had one two limit games here in town. You would never play a game like that. One one two limit. I mean, what's the I, point? I might right? as well play one two no limit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. Yeah, limit. Limit is solved. Limit is all. Yeah. So just play no limit. If you're gonna play uh -huh. poker, just play no limit. Well, one, actually, one two. If yeah. you want to like pass eight hours at the casino without losing too much money. I guess, but you know, if you're trying to not lose money. <laughs> you know? By the way, that game used to be a palace station, and let me yeah. just say the uh, the average age of that game. All right. Uh, was a bit old. Was skewed a bit old. I see. Uh, maybe your 80s. Um, oh my <laughs> god, little bastard! See, this is the kind of abuse I get, dude. I swear to God. Oh. You and Alan, you. Oh God. Uh, but I used. We would always wonder. We would always sit back there and just like wonder. At what point in your life do you decide to like? Because one, two, the casino must love it. They just sit there and rake these hands. They're right, still right, making right. a dollar, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, what's the point? Is I there mean, any point? Can you win any money? I don't know about limit, but with no limit. There's a, I don't know how much I want to like explain to people who are like beginners, but yeah. there's something called a bankroll, right? Which yeah. is the amount of money that you have outside of the game that you're willing to put into it. And there's rules of thumb on how much money you should have before you play a certain game. Uh -huh. And most people, they don't understand this, so that's how they get broke, right? They just play games that are way too big for them, and right. they get scared, right? Yeah. A lot of people should only play one, two, because you're bankrolled for, you should have at least... 200 buy-ins, right, is max buy-ins. 200 max like, buy-ins. Buy-ins should be your bankroll, right? Wow. And max buy-in for 1-2 games is 500. So you should have 500 times 200 amount in the back, right? Really? Now, most people don't follow. That's for if you want to play really safe, right? If you want to. Wow. Yeah, if you really want to be uh, properly budgeted for these games. Wow. So most people really are only budgeted for 1-2. But a lot of people, they go above that because, you know, they want to play bigger, mm -hmm. bigger games, 2-5, five, 5-10, five, all that. But yeah, it, one two is not that bad. I still wouldn't recommend limit though. I would still recommend no limit. It's just having the ability to bet all in it makes the game way more interesting, way more fun. Yeah, because so you just it. like uh, yeah, you, you know, can you scare just, people. Yeah, yeah, you just scare the hell out of yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. That's and then you end up with a big stack, and then you just sit there just scaring everybody out. Hell you know yeah! What I mean, dude. just like yeah, you, know, dude, you do the thing position where, of yeah. power, right? Exactly. So there's, positioning, there is something to positioning. There absolutely, yeah. The poker game. Tons of stuff in positioning now. I'm not sure how familiar people are with poker, but there's something called a button, yep. which is, uh, that's yeah, that determines the order of the hand. Yep. Next to that is a small blind, there's the big blind. If you're on the button, you're last to act after uh, the community cards are up. Right. So if you're on the button, you can play a little bit more aggressively. You're the last to act. You get all the information from everybody else. Uh -huh. So you kind of do whatever you want. Yeah. You can just bully everybody. Exactly. I mean, you need a lot of chips to bully people. But yeah, you got a lot yeah. of chips. You're in position. You're good to go. I'm. 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 I could qualify as the worst live poker player ever. Really? And, and I have. I have actually a story that proves it. Why? What happened? So I, I actually bought in. So me and Mike went out playing one time, and right. I, I had yet to play a live game, even though I had been living in Vegas for a right. long time. Just. A little intimidating. Yeah. Now since then I've played online. I've actually won 
some online, uh, like, uh, I won this really big free roll at that replay uh, okay. poker site. Sick. Yeah. And, I, and, and I got a million credits for it. It was a big game. It was a big tournament, and uh, I managed to actually win it. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. So now I have, like, credits forever. Like, I never need to buy in. Because there you got to buy in, like, 20 right, right. bucks gives you so many credits. But anyways, so I buy into this game, and uh, it only for 100 bucks. Right. I'm out in, like, three hands. She, and uh, okay. no, no. So yeah. I'm out three hands. Yeah. Uh, at one point, I had like three of a kind, mm -hmm. and of course, some guy had a full house, of and course, even my yeah. buddy apparently knew that he had. You know, I was beat, I and I, I was just sort of, oh yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. three of a kind. That's got to be big, right? Yeah. So um, they they offered me a hundred dollars. They offered to match another hundred dollar buy-in if I agreed to stay. Oh, dude, that's that's not. A good sign. No, I'm, that's not a good I'm sign, from, right? You know what that, that's the equivalent of? I'm from New York, right? Yeah. If you ever play basketball in New York and yeah. someone tells you, yo, let him shoot. Let him shoot. That's how you know you absolute you trash. Yeah, yeah you, you are garbage. They were so confident yeah. that yeah. they were going to get that money back. That's they saying. offered to match my $100 buy-in. Yeah, but you were the goldfish at that table. No, yeah. seriously, I was out, dude. I knew that was not going to go well. Yeah. No, that sucked. But anyways, all right, well, good. Yeah. So when people come here, they can just ask for you and say, hey, I want to learn some poker. You're going to teach them tag. Do you know all, Do you know the other? There's like 19 dude, there's, varieties. Oh, my God. There's so many varieties. But there's Omaha, right? The yeah. high-low, all this Omaha, other stuff. The short, short, stack, short deck, right? Yeah. All this stuff. I'm a purist, bro. No limit Texas told them that's my game. It yeah. takes a to get to the level where you're where you're confident about making money, right? Where mm. you can consistently make money. Yeah. That takes some time. It really takes some some practice and some study. Yeah. I know no limit uh Texas hold them like the back of my hand. But all the other games, dude, I'm not, not so much. I've played a little bit of PLO. You're not and it's, yeah. it's weird, bro. It's weird. So you don't know pineapple so well. You know there's a game na named Pineapple? Uh, it's, a, it's a variation on blackjack. We actually had mm -hmm. someone who wanted to teach at the school right. based on his experience having dealt pineapple. Wow. Uh, which is amazing because he was from, the name of the town that he was from was like whipped cream or something. <laughs> something really <laughs> absurd. We thought he was punking us. Hell? And we're like, there's just no way this guy from whipped cream dealing pineapple wants to work at CDT. Yeah, that sounds like some like, like no, Candyland stuff. Like, yeah. yeah, it really was. So uh, sure enough, uh, it was a, it was actually a true thing. I mean, he, he just kept following up and following up and we're like, dude, you have to, we can't just hire you a pineapple. Right. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of pineapple games going on in Vegas, oh, but it is, it's a thing in California. It's like a, it's a specialty game uh, that he he loved the pineapple. Don't we all love pineapple? Uh? Yo, spe oh my god! Here we go. Here we go. Speaking of pineapples, come on guys, pineapple on pizza is trash, right? You oh guys my. gotta be with me on yeah, this. I've, they no. gotta be with me on this. No, There's no so, way, dude. dude. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. That's what I'm need, saying, right? That's dude, what I'm saying. A K cup. We, we need an espresso machine. You know what? I I went ahead and got these damn caramel and espresso pods right? for the wrong damn espresso machine. Uh, Apparently, I got the big machine. I need the little mini machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you gotta check. Dude, you gotta check your labels. We head. do have. Oof. Bash the panel in Barbecue. Yo, is this thing is Principal Gross. Skinner like in Simpsons? Yeah, we like Principal Skinner. He's a yeah. he's a he's a big page on. Did you uh what happened? We're not coming back? We're back. Huh? We're back. We are back? back. Are we back? Hello, can you guys see Man, us? Man, I was about to take a little nap. Yeah. <laughs> no, are we really back? I think we're back. Can you guys yeah. hear us? Hello? Okay. Hey, says, wait, yeah, because yeah. uh, Alan says we're back, so we must be back. Yeah. Oh, did you wave? Is that you waving? It's a little delay. Yeah, I'm not sure, but they were they were talking about how I should play against Timmy, but you and I did play against Timmy, and I was making money. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was still making money. I mean, you easy, were making easy, money. Easy, yeah. Yeah. Timmy was on like practice, so that he yeah, was okay, out of his zone. Bro. Bro. All right, dude. He was out of his zone. Yeah, of course, sure. He took me out. Yeah. So yeah. there was that. So when so listen, you're winning, it's all skill, I'm, but when I'm winning, yeah. it's all luck. No, trust all right, me. Trust that's me. That's exactly right. I mean, you okay, just you bro. just classified or clarified for everyone. Hey, uh, you did get the we did get the blue screen of death. Oh, that was us saying that. Oh my god. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you much. All right. So here's the thing. Uh, for those of you out there in um, Pizza Land. Oh yeah. What's your favorite topping on your pizza? Bro, okay, listen, that guy, Dan, really? Dan says that barbecue is gross. Dude, barbecue is my favorite. My, really? My, yeah, yeah, straight up it. barbecue. Dude, I love, you yeah, know. Where, where is there barbecue pizza? Barbecue pizza is not big in New York, though. It's it, like just yeah, it cheese, is. pepperoni, no? Nah, dude, any uh, like pizza place you go to, any like Italian restaurant, anything, yeah. they got barbecue. They got barbecue and buffalo. Uh, and buffalo? buffalo? Yeah. 
Yeah, that that's a new delicious. Thing. Not like a buffalo bed on craps, though. See, a lot of us older generation, we don't understand the whole buffalo. Buffalo is a sauce. Yeah, I mean, it's like buffalo chicken, yeah. Sauce. So it's chicken buffalo with chicken. buffalo sauce, yeah, basically. Yeah. Which makes no sense, because it's not buffalo chicken. It's not like, it's a buffalo sauce on chicken, no? D like, listen, how did they get the name buffalo chicken? Listen, barbecue is also, it's, that's a cooking technique, basically, right? But you really? still say barbecue chicken. Yeah, 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 cooking something on a barbecue. Interesting, yeah. interesting. All right, well, anyways, uh, I love I love New York pizza. Yeah, New York Any pizza. Any pizza made, yeah. yeah. On my way, over, on the drive to Vegas, stopped yeah. by Chicago, got Chicago deep dish pizza, right? Really? Where did you yeah. get it from? I got it from Chicago. Oh, I got it from, in a place called Uno's. Uno's. Yeah, Uno's. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they used to have Uno's out here. I used to love Uno's. Really? They, I didn't no know that longer, that was a thing. Yeah. That was a thing. They were like a chain, Uno. Uh -huh. uh, and we, there's actually another restaurant out here, by the way. Oh, God. It's going to be some haters. So I went to Giordano's in uh, Chicago. near. Yeah. It's actually near... Uh, near the Chicago Cubs uh, stadium. Oh God, I just, I just, what's the name of the damn stadium? Holy crap. But anyways, people are gonna just, uh, but uh, yeah. yeah, don't worry about it. All yeah. right, and it was fantastic. Had a really mm. good time. I got one of their staple, you know, meat lovers kind of filled and it was, you know, it was a stuffed pizza, yeah, right? Yeah. We ate at Jared Donald's the other day and um, we, we had to go eat somewhere else after. Wait, why? So we, we ate. It was just the weirdest thing. So we, we custom. Mm -hmm. I have I have a feeling like if you're going to get a stuffed pizza, you have to make sure it's like really stuffed. Yeah. We only ordered a few ingredients, not uh -huh. a lot of ingredients. And it was like literally, it was so much cheese. Oh, it was just cheese. And there wasn't see. enough stuffing. And just make sure. Yeah, when well, places skimp you out like that, that's trash. Oh, you know what, though? Uh, I was eating some food over here, and there was yeah. a California Pizza Kitchen, I think it's called. Yeah, I've CPK. never heard of that. Yeah. Never heard of that. Is it good? Because uh, I've never tried it. Okay, so, so CPK. Oh, God. What should we say about the CPK, buddy? Just say if it's good or not, right? I mean, Tell me if it's good or not. I've not tried it before. Let's not, let's not yeah, let's not, let's not touch that one. Let's just Is say it? that. There's some history there. Let's just say really? That. Yeah. What? Yeah, okay. what? Yeah, so let's just say. All right, I mean, let's. All right, whatever. Yeah, Pizza Ray Uno is kind of like retreated. Uh, Wrigley. Oh, yeah, Wrigley Field. <laughs> sports show. Thank God I got Mike on the sports show. I knew it was Wrigley Field. It's just like I'm, I'm halfway through my food coma. After I eat, you get to my age. You eat, and you kind of your body shuts down for about an dude, hour. I'm, all, I'm halfway there, man. I'm halfway oh, there. I, I, God, no, I'm serious, guy. dude. I can't eat a lot. Like, I, I eat a little bit. I used yeah. to be able to eat, like, an entire pizza pie in one setting. Now, really? if I have, like, one or two slices, I'm done, dude. One like, or yeah. two slices? Yeah, one oh, or two my. slices, and I'm done. I'm, like, full, yeah, full. That's like, that's, like, sticky over there. One or two slices takes a half hour to eat it. And then, you know what I mean? Then you feel bad that you went there. You paid all this money for a big meal. Yeah. And, you know, he's like, look at him. He's giving me some weird ass <laughs> look. <laughs> he, can, he can eat, but it takes him a minute. You know, right. it takes a minute. I mean, he's look, 110 Alex pounds. Like, Alex with no, was no, like, Alex, Alex is an eater. Now, you take Alex out to eat a buffet mm -hmm. because you want value. Right, right. Yeah. You get value when you take <laughs> Alex to the buffet. Oh, it's not, so he's a vacuum. You're no, he that. is a vacuum. I mean, oh, he, can, yeah. he can take a buffet. Like, you know when you get that $10 or 20 well, $10. Let's say you spent $30 at the buffet. Right. The worst thing you can do in Vegas is take someone who's a vegetarian. Okay. No takeaway from those of you who are vegetarians, but if you're just going to eat salad at the buffet, that's not value. Right, right, yeah. Because you can go buy a head of lettuce and some tomatoes and go home and, you know, yeah, make yeah. a salad for right, right, a couple yeah. of bucks. Yeah, yeah. In order to get value at the buffet, you got to eat prime rib. Mm -hmm. You got to have the shrimp. Yeah. You know, you got to have all the premium stuff. And Alex can take down some premium food like there's nobody's business. Yeah. I don't even eat prime rib. I go for the desserts. That's my problem. I go I for... See. I go for the, you know, and nowadays they're ordering out. They're not even making the desserts in-house anymore. Most of the buffets have given up making their stuff in-house. Bacchanal, even Bacchanal, some of their desserts were, 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 uh, were, were not made in-house. Hey, like, what's the, what desserts are we talking, though? Like, what are we're you... talking, like, you know, like the little cheesecakes, oh, cheesecakes and the cookies and stuff, like and stuff like this. So a lot of, a lot of the uh, buffets, or some of them anyways, used to make it, had a pastry chef. And they wow. would make the pastries. And, you know, but then COVID came. Mm -hmm. It became hard to, you know, acquire some of the logistics and kind of thing. And so, um, very depressing, sir. Yeah, very I mean, it's, depressing. It's, yeah, I mean, I used I to know, know where all the cakes were made. Yeah.
Each buffet that made the roll, because I, I love white cake. Wait, if, they, if they're if they importing it from other places, yep. I'm sure those places make the stuff still good, though, right? Or no, it, sometimes it, not, it can yeah. be, and sometimes it's... Oh, know, sometimes it's, it's just, yeah, it's crap. not the same, I see. If they make it fresh, dude, it's not yeah, fresh. It's it's not fresh. It loses that... Uh, I feel you, yeah. So yeah, you're yeah. new to Vegas, so yeah, that, yeah. sadly, you're going to miss out on uh, a lot of buffets, dude. A lot of buffets haven't come back. But still, like, mm -hmm. show me what the good ones are when the good ones are like, open up, you know, mm -hmm. even if it takes a while. Yeah. yeah, that's the point. So Stacey Casino's had a lot of buffets. Okay. Uh, and now they're not coming back with the buffets. Like ever? Like uh, supposedly, according to Fertitas, who own Stacey, they're wow. like the majority stockholders, they're not coming back with the buffets. And that was a staple of Stacey Casino. That's crazy. That's All of them. Red Rock Buffet was fantastic. Green Valley Buffet was fantastic. Sunset was pretty good. Texas even was, was good, but cheap. Damn. Well, for so the what's, price. What's the eating situation going to be like then? Like, where, where... I mean, you're going to have to, like, you know. Not go to the buffet and stay. You know, yeah, I mean, right? I guess not. But, where, where have you, have you eaten anywhere yet? Uh, you took me to a place. Yeah, well, we did. We went to the same like Italian place. Yeah, yeah. But besides that, have you gone anywhere else? Nah, I've I've been Uber eating it up, bro. So yeah. where do you go for fast food? For here fast locally? food. Okay, there's actually a ton of fast food in Vegas that uh -huh. I've never tried before. Like, uh -huh. it's really not in uh, New York, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I tried um, Jack in the Box for the very first time. No way. There's no Jack in the Box in New York City? If there is, I haven't seen it, so... No way. I'm, I'm being dead You're ass You're kidding here, bro. me. Yeah, I'm yeah, being I'm serious. Yeah. Is that true? I don't... Listen, if there is, I haven't run into it. I'm not You've saying that there isn't. You've never run into it? I'm not saying that there isn't there. I'm just saying I've wow. never eaten I'm there. I'm so All impressed. Right. Holy no crap. No Jack in the Box. No Carl's Jr. No Carl's Jr.? No Carl's Jr.? Yeah, Jr. that's not a big yeah. one. Yeah, I don't What else? Anyway. There's so much stuff Taco here. Taco Bell? Okay, obviously there's Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. obviously. See, yeah, of there course there's Taco Bell. There is a Jack in the Box? Oh, yeah, in and out I've had it in and out one time before in California, but I don't need it in and out I have, you know. Wow. So there's five so guys in New York, so I'm, I'm chilling. No five guys? No, there's five guys in New York. Oh, there so, yeah, is. So I'm chilling, yeah. Because this is, uh, you know, Vegas has become kind of foodie capital. Right. A lot right. of really good food. Yeah. Oh, so, like, yeah, yeah. whatever oh. you like, you can find it here. Speaking of food, there's mm -hmm. one place that I knew before I even came to Vegas yeah. that I want to try. It's called Heart Attack Grill. Have you heard of it? Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. stories, dude. Dude. I met the guy that used to be the advertiser. Oh, you met, really? it, Well, because it started in Arizona. Right. And I forget which one in Arizona. I think it's the Mesa one or the Chandler one, wherever, wherever the hell they started, right? Yeah. They used to have this really heavy guy who used to be. Uh, he was the guy that'd be like, yeah, I eat a heart attack, heart attack grill every day and yeah. love it. You know, yeah. and he, he clearly looked like he did. Yeah, yeah. And he quite literally had a heart attack while he was there. You know, I heard, I heard this on the no, news. No, no, those are this two guy stories. Was, yeah, so, this guy was but on the, news. the second one took him out, by the way. He did finally pass away. That right. guy is gone, right? All right. And uh, we, we went there. So me and a friend of mine went to the one that, I think it's in Mesa. I believe it's in Mesa or Chandler. It's in, it's in Arizona. Okay. And it looks like a diner. Uh, it wasn't like the one in Vegas. The one in Vegas, they actually have like uh, the servers are dressed in nurses outfits. Yeah, I've heard of that. And you have to like wear like, they a, have like a, a smock, smock or something. Yeah. As if you're going into like ER. Yeah, exactly. And you're have yeah. a heart, you know, open heart and surgery. And if you can't finish your meal, like they spank you, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. I haven't been spanked. That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you're now. interested. Look at that. So, so the, the one in Arizona, they don't have it. It's just, yeah. a, it's just they have the diner booze. Yeah. When we went, it was late at night. They had like two people on staff. Right, right. The interesting thing was they sell cigarettes right in the camp as you're going in and like uh so you can go get your you know milkshake hamburger and on your way out grab a smoke you know because oh, that right. adds to the whole yeah yeah, you know, dynamic the, yeah, yeah, of course, like, yeah wanting to kill yourself as yeah, quickly as possible know, yeah be as healthy as possible yeah yeah, as, uh, <laughs> yeah so that was that that was all that thing. we were i was so impressed because they literally have like a display counter mm -hmm. making it look like there's all premium yeah, cigarettes as you know right. part of that whole experience but here in vegas they have a they have a um uh, uh, they have a scale outside the restaurant. Yeah, I've, I've heard about it's, that. It's yeah. a horse scale, by the way. It's a big ass scale. Yeah, you yeah. can just jump right on it with your whole family, realistically. Right, right, right. And if you're 350 pounds or higher, mm -hmm. you get a free meal. Really? Damn, One I gotta free start meal. Eating. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god, you gotta wait. I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta catch up. It's gonna yeah. take you a minute, buddy. But 350 yeah. pounds, you get a free meal. Yeah. And not even a big meal. Like, I would think, like, if, if you get to that level, yeah. you get, you know, yeah, it's just you, one yeah, free can, meal, dude. It's like damn. it's like worth. Can you imagine that being your goal, and then you get a twenty dollar bill? Congratulations, here you go. Yeah, but at the same time, you're probably gonna that that free meal is just your appetizer at that point. You know what I mean? Dude. Like you're gonna go into the store and get more anyway. So no, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You and need a second bag. I can, I mean, forget the smokes part. I'm just I just want to go there for the food. The food actually looks good. 
Like, well, I, I will say this. I've yeah. had a shake. The malt, uh, they, they have shakes there yeah. that are absolutely amazing. It's made with, like, lard. Yeah, yeah, like and a full stick of butter or something like, like that. Like, literally, yeah. and you, it really does taste good. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, I mean, uh, if you have any, like, uh, if you're one of those people, like, with me, if I eat too much sugar at once, it kind of overwhelms me. All right. And that shake will put you down, dude. Really? That shake okay. will literally Wait, you just said you're a dessert guy, though. How I you, am a dessert know? guy, but some desserts are like... Okay, yeah, they're like super... Yeah. Concentrated sugar, bro. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, now I'm doing it. Oh, my God. My guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I will say that I've, I've, I've never heard anything bad about the food, and the shake is fantastic. I did have a burger. Mm-hmm. I didn't have the fries or anything else. I had a burger Wait, and you shake. just had the shake? Oh, you said you no, had, no, the I had a burger and the shake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was good. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like out of this world good, but you could taste the you know a lot of butter, a lot of fat. The shake, though... Wow! Holy yeah, crap! The dude, I can't good. wait. I, mean, I, I had never had a shake, shake like that made out with yeah. like real lard. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, just that all like in. Literally delicious. Really? Like, actually, no. Because for me, a lot of people are like grossed out by grease or anything. Dude, I'm the type no, of guy when no. I get a, a New York pizza, bro, I leave that stuff off. Dude, there. Are, I know so many people that will take their pizza and like dab it oh, with a napkin, yeah. to get the grease off. And I'm like, bro, why are you eating pizza then, man? Like that's what it's for. Yeah, it's in Chandler. Yeah. Okay, so it's in Chandler. I lived in Mesa yeah. time. So Mesa, Chandler, one of those. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, we. You know, you know some of the best rice. I used to know my friend's grandmother, mm-hmm. uh, who's Mexican or yeah. actually Honduran. She used to collect the fat from chicken she would make during the oh, week sick. or meats yeah. and stuff, and yeah. she would collect all the fat. Mm-hmm. And she would use that fat to make the rice. That sounds delicious. It, it was yeah. fantastic, yeah, yeah. dude. And it would be all there on the top of her stove and mm-hmm. like this cup. Right. And some people would be like weirded out by that. Right. But man, it tasted good. Yeah, dude. You, know, like, you, know damn it. Yeah. you know what's crazy about rice? I've been eating rice my whole life, you know, obviously, right? Like, yeah, you know, y'all, right? Yeah, y'all can oh tell. Oh my God. But the thing about rice for me is in my household, it's very like, it's just regular. It's just yeah. rice, rice, right? And since I've been eating that my whole life, I didn't realize it could get tastier, right? I just thought it was like... Just kind of just rice, rice, right? Yeah. But you know, if you go and like watch cooking videos, right, or like watch even Gordon Ramsay cook rice, yeah. they add like spices to it, flavorings to it. Yeah. Rice can get super tasty. Like it doesn't have to be just bland stuff. That's I had good no to know. idea. Like, Gordon Ramsay, was he just yell at his rice? Yeah, <laughs> yell at his rice. Be tasty. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe the rice would listen, but no, nah, you put like you know herbs, spices. You cook it a certain way. All right, so uh, so now uh, we're gonna teach uh, a little bit of poker. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Hopefully, you're yeah. still gonna go to the school. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, you're so far in a couple days. Mm-hmm. So so how's your progress going? Dude, I'm, I got blackjack down, man. I mean, really? yeah, yeah, to go? yeah, for sure, yeah. Think you can uh, get hired, pass an audition? Yeah, I mean, even if the even if the blackjack stuff doesn't work out, they're just gonna take one look at my face and be like, yeah, he's in. Look at that guy. Yeah, Principal Skinner, chicken stock cooked rice, amazing. No, Sounds delicious right there. No, it is. It's like yeah. rice aroni, dude. That's yeah. what it is, rice aroni. It's like chicken stock or, you know what I mean? They make yeah. that little love rice aroni. Is liking rice aroni, is that like, is that is that okay? I've even not even had rice aroni. I've heard of it. but I've Dude, uh, you, have, you haven't had rice aroni? I've not had rice aroni. Oh, my God. I've had, like, I don't know, sloppy I joe. I should do some bizarre food box. Ugh. I, I don't think I'd be the right guy for that because... Uh, I, I me eating bizarre food is is more about my reaction to the to the bizarre wait food. no you'd literally be the perfect guy for it dude. Oh, don't you yeah. have like the whitest taste buds of all time i, I do that's what way, i'm saying right? I do have the that's what i'm taste saying right guy this guy so Bro. Here, here's the thing yeah. this this happened in, in actuality yeah. this this really happened yeah. uh, a friend of mine a friend of ours rocky yeah knew that i was you know extra white yeah yeah, yeah. and uh he he went ahead and took me to an authentic Japanese restaurant. Okay. And he, he told me going into it, listen, don't even ask what it is. I'm not going to tell you anything about the food. Okay. You're not going to know what I'm ordering. We're going to hide everything from me. I'm like, so I thought like, you know, it would be like this big, it didn't have to be a big secret because I didn't understand a thing that was in this. Right? It was so authentic. There's nothing in English. Yeah. The waiter, I think the waiter flipped me <laughs> off when we showed up, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> the waiter was yelling at me. It's something yeah. yelling at me. Right. And, and Rocky's like, no, no, that's just how they do it. And, and at this restaurant, you know, I didn't know this about Japanese don't order all the food at once they order something and then they do it like this and they go oh, like I this see. Okay, yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. I quite literally thought they were flipping me off okay. like, I literally <laughs> go into this and then and then there's a one area of the restaurant where everybody has their clothes out yeah and they're 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 in um they're sitting down there's no seats Oh, okay. I, I actually oh, got. I know, yeah, I they, know there's no that, seats. Yeah. They're sitting on the floor. Okay. And they have like blankets and I. I, okay, I that's the, like authentic. I think I guess like, that's like the real I, experience. Because I, like, yeah. I guess you know you can put stuff over your lap or yeah, whatever yeah. the case is. And uh, I was like, man, I forgot my sleeping bag. For yeah. This one. Like, <laughs> like, what the hell? What kind of right. experience is right, that? Right, right, right. I'd be surprised too if so I. So we actually sat like in a booth, right? right? 
And it was him and his girlfriend and then just me. Okay. And they just sat there trying to like, you know, and, I, and I'm figuring out now that they had made this pack not to tell me what I was going to eat, which yeah. I, I really don't like that. I, I want to know what I'm eating, dude. I get it that I might not figure it out by looking at it because right. I won't. Right. Because I that's the thing with some buffets out here. Some buffets are a big, bit foofy. Right. right. You, if I can't see what it is, mm -hmm. like in a very, it, you know, just see like what the hell it is. Yeah, like yeah. I'm not, and it's got some weird coloring and yeah. it's, you know, not, yeah, it's I, not mixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, it's yeah. got, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just yeah, weirds yeah, me yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I sit down, okay, and yeah. all there is is a mallet. Okay. There's a mallet, dude. Yeah, yeah, like a, a yeah, yeah. Like, small like, hammer. It's a hammer thing with a, this, uh, it's a mallet. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. how else to explain it. Yeah, yeah. And on the other side is chopsticks. Okay. Okay. Now, dude, I, I will starve to death before I can <laughs> figure out how chopsticks put food in my mouth. Oh, you, you can't use chopsticks, bro? I'm terrible at chopsticks. No way, man. I mean, I'm, I'm already depressed. Just, just stab it, dude. So just, just stab it with the chopsticks. They did get me a fork, so yeah, I, yeah. Got, I got happy with that. Yeah. And, and then, and then they, they brought in this dish, right? Yeah. Dude. What was it? So so here's the thing. Okay. This dish was moving around on my plate. I uh, kid you not. It was completely moving around on the plate. What even and was took, it? What was the animal? Well, I'm going to explain it. Okay, I found right, out right. later. I thought I thought it was alive, dude. Yeah. And now I, I was like, oh, my God. I, the mallet. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just, I'm <laughs> just, just literally beating my food. <laughs> As they're going, yeah, yeah, and they're, you know, of course they're they're laughing. I'm not laughing. Yeah, I'm literally because I'm assuming like after seeing everything, I'm figuring, because I know the Japanese love fish. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, I've watched South Park too. They hunt a lot of whales. Right. You know what I mean. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, I South Park is historically accurate. Yeah, for sure, about yeah. about the whales. They yeah, just yeah. hate whales. They're yeah, out there yeah, eating yeah. whales. They're just running around. But 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 I figured like I I knew instantly they brought some flipping fish and apparently they they don't kill it they wait to get, they want it so fresh they got to kill it on the plate okay so like I I quite literally I, I kid you not I yeah. wasn't kidding around I literally tucked them out and I started beating my plate with it <laughs> and it, it it didn't do anything yeah uh, it's still wiggling around yeah. yeah. And I don't know what to do. I'm looking up at Rocky, and they're like, they're like, uh, they told me what it is. I didn't, it didn't recognize what it is. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I wasn't a big fan either okay. way. Apparently, it's I don't know if you've had this Bonito flakes. Yeah, yeah, I know and what those they, are. And they yeah, were yeah, hot, yeah. and they were just wiggling Wait, Bonito around. Bonito flakes are just flakes, though. They're not even fish. Oh, well, yeah. So, Wait, you thought that was alive, <laughs> bro? That it literally looks like cereal chips or something. Well, like that, it was dude. little. It looked like a. It looked like the wings, like a, not wings. It looked like a like the Wait, side dude, of a there's fish. No way. Yeah. Anyways, that you see that so, and you think that's like a thing. Like, well, like anyway, it's not oh, the one to take. <laughs> rice aroni. We love rice aroni. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh my god. Dude, you gotta learn how to, how to Yeah, no, that was, I totally be, bro, how, I really do. How he, are you friends with Alex and Alex hasn't taught you? you know what uh, I mean? Bro, Alex I'll just, teach you. Alex like, just gets me a fork and calls yeah. it a day, dude. Yeah. He's not into like, you know. I, I'll teach you just so you know, you know what I mean? So yeah, you don't even have to use it. Dennis just so you has know. taught me. I'm not terrible yeah. at it, but uh, mm. I mean, eating rice with chopsticks makes no sense. Wait, why? That's why they give it to you in a bowl, so you can bring the bowl. Bring the bowl? I mean... Okay, listen. So, I'm a pretty Americanized person, I would say, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm really not as Asian as I look, right? Yeah. But even... I, I prefer spoons and forks. I do. Really? But chopsticks, if you just know how to use it, it, it does come in handy sometimes. Like, there really? are some moments, yeah. There are what kind of moment? Some, there are generally some moments where you want to pick the certain food. Because yeah. a fork, you have to stab it, and a spoon, you have to scoop it. But with a chopstick, you could just kind of... Let's go in and grab real oh quick. Oh my god. So it, it, it really is helpful. Yeah. Really? The reason you eat with chopsticks is actually you gain less weight eating with You gain less weight because it takes you a lot more calories. You're burning calories no, trying no, to eat. Because it's the slower eating. So eating faster. I, I get I the see. slower eating. You can't get as much stuff on that. I don't know. It's just more. It's just useful, bro. I mean, there's. Really? You know, yeah. Most of the planet knows how to use chopsticks. By the way, yo. I'm, most of the planet. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like the one out. Yeah. But Jesus. listen. Freeform Aggie. I, I wonder if this person is Filipino because they said try some balut. Do you know what balut? I have no idea. But no yeah, it's some it's some Filipino food, right? It's, is it really? It is. It is. If if I remember correctly, I think yeah. it's like a like a Why? chicken egg. No the, way. It's a chicken egg yeah, where the chicken, thing. the baby chicken, oh is like developed god. a little bit. Oh my yeah. god! No, that's no. like listen. I've I've never tried it myself, but my Filipino anyway. friends rave about listen this here. thing, bro. Listen here. So the next, uh, yeah, no, they rave. No, no, nah, no. they say it's out, delicious. Out, out, nah, out, okay. Out. That's like the monkey more, brains. Are you kidding me? Here's what, here's what I'm saying, right? The more I talk to you, the more you're the perfect candidate to oh try God, weird nah, foods nah, nah, because you're gonna be looking at this thing like you don't even know what you're looking at, man. Oh, dude. dude, you got I'm it. I swaddle my food as I go. No, that's not a thing, dude. I, I'm not. There's no way I'm touching a. Come, it, dude, I, we'll I, have a garbage can right there for a you. Yeah, <laughs> come on, it's I'm fine. I need one. 
Uh, all right, so so the next thing they brought me was yeah. literally a wing. So I thought those were that's what I thought it was was the fish wings. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. they were flapping or something yeah, cause like this. Yeah, because fish have wings, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah wings. Fish have wings. So they do. They have <laughs> the these fins, little the fins. fins yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then they brought me an actual fin. Like a, a, a fin. A fin. It looked like a, a fin, and okay. and um, uh, Alex told me later on it was some kind of wishbone. Okay. Uh, or some kind of like elbow bone. I, uh, what? I, what fish I, have I, elbows? I mean, I've I don't never understand. Heard of that either. That was rough, dude. I didn't eat that one. I pushed it off to the side. I broke it up into little pieces. I was I was evaluating no, it just for a eat second. It, just eat it. And then I figured, like, yeah, dude, done. Okay. The Not next one they good. came up with was tongue. Oh, tongue. That sounds delicious. Uh, <laughs> who wants to eat anybody's tongue? Dude? Listen, it's, listen. It's kind of a weird... I have family that will eat like chicken feet. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the, no. the scaly part of the chicken feet. You know what I mean? And they go like, oh yeah. It's in the all jar, the pickled feet in the jar. No, no, no. It's like in a soup form. Yeah. In a uh, form. Yeah. And listen, they'll just tell you it's protein. Oh, by the way, it's duck. Bullet is duck egg. My bad. I guess. It's, oh, it's yeah, duck, duck egg. egg. Well, yeah. that's better. Yeah. <laughs> that's better. See, well, as long as it's a duck yeah. and not a chicken, now, nah, man. Yeah, because we all you're all about duck babies. Bro, listen. Here's the thing, right? I used to be a pretty picky eater, right? Really? But when you watch other people be picky eaters, it kind of, it makes you realize it that back. it's not, because dude, there are when like- eating what? Uh, if, if you watch other people who are picky eaters, it yeah. makes you realize, oh, I, I don't want to be like that, right? And yeah. I'll give you an example. There are really famous like food reviewers on YouTube, right? right. Plenty of like super famous guys. There's this one guy, he reviews burgers, right? He's a big burger dude. Yeah, But he I can hates do tomatoes, right? He eats oh, tomato really? to the yeah. He eats tomato to the point where he takes the tomato out of the burger before he eats it. Oh, right? that's silly. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Silly. That's what he's sa- That's what I'm saying, right? If you're gonna yeah. be a food reviewer, you gotta eat the food. Yeah, as eat it the comes. food exactly. That's what I'm I saying. I just make sure that whatever food is coming my way is not something I'm. You know, here here's the thing. Like I don't I don't mind mixing my food. I'm not one of those people that has to have everything separate. Right. right. I just want to know what the hell I'm eating. Right, I mean, here's the thing. And if it's too weird, I won't eat it. Here's the thing. For or if me, I don't think I like it, I won't eat it. For me, I've never eaten frog before. I've never eaten snail I have before. I have eaten frog. Right? Yeah. Uh, but I'm willing to try it, right? Like, why not, right? I've, eaten, I've eaten, like, you know, cockroaches and stuff before. If you live right? in the jungle yeah. for any length of time, and you run out of other sources, frogs are, are on the menu. Yeah, I mean, Sadly. I would eat a frog. I would eat a frog. Uh, what happened? This, this food. Oh, God. That's a... What, what the is that? hell what is, is that? that? Bolt. What is that? That's what it is? Yep. Oh, balut, balut. Balut. Yeah, balut. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's no way in hell I'm eating that. That actually looks like you're eating a baby. That looks like a baby on the plate. Wait, That's not a wouldn't, thing. You, wouldn't you eat like, um... I've had... I think veal is baby cow, right? Yeah, veal. Well, I've had, I've had veal, but it looks so delicious. I mean, That's I just, not, I just don't think about... Veal is a about, baby... See, dude, it's a cultural thing, I don't, don't want to look at the baby first and then, you know, cut it up. No, like, listen, most Americans, like, Americans specifically, yeah. uh, a lot of them don't like seafood, right? A lot of Americans really? are not fans of seafood, specifically because they didn't grow up I on like it, I like right? certain types of seafood. Yeah, but there's Lost a lot of Americans shrimp. who don't like it simply because they're not familiar, right? They're yeah. just, they just weren't born, right? Yeah. You're not gonna see any Asians that don't like seafood. No, they every, yeah, they, yeah, they, they grew up on that. Yeah, exactly. That's what rice I'm saying, right? and fish. Yeah, yeah. If I, I realize that there's so much food that I don't like because I didn't grow up on it, and I'm like, no, nah, that's a bad mindset. It yeah, all tastes like everything. chicken. You, you know what's interesting is when I was down south, right? I was introduced to lots of fruits. What I didn't realize was how limited that we only get fruits that are like attractive. All like right. the shiny apple, yeah, the yeah, looking yeah. banana. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's some ugly ass bananas down yeah, south, yeah. And, they, and they're fantastic. They're little mini bananas. They look great. Mm-hmm. You know. What oh, I mean? speak. I, I know that the current banana that we eat, the yellow one, mm-hmm. that's actually a less tasty version oh, of, yeah. the, of the banana that we were that we originally ate. Oh, but I yeah, there was like a there was like a huge like banana virus or something well, wiped them all out. Yeah. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah that real, sucks. Yeah. That's a bad virus. Yeah. Hopefully, we can make a find a way to get the original bananas back because I heard those were. Like, we should have vaccinated those. Bananas That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Back dude. in the day, <laughs> like, they had they should have wear like no, banana plantains. Masks. But if you go down the plant, I think they're called plantains. They're little mini bananas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They grow. They they little you know, and they're they're fantastic. In fact, mm-hmm. I went to this I went to this fruit market or this you know food market. Mm-hmm. And uh, they had all these like seeded uh, fruits, and mm-hmm. I mean, it was just fantastic. There was one thing where that had all these seeds on the outside, and and uh, it was so it was it was, was fantastic. It just it was an ugly ass fruit, though. Yeah, yeah. I you mean, know what I'm saying? This is the it thing. So good, it, it in, good, in America, you got everything has to be shiny, yeah, and clean. Good, yeah. It's got to look a certain way. Yeah, it's got to be on Playboy magazine, exactly. It, it, it really does. <laughs> There's actually a company now that has like the the the. Uh, it's called like Ugly Fruit or something like this. 
and they literally sell all the all the fruit that people just don't want. Oh yeah, it's like cheaper and stuff. Right? And, and mm-hmm. you know it, what's interesting is I have a, I have a friend of mine in Arizona actually who was growing tomatoes, their own tomatoes. The first time I ever had tomatoes out of someone's backyard, they were like brownish, greenish. They weren't even red. Right. right. And they were fantastic. Yeah, they're really I, good. People care about the aesthetic of the food so much that if you look at how they make food commercials behind the scenes, oh, it's yeah. all fake food. It's literally yeah, it's like modeled food. to no, look delicious. That's yeah. true. Yeah. It's never it never looks like that. Yeah, yeah, never. It looks never looks like the picture, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's kind no, of sad. Dude, have you seen McDonald's burgers just smash? Oh uh, yeah, yeah that's what no, I'm it doesn't look anything yeah. like but the picture. Speaking of uh, exotic eating, have you ever watched like Man vs Wild, something like that, like a uh, like uh, survivalist type no, show? By the way, I get triggered when I watch shows like that. Why? Why is that? Well, because I actually had to. Oh, because you've know, been there, the yeah, so yeah. yeah, you can see like the the fakeness, it, actually, like the behind it, the scenes. It's not so much the fakeness; it's the idea that my I was young. Mm-hmm. Uh, I sort of, you know, existed in that. It, it's amazing when I think back of the mm-hmm. time that I spent. It, it feels like it was a dream. I, I feel like I, I, I can't imagine it was me based on the me now. Okay. Do you know I eat, I eat, I eat pizza with a fork and knife now. Oh, I mean, snap. I've, de- I've degenerated. Oh, bro, you're from New York, bro. <laughs> How you eat pizza with the fork? I, I, because I, I, I get it gets all greasy, and I can't oh, get the grease off this, my hands. Oh my god! Okay. And, and I'm always doing this, and oh, so geez. you know, if all I can right. eat it with a fork and knife. Uh, the other, so yesterday I went to Chipotle, and they couldn't imagine that I, 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 I don't like that foil on the damn burrito. I'm like, dude, just, just throw it in the flipping. Don't, I don't need the foil. Just dude, put it in the thing. Dude, do you drink like could... soda with like a straw, like soda cans with a straw? No, you... no, no. I don't. No, I go straight. Uh, bro, I, I feel you're a few years away from that, bro. Give it some time. You're gonna start drinking. <laughs> oh my god. Coca Cola out of it with a uh, straw. Only yeah, Chicago deep dish. You gotta have it with a fork and knife. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I used to eat catfish as a kid. We there were people that caught these big monster catfish. They had to clean them out. You know, they would yeah. catch. I them caught a they... catfish once. Really? Yeah, yeah. Those are big. Yeah, They're I big mean, well, catfish. mine was a small one, but yeah, it feels heavy when you fish it. I was amazed to find out how big tuna grow. Yeah, tuna's huge, huge bro. Like huge. Oh and, uh, my I always, god! I, I always figured they were they were they were small enough to fit in a can. Yeah, I so mean, even well, even those are sardines, still, I think. No, yeah, yeah, no, not not tuna. I'm like, yeah. well, if it gets in the can, then it must be a small. I I, I, never realized I they haven't were even big. seen how big tuna grow, but I know that like the fishermen that go out like to the deep oceans, yeah. right? Yeah, dude, they're freaking, they're no. insane, yeah. All right, well, here we go. All right, so we're, we're on the food, man. Yeah, food's dude, a we're big just, topic, dude. Just, yeah, food is an amazing topic. Food, food is a big topic. We can talk about food someone, every podcast someone, for the rest of the time. Someone it's told us to bring you, bring you to a D&D, uh, a D&D food vlog one of these days, huh? we got to figure out where we're going to go. Uh... Wow, you don't even eat deep dish with a fork and knife? Holy smokes. Yeah, dude, when I was in How Chicago, do you do dude, that? when I was in Chicago, I was literally, like, my friends there are you put born, your hand in born and, and raised, yeah, born and raised in Chicago, right? And you eat deep dish. And they, dish. Would, they would just take the whole thing and just shove it in their mouth. Oh, dude. my God. Are you yeah. kidding me? I'm not kidding you. No. I'm going to need a bid for that one. Yeah, I mean, it was, it, it is, yeah. I, uh, Vietnam was a great dream. Oh, my God. It wasn't in Vietnam, damn it. <laughs> I love tuna, though. That's a thing. What, tuna? Do you know that Subway recently, do you know Subway, their, their bread is considered a cookie? It's classified as a cookie because it's 10% sugar. It's oh, a lot of sugar. What? No wonder it's so sweet. So in sweet. Ireland, they, 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 they classify wow. it's a cookie. So we go in there and you get your, your meat on your cookie. Okay. The thing is that they, they now did this whole thing with tuna. They can't figure out what the hell it is. They did some DNA, the D, a DNA. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, they did a DNA breakdown of the uh, of the tuna, and they can't they can't verify it's tuna. Okay, what's so that? So someone hell? sued them and said, "Listen, this isn't tuna." Okay. And so they literally uh, took the meat and they sent it to like eight different labs, and right. they weren't able to determine what kind of meat it is. Okay, wow. That's is not that, a good sign. That right? is not a good sign. Somebody no. says that once it's cooked and broken down, it's hard to determine, yeah. you know, what the what the meat is. Dude, it's like one of those things where like they say like but, sausage has like like I don't know, horse meat or human meat in it. Yeah, but it's yeah. hard to yeah. So I, I I used to love the tuna fish sandwich at Subway. Now mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm out. Really? I still love tuna fish though. Tuna fish is I great. still love yeah. Subway. Just gotta, I still love Subway. Yo, Subway is probably I mean, actually my favorite uh no, fast food. Really? I'm, I'm dead ass, bro. I'm being really? I'm being serious. Cuz the thing about Subway is Sandwiches in general, I've eaten so many sandwiches in my life. It's this ridiculous. Guy, 21. I'm, Go ahead. No, I'm serious. I'm yeah. serious. No, no, no. I've, if you look at, if there was a pie chart, Meat right? Meat on your cookie. Yeah. <laughs> look at this guy. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a thing where yeah. I think they were trying to make pizza into a vegetable or something like uh, that I because of like it. the tomato side. Yeah, yeah. But dude, if you look at a pie chart of every single type of food I've ever eaten, mm. sandwiches alone, and if you include like burgers too as a sandwich, right? It would make up a, such a massive percentage. Of the food, and this is just kind of like accidental. It's not like I tried it, but dude, I just love sandwiches now. Like I, really, I absolutely love sandwiches. Yeah. 
You're a sandwich guy. I, I love sandwiches. I'll never say I, no to a good sandwich. It's, it's, it's a fish, but they don't know what kind. Yeah, no, they, they literally don't know. I don't think they've even determined that it's actually fish. Yeah, I do. So I'd actually they, be kind of shocked. If the the article fish, determined yeah. that they, they just didn't know you know what it was yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's some I, I gotta meat, say it's yeah. just a little bit disheartening yeah, coming straight out of yeah after seeing that like pink uh foamy crap yeah. you know, for the mcdonald's that they were claiming the mcdonald's right, pumping that into their stuff, meat. Right? Yeah, yeah whatever yeah, the I hell that was that. yeah yeah I'm a little a uh, little nervous about uh, sourcing food nowadays. Like, where are all this food coming from? The thing is, is how do you keep it fresh? How do you get it to us, right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, I don't know. It's one of those just don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> just, I mean, it. It, just well, you know, just you know. It was so off the whole you. Vegas topic, though, huh? But well, you got oh, yeah. the thing you're gonna love about Vegas is it's definitely become one of the foodie capitals. Maybe not I, the foodie capital, because I, I think that you know Paris obviously is still big. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of you know, food and and great chefs coming from lots of different places, but they seem to all converge on Vegas at some point. They want, you know, they have their restaurant. Even that Cake Boss guy has that Italian restaurant out here. Uh, you know that you know the Cake Boss, the reality Cake show. Boss. I've Cake heard Boss. of this. I've heard of this. Yeah, he has a he literally has a restaurant at the. We tried to eat there the other day. Wow. And, and he has. It? Yeah, we weren't able to get in. Dude. Uh, I see. You can't wait, get wait, in. It was Cake like Boss. It was crowded. Oh, it was packed. Wow, it was like really? A two that hour wait Damn, list. Yeah. That's I mean, so that that's like everywhere. So you have mm -hmm. all these celebrity chefs and someone who like had a role in the background on a celebrity chef show yeah, yeah. or you have the iron chef guys I mean, yeah, the iron chef guys, yeah, they're, they're all out here dude that's crazy yeah i can't wait i to mean joel rubichon was out here not too long ago uh you needed a few extra dollars to go there bro yeah yeah that's what I'm saying. No, uh, it was it's not me being it's you taking me yeah, yeah. oh there you go <laughs> can you imagine there, his his little his price fix menu was like 400 dollars a person jesus there. what yeah that is some and then now they have the new thing now is to have these little hamburger places that have like ridiculously expensive hamburger. Dude, I've heard of that, yeah. Hundred dude. dollar hamburger. Wait, I was thinking like twenty dollars. No, no, hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Seven hundred. <clears throat> there's one at the win that's seven hundred and seventy seven. Wait, is one of those places that like sprinkle gold on it, or is it just yeah, gold flakes? Oh, it's the gold shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They have um, the uh, you know the things that the pig finds. What are those things called? I don't know. Uh, Oh, Earl of Sandwich. I literally had my first Earl of Sandwich today. Really? Didn't even eat the sandwich. Yeah, it was literally... You didn't like it? Oh, no, no, no. It was a wrap. I got a Thai chicken wrap, right? It was good. I liked it. It was good. You did like it? I did like oh, it. you got to have the regular sandwich. I'm going to eat the regular sandwich. The only reason I got the wrap was because it was breakfast, right? I don't yeah. want to eat something too heavy. But uh -huh. I'm, I'm probably going to get it, like, literally today. I'll probably try one of their sandwiches. Earl of Sandwich, yeah. yeah. Earl of Sandwich. We like uh, Ike's. We have Ike's over here, too. I just had an Ike's yesterday. Really? Uber, yeah, I was like, I like it? Uh, I loved it. It was great. It was really? a, um, Wow. Yeah, you haven't met a sandwich you don't like, huh? What? I mean. There are what sandwiches. Did, did you have a sandwich with, with uh, coleslaw on it? Uh, no, it was not coleslaw, no. Wow, he had that one sandwich without coleslaw on it, huh? Yeah, Isn't that good. his yeah. thing is coleslaw, no? Dennis, what are you doing, buddy? Tune I'm back in. figure out what the hell's going on with the light. The That's light? Good. What happened with the... Yeah. Flashing? No, no. But when it, when it comes to sandwiches, I'm a big, like, roast beef guy. Like, turkey Davey is whatever. buying dinner. What's that? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. The truffle, yeah, truffle ramen. What the hell ramen. is truffle ramen? What the hell is yeah, truffle ramen? Yeah, no, I don't know. Ramen. But they have, know they, you know, they have white truffle, brown truffle. I don't know. They, truffle truffles from like the chocolate stuff, right? Well, uh, no, no, no. Like actual truffles, like they're like these things that come from the ground, not truffle, like truffle sauce. Uh, that oh, I don't even know. I don't even it's know what root. that is. Isn't yeah. that a root? It's a root. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. yeah, not like the like truffle like. I've only heard of, I've only heard like of truffle dessert. chocolate. Yeah, no, no. This is like so they have these truffle like sauce that they put on the burger with the twenty four karat gold. So by the way, when you eat when you eat like they have a thousand dollar burger, I think that's the most expensive burger in town. It's a thousand dollars. Jesus. Uh, you don't you don't poop you don't just poop randomly, right? You, do you want to like you know? What do you mean, what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, because you you just ate twenty four karat gold. Like you don't want to let that go, right? Don't you want to retrieve it? <laughs> Wait, dude, why is everything about it reinvesting with you, bro? <laughs> what? This dude is so focused on reinvesting. Oh, He's well, going to yeah. scrape off the gold flakes from his poop after oh, he eats yeah. it. Oh, oh, yeah, you got to filter that out. Dude. Yeah. That's <laughs> coming out. Go panic for gold but, yeah. in the toilet. There you go, pan. <laughs> You gotta pan yourself to the toilet, buddy. Oh, uh, and that that'll help you afford for the next burger. Oh uh, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, you gotta pull my. that twenty-four carat. You don't know how many they could. Yeah, you they might overflake yeah. the burger. Yeah, you, know, you might have a whole lot of gold. You know what I mean? You don't know oh, how much. My. That's left. actually hilarious. Wow. Yeah, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, that is actually hilarious. All right, here you go. You don't like hot roast beef options? Not enough hot roast beef options. Oh, I love hot roast beef. For me, you know, I'll eat a turkey sandwich. I'll eat a ham sandwich. Not, really not the me. biggest Most deal. Roast beef is big for me. Chicken Roast is big beef? for me. Yeah. So you love Arby's. Uh, you know what? I do love Arby's, really? but I've gone there maybe like less than three times in my life yeah, or something like, that. like super. Few so times. here, here's the thing with Arby's. Here's what I don't understand: is how can roast beef mm -hmm. 
as a sandwich be that cheap? Like, how do they get it that cheap? What kind of roast beef are we talking about? I mean, yeah, that's the first question you should be asking. Yeah. Is it roast beef? They even? say it's, yeah, it's, I mean? it's in the meat or, you know, their whole slogan is it's the meat. Yeah. yeah. Like, what kind of meat are we talking about? I don't know. For Three dollars. But all I'm saying is I've not eaten at Arby's a lot. Every time I go there, it's I used amazing. to I love Arby's, but uh, I used to love Arby's. All right. I, Arby's is pretty white food, no? It is. Pre- I mean, it's, it's like white, a white, white food. Dude. It's like, dude, if you look at their sandwiches, it's just meat, 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 meat. Cheese, yeah, it's cheese, a lot cheese, of meat. Sauce, 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 sauce. That's All right, so, so here's the thing. Chiba Hut is I don't, up even, the know that. I don't even know oh, what that is. Fantastic. What is that? Is that like a pizza place? It sounds like pizza. No, no, no. Chiba Hut is a... Uh, so they model themselves after sort of a, a marijuana person's subway shop. Oh, it's like a munchies type It's deal. like a munchies type I subway. See. So they have okay. all these really interesting, very unique kind of like sandwich combinations. Mm-hmm. They even they even sell these Captain Crunch balls uh, oh. uh, where they and and they have like one of the week where they put chocolates and marshmallows and make it delicious. into a bar. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. So like when you're just incredibly high, this is Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just stuff it. I eat that when I'm not high, bro. So so I I was actually at the mm-hmm. Chiba Hut up from the school. There's one right up the street from the school. Yeah. There was a kid there completely tripping dude. oh yeah dude. i mean on either on some kind of edible i was told maybe edibles right and and there they have of course they have the high c like the the fruit punch things yeah, uh, yeah dispensing yeah. things and i needed to get to the t which is sort of right yeah. near there the you know the regular t and i'm not high by the yeah, way yeah yeah and, and they had there's this kid there you know and he's He's got dreads, you know, oh, he's, yeah, he's got you know, he's tatted got, yeah. up, he's, all, he's yeah. just he's just looking down mm-hmm. and he's standing like this with mm-hmm. his his hands are by his side, okay, his yeah. elbows are by his side, yeah. right? And he's just standing there looking down. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, I need to get to the T and I, I kept you know, I'm asking this kid just to kind of move over, mm-hmm. figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah. Until I got to this point where I just I figured he was just like in a trance, dude. It was yeah, completely dude, he out was of in it. another universe. No, he was point, out. Bro. Yeah. So I grabbed him by the elbows and I picked him up and moved him over. Quite uh-huh. literally, yeah, I, yeah. I actually grabbed him at first and hesitated, expecting yeah. him to like a normal yeah, person yeah, yeah, like yeah. respond. No response. <laughs> None. None. I was Jesus there with Christ. Alex, dude. All right, I was either there with Alex or maybe Timmy. I so I pick him up. I move him over about just about two feet. I just he was he was like a hundred pounds wet. You know? Wow, he, dude. He yeah, was like yeah, you know yeah. a little guy. Mm-hmm. I move him over. And he's still the in the same position, <laughs> face in the same position, body in the same position. Bro, he must have thought he was flying at that point. No, he yeah, was out. Yeah, he was literally out like a light. I, yeah. I was just like, got my iced tea and moved on my life. I that, mean, I kept looking back, expecting him at any minute to be just like, what, what to happen? You know, yeah. something. No reaction. But I will say they, we just tried. They have some Las Vegas local Chiba Hut. Um, flavors now mm-hmm. and me and did we have them the other day Dennis? what do you mean by flavors what oh. does that mean De- uh, was it me and you that had them or me and alex that had them what are you talking about uh chiba hut specifically one in chiba hut uh chiba hut has the las vegas uh flavors they have las what vegas even, flavors what, is, what are las so, vegas flavors so they have are you talking like, about like some of the smoke or? so no ch- yeah it was me and alex so chiba hut has like these standard sandwiches like uh we we have the uh, what is it G nineteen G sixteen G fifteen what is it called? Uh, it's the G fifteen. G fifteen. We like the Jamaican red. There's a few of the basic that we love, and okay. then they have these Vegas specific, you know, local local favorites, right? Okay. Me and Alex had the other day. They were literally they were fantastic. Oh, you're talking about sandwiches, May- right? Maybe the best sandwiches I've had in the. Wait, in what was like the little... meat or like what was in it? Like what was in the sandwich? Uh, I can't remember. I don't even yeah. know what the hell is in it. For me, yeah, because I'm a huge sauce guy too. It I had a lot of sauce. Yeah, that's it had what I'm marinara saying, sauce yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. I know that, and then has some kind of cheese. I'll have to. We, we we need to go there again and try that out. Maybe that should be the next one. Yeah, yeah you can. But take they have some great uh, the be- the best meatball sub in town that was Firehouse, dude. We've tried them all, dude. Oh, Firehouse. I saw that on Uber Eats. I've not, tried, sub, I've not tried it yet, though. The, the meatball subs mm-hmm. are fantastic. The other subs, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, for me, meatball subs, I've had, like, for me, the thing about meatball subs is you can, I only get them if you know it's going to be good beforehand. Because if you get a bad meatball sub, I yeah. don't know, it's the experience. Is not, if you get a good one, it's amazing. But if you get a bad one, it's, you know. No, it sucks, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Chiba Hut has a decent meat. It doesn't have a lot of sauce, though. Mm-hmm. The Firehouse one has a lot of sauce, big, meaty meatballs. Sounds delicious. Uh, we, yeah. we, we I got to try, we'll I gotta try go. it, yeah. Okay. All right, my friend, yeah. my guy. All right, well, mm-hmm. let's say, let's, are they still busy? Is everybody going? They have customers? Mark. Let's bring in our Let's next, uh, our next Anyone employee. So I think, okay. I think everybody loves you, dude. We're going to, we'll, so, yeah. we'll have you back. You'll be on the, uh, you'll yeah. be our regular. Yeah. So yes to Chiba Hut. Everybody loves if Chiba If you guys Hut. like New York, you know, pizza, the sandwiches and the poker, right. yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah, good. All right, buddy. All right, yo, thank you guys so much for having me, and uh, I'll see you again soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, Dean's next. Wow. Oh, God. They're going to have to raise Dean. Here comes Dean. 
say hello to our very own Dean. We've known Dean for a, a long time. He's been a, he's been around our, our family for a while. Come on, have a chair, buddy. Let him let him see who you are. Say hello. Hello, everyone. He's gonna say right a lot, just so you know. Yeah, he's <laughs> right. Gonna, he's right. Yeah. Uh, so Dean, you are your mom is the GM of our school. That's it. Yep. Uh, Miss uh, Lauren, is she out there? Is she working right now? I think she's working. Or she's getting ready for work, right? She's getting ready for work. I'm guessing she's probably in the shower or something. You know. So I knew anybody who cares about that at home. Yeah, no. <laughs> she's getting ready in the shower. Lauren's in the shower. Uh, how old are you? Uh, 26. You're 26 years old. So I worked with your mom in 1996. I was one year old. Oh, so you were born. I was born. <laughs> you were there. A, you were already a person. I was uh, already a person. Well, yeah, I like talking about big meaty balls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We were, we, you, you missed a segment on uh, sandwich. What's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite sandwich place in town? Uh, I do like Chiba Hut a lot. Uh, I'm not like, I don't go around to like local places that much, uh -huh. but uh, Chiba Hut's really good. Uh, always down for Capriati's. Places Capriati's, like that. yeah, Capriati's been around. Yeah. You know, it's funny, Capriati's used to be kind of the sandwich before Chiba Hut came around. I'm guessing... Dude, when I was a kid, the Capriotis, first of all, only had a few places in town. Yeah. I'm and it was, yeah. it was they're from Vegas. It's a Vegas uh, sandwich shop. Vegas? Yeah. Oh, it started true. here in Vegas. Never would have known. And now they've spread out uh, quite a bit. Although, uh, well, okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure they were famous here. Yeah, I know that they and, uh, got, like, popular on the west side, but I Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty side. sure they started in Vegas, but maybe we'll have to look that one up. But anyway, so... The Capriati family. One of the one of the ones they used to have that was uh, always uh, popular was by uh, the Golden Steer, uh, which is a uh, <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about? That's Sahara. No, I. They used no to have idea. a Capriati here. I'm not sure if that's even still there, but uh, the it's Golden since. Steer. You know what the Golden Steer is? You Never haven't been to the Golden one, Steer. No. It's an expensive ass uh, steakhouse. Oh, gotcha. It's uh, on Sahara. On okay. the Sahara in the Strip, basically. Oh, gotcha. gotcha uh, there's gotcha. like the mint now that's there. The old, it's not the actual, well, I guess I guess it, uh, there used to be a casino called it way before your time, called the Mint downtown. No. And uh, even before your mom's time, before my time, really, the Mint was around. Right, yeah. I've seen the posters that we had, the black and white photo of posters of the mint that we have in mint? the store. Yeah, so the, so the mint, where the mint <laughs> used to be downtown, is now the Horseshoe. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and uh, they, they sold out, became part of the Horseshoe. Horseshoe bought them up, but then, uh, then they Okay, so here's the thing. So you have, uh, your whole life, you've known, you've only known your mother to be a casino dealer. Yeah. I mean, she's been a casino dealer my whole life, but I know that she's done, you know. Yeah, she's done other stuff. All of her other before stuff that you. she's done, right? Yeah. yeah. Here goes, the, yeah, see. Before so, me. Before you. There was nothing before me. My whole life is her whole world. That's it. Nothing before you. You were that's born, it. that's it. That's all she knows. <laughs> all right, so uh, at what point did you actually decide to become a dealer? So you you went down other paths first, or what happened? Yeah, so frankly, when I was uh, getting into actually having a career, having jobs in general, right, my mom, the last thing that she wanted me to be was a dealer. Yeah. Right? Um... So I was, you know, she kept saying like, you should try this, you should try that, I want you to get this kind of job, I want you to get that kind of job, right? Anything else, she just did not want me to get in the casinos, right? Uh-huh. Four years later, here we are. No, so <laughs> Four years, yeah. No, but um, so I was- So you tried other things. Yeah, I tried now, other things. Now. I had a bunch of other kinds of jobs before, but uh -huh. uh, at one point I quit my last job before I started dealing, right? Mm -hmm. A little abruptly, didn't have anything lined up, my mm -hmm. fault, but- uh, when I got, uh, you know, really kind of down and needing something fast, then I just got plugged in at the school. Yeah. You know, and it, I, I feel like I took to it really fast. So, it, dude, you were born into. Being yeah, I was a dealer. born into. Not my Quite mom literally. was a dealer my whole life. My dad was a dealer at the start of my life, right? Yeah. All of my grandparents have been in the casino at some point or another, right? Yeah. I was just, I was, I was born into the life. You know You're not I mean? unusual. Like Alex is the same way. He yeah, I know. Generational yeah, yeah. dealer. And it makes it, if you're a parent wanting to take care of your child, I mean, Lauren knows, has a lot of friends in the business. Oh, yeah. So she can call someone up and said, hey, you know, my son needs a job. Yeah, for sure. And they're sure. like, wait a minute, who? <laughs> and they're like, hey, come on down. No, it's right? Yeah, so, no, So, I mean, sure. realistically, I mean, it's an easy, easy segue. Yeah. You know, so she can support you. Plus, she can upgrade your skill set. What? Where we go? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> right, he's gonna do oh, it. Right. I need coffee. Ignore no, all that. You said you need coffee. Do you drink down. coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're coffee. gonna avoid we're all these people for now. <laughs> we're all good. All right, so uh, 
where are you gonna go from now? So you're working for us here. Yep. You're one of the people that helps train uh, guests that come to Casino Quest. Yep, and I'm also plugged in with you guys at the school as a coach there. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I'm really enjoying both of those, right? You are? Yeah, I'm enjoying what I'm doing a lot. That's so, good. Uh, I don't have any plans to do anything other than work with you and work with the good. school and Casino Quest here. We like having you, buddy. Yep. But, you know, keep stay on my good side. <laughs> so what is your favorite strategy on craps? Favorite strategy on craps? I do a mix of Alex's Panda D-Gen and your double tap. Okay. What's yep. a Panda D-Gen? How does it start? Panda D-Gen, you start with either a don't pass or you do do we don't, right? If you do we don't, you do the same value starting, right? $25 a pop, right? Mm-hmm. When you get on point, you're going to use the lay to cover your uh, place bet action on any other number, right? You're just hedging, uh -huh. hedging yourself against that seven, right? Yeah. But um, you're trying to get your place bets to pay for what you're going to do for the rest of the game okay. so that you can get that don't pass out of the way. And then you can just start playing the game that you want to play. You know Got what it. I mean? Got it. Uh, Alex's Panda D, Jen, he starts off really hard, throws quarters all over all the bets. And uh, I wanted to take it a little bit lighter, so I went and switched it up. I don't throw all of my money on that don't. I uh, just do enough to cover minimum bets on the place bets, mm -hmm. cover them up, double and A lot of people do don't want to make that investment, right? Exactly, right. I don't want to yeah. throw $175 on a no eight, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. So, all right, good. That's how I do it. All, all right. right, buddy. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Yep. Go get Jesse Next. in here. Good. There you go. Take, whose wallet is this? Is that uh, Stickies? Oh, that's that's it. Wow, look at this, man. This is uh, an efficient storage of cards right here, buddy. Wow, look at that. Really? That's your whole wallet? That's kind of cool. That, that qualifies as a wallet nowadays. To me, to me. Jesse has the same wallet as me. Jesse has the same wallet? Oh, you want to switch? Who has more? Who has better credit or more cash? Uh, I, I probably do. Oh, Dennis. crap. The young kid at 20 is like... The upgrade. Oh, yeah. Jesus. It's been a good hands for so long. All right, so here we go. We got Jesse in the house. Hello, guys. How you doing? Jesse looks like he's the youngest, but he's actually the oldest here. Yep, 26. 26. Wow. You could, you're could. you almost old enough to be my son, dude. Yeah, almost? I don't know. Well, you don't know who's out there. You don't even know. You could be You could be my grandchild. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, all right, so... Let's see, Jesse, uh, you have been with us for a while. Yeah, a couple months. Since and uh, you are uh, not Asian. No, Salvadorian by descent. El Salvadorian, everyone think You did, I got to say, when I first saw you at the school, I thought 100%, because I, I only ever, when you came to school, I never saw what you, I never knew what you looked like, because you were with us the whole time during the pandemic. I had literally never seen you without a mask until like after you graduated my dice class and then i'm like holy crap i didn't even know you were the same person you from like the you from the nose up yeah it's totally and, and different. you know when you add the rest of it it's it's just it, there there's a few people i've actually met in the pandemic who just ignore all the comments who cares at this point we're just on the rant we're losing people gaining people we're just moving on uh, people have, you know, the people have barbecues today. They're going home, they're going eating, then they go home and they got to go to bed. Hopefully with someone else. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's, there's break times coming up. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're about that. We're about that twilight hour. You know what I mean? No worries, dinner, no dinner reservation, this kind of thing. Uh, nothing beats all the way up. There's that coin picture. Huh? I can show Mark also. Oh, Mark's on the couch. All right. Wow, Christopher! Hello. Thank you, sir. We got to hold up. Thank you, Super dollars. Chat, Christopher. There, there, there you go. We like Super Chats. Thank and uh, super we're chat. we're getting to uh, come on now. We got to get to a hundred likes so we can give away a lanyard. What so uh, we're is. working on. This is gonna be a long ass Wait, podcast. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to like get another cup of coffee. Uh, you never you know, know. Yeah. Get some IV yeah. working. Yeah. At this point, I'm right coffeeed out, dude. I don't think I can have any more coffee. So, I was wondering if we could have a Q and A session with the chat for a little bit. While Good. I was, yeah. so a I was Q and A. Just, yeah, a little Q and A with the chat. Just figured any any questions yeah. they had. About what do they have for you? Oh, yeah, okay. anything. you can do that. Uh, what, not so often, but if what do you have? Anybody have any questions for Jesse? Ask Jesse anything. A little, literally oh any my god. Or or Scott or Scott. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god. Hey, you want to get me to Scott? I'll I take know, Scott. Scott to Scott, all day Scott long. on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> well, like. Oh, we only have 91 viewers. Well, some of you have more than one account. So, oh, oh, oh. so just start uh, working over. Yeah, we're John, working John, in. Someone needs to make like We're, going, we're going up and down. All right, yeah, I think it's Alan. Uh, Alan. Oh, my God. Is Alex still working his uh, live stream? Yes. No. That's probably Is he really? Is yeah, he's yeah. still live right now. Yeah, he's still live right now. All right, so, yeah, there's a big takeaway there. He'll be live for a while until he wins money, lose money, whatever the case. Well, I have a few questions for you. So, 
You still a commute to LA, no? Yes, we. I was just there not too long ago. That's my grandparents move over because they sold their house in North Hollywood, bought a house. Really? Yeah, not too. Not too in North away. Hollywood and bought a house in Vegas. Yes. Oh, that's nice. So we have to Dude. move, pack up last two days, and brought it over in a big old, big old Penske truck. So that's North fun. Hollywood, uh, wow, expensive house, no? Yeah. Anything yeah. out there is expensive. Oh yeah. So here they got like this big mansion or what, what not happened? Necessarily. They, they no. downgraded in space just because they're getting older in their years yeah. and they want so much space to move around, not much yeah. house to upkeep. Yeah, no. So making everything easier for them. My parents did the same thing, dude. They got this little ass house. I'm like, because they don't want to, you know, they don't even want to walk around. They want to get up in the morning, mm -hmm. two feet shuffle to, to the, take a piss the, yeah. and then back to bed. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's definitely, it. Definitely. I, I, I've been, I'd probably be like, right now I have a three story home with, with a damn, uh, I, I actually hate my house now, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm looking to sell it because up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm too old to go up, down. Yes. You know what I mean? I have a roof. I always wanted a rooftop deck. I finally got a rooftop deck. Guess how many times I've been on my rooftop once, deck? Yeah, once. literally. <laughs> like, you know, the day you moved in. I'm like, wow, this is this is cute. And just whoop, yeah. right down. My cat wants to be up there more than I do. You know what I mean? Yes, 120 yes. rather. Who wants to be on the roof? Mm -hmm. I want to be like in the basement next to the air conditioner. You know what I mean? I mean, yes. there's no there's no roof action, you know? Maybe maybe at some point if I want to jump off that could be oh. convenient. <laughs> I could, take off. Off. I could use enough, my own roof. Huh? You're not jumping off the strat. No, the strat is way too high, dude. My roof is uh, I have the chance of survival. Okay? Oh, okay, the strat I'm gonna be a splat. I'm gonna be a splatted. Uh, can you imagine someone someone? I, now, I don't know that this is true. Someone literally jumped off the Luxor. No and slid down. There's there's all these rumors about someone that slid down. Can you imagine the skid mark that's on the side of the glass? I yeah. mean, because it's at an angle. Just you would literally just spot. like yeah, just <laughs> one, one red skid spot going down like oh, man. however long that goes down. There's also some rumor which I I 100% don't believe is true. Although I have heard from one of the techs that that worked on the light. Mm -hmm. So you, you, if you put your face into that light, dude, you're your gone. face is gone. I mean, you know, I don't think it happened. You can see that light in this space. Who's going to put their face in the light? My God. That's a lot of light the in your face. The heat that it turns I've off. I've heard there's a light similar. There's uh, that solar project they have that's near yeah. State Line. I oh, yeah. light similar. If you, like, the birds over that line, they just, like, uh, they, they don't make it. it. Yeah. yeah, they've had it. That's true. I actually, actually, no. Dude, I, I have a friend of mine who is, uh, and this is true. He lives in Baker, and he, um, he was going through a divorce. So this is how I know him. He's going through a divorce. I knew the person he was getting divorced from who happened to be a dealer. I think she was a dealer. She might have been a supervisor. And at one point, I had to, like, take them. I had to drive them from Vegas to, to Baker. And he was telling me about he's the guy that does the – he has to – he's on site to do the water. He's the water guy because there's water that flows through the pipes. And he has to check the, mm -hmm. the, the things. Uh, and so he, he gets paid a ton of money just to sit there and do the water <laughs> but but the greatest thing about it, he was going through a divorce so he was able to like get some distance from his wife by working all the way to flip out there by the things right and he was telling us about how the birds they don't make it they they, they start to fly over the panels and then at some point they just like they just get drop out they get roasted yeah mm -hmm. they just they just <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen it personally but i've heard stories over and over you and get again. some pheasant for dinner you know what i mean on the plate just delivered right to like, you you know home. what i mean I wherever you're at oh my pigeon. god roasted pigeon <laughs> And then you get all that hot water going yeah. through the pipes. You can boil yourself some uh, some pigeon, yeah, yes. whatever it is you need. Pigeon stew. But I know they were working on solving that problem because everybody is like, and, and the wind, the wind farms too, sort of catch all these birds in the wind farms, right? I actually had never thought of that until just now, right? When you said that. Yeah, they whack all. You know, they, they have all these protected uh, species up there with the eagles and everything else, right. and they got the wind farms whacking just them left and right. I mean, you can't win. <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you supposed to do? You just can't have wind. You can't have solar. Decapitated bird over there. You got to go geothermal, I think. You just got to dig deep, dude. You got to dig deep. The caterpillars, though, they probably have some rare caterpillar down there somewhere. <laughs> It'll interfere with their too. habitat. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, all right, so you're here. You work on dice, mostly dice. Mostly you dice. know roulette. I do. You know all the games. Uh, for the most part, the four major games. I'm working on the carnival games right now. Really? Ultimate pineapple Ultimate. is pineapple in your repertoire yet? You uh, haven't learned pineapple. What's no, the matter with you? We only put that on pizza, right, Dennis? With the yes. peanut butter. There's gonna be a peanut hey, butter carnival hey, game. Listen. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so there was a guy that applied to the school. Who knew pineapple? That was the game he was very focused on. He wanted to teach pineapple at the school. We, there's no, I don't know of any pineapple in town. No. Other than the stuff I put on my pizza. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he was out here, uh, and he was from like literally Whipped Creamville or something like this. So, it's some weird, uh, uh, weird sounding like you know, vegetable sounding, dessert sounding yes. town in Northern California. And it turned out to be true. Wow. Uh, I had to look it up and get his resume, but uh, he's out there. 
waiting to teach you pineapple. Teach you pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> so, if uh, hey heck, hey the screen, I can't see myself on the screen. No, are we are we off? Everybody's like, God save the, uh, yeah, God save our barbecue. So, uh, George Solano asked best pupusas in Vegas, and I'm kind of wondering the pupusas? same thing. Pupusas? You know this? Yes. So, so pupusas are, are a Salvadorian dish. It's a, uh, it's like a masa that gets. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Look little... at you, buddy. Holy crap! You actually know El Salvador. You're not just some. No, I really. I, you know. I just know the country. Yeah. Culture. Wow. I'm so a little, impressed. A little, a little man bit of culture. Because there's a lot of people that say like, I have a friend of mine from Honduras. He doesn't know a damn. He doesn't know anything oh, about wow. Honduras. He doesn't know anything about the food. Anything about the city. He doesn't know nothing. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know much about necessarily at first hand what the culture is like over there. Yeah. I've never been to the country, but I, I, I hear stories here and there from my grandparents and my mom's side because my mom yeah. went over there. I was made in El Salvador, but I was born. You were here. made in El Salvador. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> the fat process fat. That happened, and wow. then travel occurred. Yes, my mom. My Juices flowed in El Salvador. <laughs> Juices wow. flowed in fantastic. El Salvador. Fantastic. <laughs> That is yeah. just like I, I I could see it now. You're like the little petri dish was yes. out, and they, they had a little basking <laughs> thing. They were just squirting you on the dish, and there you go, made made ready to go. I'm gonna get a tattoo. Right you want this for place. takeout, or, or you want to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! We got a Jesse and a pupusa. To go. A Jesse and oh, a pupusa. <laughs> so the pupusa, what is that actually? What is it, pupusa? So just just picture a really thick just. Uh, doughy kind of tortilla. If, if I really? had to make a really bad comparison, I think I've had that. Before. And it's stuffed inside with like beans, cheese, oh. all kinds of. I would love yeah, that. Anything really you can think of. See that that I yeah. see. I would love that. That's They're very fantastic. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, that oh, way awesome. I, I can. I, I know. And hot and delicious. There's I love a place on Decatur, uh, mm. the 95 in Decatur. That no. they advertise they're one of the best pupusas in Las Vegas. Really? Maybe you guys really? for D and D could review yeah, that place. Yeah. Oh, pupusa. We should do pupusa, pupusa next. Uh, I'm gonna get. By the way, I'm gonna screw that name up <laughs> at some point. That may like that may go south because because uh, there's a lot of room for me to yeah. screw that up. Okay. Because I, I skip over letters sometimes, and if you pupusa. skip over too many of these letters, <laughs> you can really go south of this quick. And then if we talk about eating it oh, and no. it's plump, and you know, they could really oh. be. It could be a weird conversation. Oh. Oof. All right, so here we go. Uh, Alex let Fahad. Yeah, no, I, I was. I knew that the minute Fahad, because uh, that that's always a story. Is Alex is always like Fahad made me do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah. seriously, I mean, Fahad made me do it. Yeah, I was like, damn, Fahad. I, I will say every time we let Fahad play on the crap table for just a little bit, he yeah. runs up the money like crazy. We no, he does. Yeah, he ran yeah. for thirty-two. Yeah, he's in got the no. Table. He's got just. He he just has one big fat ball, <laughs> and he lays it right on the damn constantly on I, the wall. I, I I say one. Yeah, no, I I, I say one because if you have two balls, you, you got to your your decisions can be weighted. You know what I mean? Either way, you know what I mean? Having you know, it, it kind of forces you to kind of, you know, he doesn't, there's no decision making process. It's just one big fat ball right there, out there, all of it. And then, uh, yeah, that's why, that's why Fahad comes with a big fat wad, you know, but like, by day two, it's, he's, you know, at Taco bit. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to, he's finding other things to do at his time. Either that, or he's in the penthouse suite working over, yes. you know what I mean? It's a prime rib he or something. Owned it. Yeah, he owned it. You know, it's, it's either, it's either do or die kind of thing, you know? You gotta love that, by the it way, is. with it's gamblers. Awesome. It is. I mean, there's it's a, the big swings you can take, and just all the emotion that runs through it is. Dude, it's to be it, it, re it really is. If I mean, that's a, that's a thing that I think we don't, we don't want to advocate this ever, right? No, always but there, always there is there is a there is something about being so buried, mm -hmm. where I I because I, I have you know my experiences here in Vegas for about the first decade I was here, right? I was buried. I was so I mean I I can't begin to tell you how buried I was. I mean my whole life was. Uh, pretty buried, dude. You know what I mean? When I say buried, I mean like I I think I've been evicted eight times, maybe eight times, seven times. Not evicted. I, I left peacefully, but where right. I could pay my rent yeah, so, and yeah. you know I was looking. You know I um, I didn't make a whole lot of money. I always was uh, gambling above my head, or mm -hmm. you know I had I had legitimately had a problem for a while. Maybe mm -hmm. not the first ten years. Maybe about the first four years, four or five years, until I you know I got control of myself. I realized that if I was going to stay in Vegas and make this an opportunity for myself, I need to change. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I will say this, looking back on those days, it was like feast or famine. One minute I was down and out, the other minute I was I was at Siegfried and Roy's show at the Mirage with my uh, friend of yeah. mine up 60 grand on a crap table. So much money that you don't know what to do with it. You know what I mean? Having a great yes. time, free meals, free comps, free, I mean, the experience is like, I, I wouldn't ever want to give up that experience, you know? And and that that's that's sort of the story of Vegas, right? This this town can eat you up and, and yeah. spit you out, oh, yes. or or it can be a great opportunity. You know what I mean? It can grind yep. you into something unbelievable when you never saw. No, that's true. You you see a lot of people evolve, man. I I one of these days, 
I have another friend of mine. We'll have to get on this. Uh, we, we know stories of people both have gone both ways. People have found a lot of success and people who even started successfully and ended up selling straws at an intersection. Straws. Straws and pencils at an intersection to raise money for their drug addiction. You know what I mean? They went from being like just at the top of their game to this, this girl we knew who, who you know, got involved with meth. And, you know, but at one point was you know smoking dude had everything had the college you know uh, she had a college degree she was you know incredibly beautiful a person she was actually um uh she was the i wouldn't say fiance but she was dating you know a celebrity a local celebrity here for a while i mean she was living in these uh in the polo towers which at one point oh wow yeah i mean she was having the greatest life you can imagine you know and then um and then not so much you know, she got involved with drugs. She had a lot of kids. She met this one dude that sort of just sucked the life out of her. You know what I mean? And then that can happen. I mean, it's it's amazing to see, you know, it go either way. But anyways, I'm, I'm very, I'm always excited looking back and, and being able to share a lot. When I met with someone like Kelly Sun, for example, you know, this is, a, I mean, she's obviously made a lot of money um, on, you know, gambling. You guys, you guys have both met her now, yes. right? Yes. So she's, I mean, the amount of money that she has won that has passed through her hands is stunning. Like, the fact that she can tell Phil Ivey, be like, listen, uh, you didn't bring enough money. You didn't Only 2.4 million. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I came here for 6 million. Or nothing. You can take your 2.4 million and, you know, suck it. <laughs> yep. Can you imagine that? That's not enough money. No, you come no. to a casino and they, they you, you yeah. came some there. Pe- some people don't see that in a lifetime. And, no, that's and it. And that was just turned down right yeah, there. Yeah, that was it. Can you, and you, can you imagine what the comps were like for her? Mm. Can you imagine the experience that she had, the places that she saw, the things? And at some point, she probably got, like, immune to it. She, you know, how many times you go to the MGM Mansion after that first time, and it, it's like nothing. The butler service and all the exclusive food, you know, all the all the transportation to the point where... It's almost not it, It's expected, automatic. But, yeah, it's you just know what I mean? used to. I, I, when I worked at the Rio... There was um, um, the the pen, uh, what's a Larry Flint. So Larry Flint's bl- brother, I th- think his name is Tom, uh, but he had a girlfriend uh, that was also coming to play. Now Larry had like uh, Larry Flint of uh, Hustler fame, mm-hmm. so he started Hustler magazine, very outspoken. I think he's recently passed away. Yes. But he he would he would buy in for millions of dollars. I mean he was a pretty big player, right? And so they were, and he, his brother, he would front his brother's money. I don't know if it was actually his brother's money. Or sorry. The, the rumor was that Larry's one to pay for his brother because his brother wasn't the same type of business, you know. But his brother was good for a million bucks, you know what I mean, because he's Larry's brother, right? And so they were picking up the girlfriend of Larry's brother's girlfriend, and they were late by 40 minutes. The limousine was late by 40 minutes. They gifted this girl a $140,000 necklace. So the story goes, right? Now, I worked at the Rio at the time. This became a story in the review journal. And they had talked about all of the, this one story specifically sort of broke down some of the incentives that these types of players get. Just, you know, because the casino is like, you, you don't want to be late. You can't mistreat these players because they, they can go anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. You go to the MGM, you lose that action. That's how much that action was worth, $140,000 necklace or whatever it was. Maybe it was a $100,000 necklace. So the very next day after this article came out, there was a pre-shift at the Rio where they literally told us, listen, stop. Because they, they assumed that the dealers or someone you know, connected to the player right. had revealed this, right? Because this was somewhat a true story. They wouldn't admit to how true it was. Yeah. But, they, but that's always sort of the under, you know, uh, the perks that these sort of high-end players get, right? And, you know, casinos are uncomfortable having these kind of, you know, t- letting other people know sort of what, what types of comps are available, what types of incentives are available. And this was at a time when those types of incentives were big. So g- the gaming part of Vegas used to be a much bigger part than it is now. Mm-hmm. A lot of that high-end action isn't even taken. A lot of casinos have foregone that higher action mm-hmm. and replaced it with expensive food or higher-end uh, hotels. Shows you stuff, follow yeah. shows, and they're, they're generating revenue in other ways, so they're, not, they're, not, they're less apt to take some of this high-end play. In fact, a lot of the high-end play has some disappeared uh, to us, and, and, and many people like myself and, and Scott, you know, we wonder when this action will come back, because there used to be a Baccarat number. Every month, the, the Baccarat win was sort of announced, hey, Vegas picked up an extra $3 million, $4 million with plus whatever, based on all this big Baccarat play, and a lot of that has just sort of, you know, it's just disappeared, at least for now. And casinos found other ways. They they got tired. Some casinos, like the MGM, as an example, actual MGM. MGM used to take a lot of amazing action, really, really big action. That was one of the, the big places to go here in town. 
And in, in fact, so much so, Kerry Packer, biggest whale Vegas ever yes. has ever seen, used to play at the MGM. He actually came to the Rio once, uh, or actually over like two, maybe two days. But he would play Bach Ride at Caesars. But MGM was big for him for blackjack, right? And they don't they don't take that kind of action. You can't play the kind of at money that Kerry Packer once did. That's, that's all gone, you know. And so, uh, what the hell are we talking about? Oh my God, I got not a thing. I believe I'm trying pupusas. To... Oh pupusas. <laughs> oh back to pupusas. <laughs> All right, but anyway, so we're always going back to Vegas. <laughs> oh my it's god! Just a, the last, the last comment someone left was about pupusas. That's yeah. the only reason. Uh, I couldn't remember what else we were talking about, really. Okay, so where are all the females? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a gambling town. We, where, where are all our females? Where do we got? Um, we Mar. have some females. I mean, we. Uh, Mars are all. Mar, Mar, Mar is. Our, we'll have to bring Mar. Well, you think Mar would ever come on and talk? She doesn't like to be a part of the No, nah, so we'll like just to be. have the She's screen kinda, fade to black. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, time. we'll just oh, do nice. that. Yeah, no, we'll have her it back. Uh, yeah, no, we need um, yeah, we need some girls here. I mean, you think we'd have more girls? We we used to have. So we trained all the girls for circa. Yeah, we had all the dancing dealers, which sucked because here we are in the middle of the pandemic, right? We couldn't film anything mm -hmm. because everybody's got masks on and there was social distancing. We had to split everything up, but but what? That would have been fantastic content. These weren't just any girls, by the way. These are the dancing dealer girls. For a minute there, we had literally like, you know, the best of the best. You had yeah. the entire Sapphire Club. We had we had we had the entire the Sapphire school. Club <laughs> <laughs> at the dealers Club. That's true. I can he can say that. I just said it. I guess I did this day. But we <laughs> we basically had some dancers mm -hmm. had moved over and segued to dealers, like yes. quite literally. We we had a girl come in and say, listen. Uh, prior to being at the school, I've I've only ever worked the pole. Yeah. I mean, she literally told that. I mean, that's like almost verbatim. Like yeah. she's only ever all, ever worked. Her only other job was working the pole. And now she's a professional on stick. Oh my <laughs> God, this guy over here. Uh, but she did become. And we were thinking what it would have been fantastic content because you know as far as that goes, it would have just blown us up. Right. Uh, it, it was uh, very interesting. Uh, by the way, we didn't we didn't ever go in that. We let we had all female. Trainers and so oh hell yeah. oh yeah we just stayed the hell out mm -hmm. of there you know what I mean. Yeah, right Alex was like right through here close the door. Yeah. This is you. This is yeah. Good luck Becky <laughs> and then we had we had a few others in there Lauren so it worked it worked out well. Mm -hmm. By the way some of those girls have gone on to be fantastic dealers a yes. few of them have come back to the school learn craps. Yes. Nice. We recently had one learn craps upgraded her job she actually has since left Circa and. And amazingly, so she was making more money. The dancing dealers do well at Circa and got into another job so she can deal dice. Actually deal. Real action. Wow. You know, Very real nice. action. Yep. Isn't that fantastic? Amazing. She 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 fell in love with uh, dealing and so now she's uh she's evolved. That's I think awesome. I think quite a few of them have, you know, mm -hmm. amazingly. Out of the eighty seven that we trained, six months later, seventy one were still there. Wow. Very That's nice. Awesome. That was pretty good. Yeah. Especially because they, they didn't think the retention would be so high with these they thought that as soon as the clubs open, the clubs open, that a lot of them would come back. But but a lot of them stayed. Yeah. Seventy one stayed. That's pretty good yeah. retention. That's yeah. Crazy. I mean, uh, no, that's that is. I wish amazing. I could do the math on that in my head. <laughs> Seventy one. The math is big, sir. That's why we do colors and units on craps. Yes. We don't care about the math. No, no numbers. We don't. We don't, we don't do numbers. I like okay. to joke that I'm a crap dude who can't do math and I'm colorblind. That's it. And you're colorblind. Now that one's gonna suck, dude. Yeah. Did you see we? We try to work with the color, you know, colorblind. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's that's there's, there's a imagine. student at the school that's colorblind. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not gonna work out. He's learning to deal dice though. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. That's a tough gig. I mean, at least your stacks are separated, so you know the ones are there, the fives are there, the twenty fives are there. It's just seeing the player's bets. Yeah, so if you can see grays, as long as you, if you're if you're completely colorblind, dealing is not for you. Yeah, no. I I we've had a guy come to the school and try it out. Like quite literally, and I, I was like, dude, colorblind is not gonna work out. I'm telling you right now, if you're completely colorblind, what do you? He's like, well, the tubes are set up. Yeah, but what are you gonna do when someone does a three-color bet in um, front of you, and, and, and you try rainbow. to play it all blacks? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yes. and it's like, it's not gonna work out well. The casino's just not gonna. He's like, well, is there another way that you can feel the? I mean, dude, the the, the checks aren't set up in braille. I mean, it's oh, just no. not a thing. I don't, I don't maybe. No. No, no, not. No, it's the, not. Even at Jerry's Nugget, I mean, they're all flat checks. Yeah. So everywhere you go, it's just a flat yeah, check. Yeah, you can't, you can't tell colorblind. Mm -hmm. We we did have, we, we had somebody who was uh, really interested in coming to the school with one, had, had lost an arm and only had one arm. Oh, wow. You know, the, the problem is, is uh, you can't deal with one arm. Yeah, no, how do they it, clap out? 
Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's oh my gosh. Really We're so canceled, dude. We're so canceled. That's it. Got it. Thanks a lot, Mark. Got us canceled. How do you clap out? No, that's not the problem. Because you can just do this with your hands. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? You can just do this with your hands. Okay. The problem is, is you can't you can't manage your rack. You can't no security. pitch. You know what I'm saying? There's no game security. You know? And so, like, I've actually entertained this before. We've, we've had people who have had other disabilities, un, you know, have been unable to walk. We had someone come in in a wheelchair, wanted to learn how to deal. And um, it, it's just there's no provisions for that. As much as you might be able to deal bock rot sitting down, the, the, there's just no, no allowances. There's, they can go to only to a certain point, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I was actually, uh, for a minute I was disabled. I was offered a job sitting to box, and, um, and that had its limitations. I ended up in a wheelchair. And with the wheelchair, was unable to uh, sit to box. you know to sit box. And and again, it comes down to game security, game protection, mm -hmm. you know how surveillance monitors the game. There's there's so many other areas that that are in in play. You know, you really have to be able to stand for so much time. You know what I'm saying? And interact at a certain level. All right. Uh, we uh, we have a dice teacher here. We have a dice control teacher. Six more thumbs up. Wow, we're almost getting there. Holy crap! Look at you guys. Ronnie uh, is fantastic. By the way, did you know that Ronnie, not a single person, not one, and Ronnie has done a lot of reservations, not a single person has said that they didn't like the experience. Not one. And I had someone tell me they, that you, they hated you. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. No, that's, not, he's like, that's, okay. that's true. I've never, no, that's not, no one's ever said anything no. uh, negative about you guys. Nothing. Nice. Usually everyone that comes through says no. this is the best yeah. experience that we've had. For 20 bucks. And dude. we wish we would have found it sooner. Yeah. Because a lot of them don't find us until the end of their trips. Yeah. And they're looking for ways to play the games still, but they don't have any money left because they lost everything yeah. the first night. So. The most complaints we ever get about anything related to our stuff is me talking, dude. <laughs> That's true. No, 100%. You either, you either like me or you uh, thumbs down. Look, we got our two auto thumbs. Oh, no. Well, we got some more likes. We got, away. we got Trent and Carla on the Those two likes became likes. We got 100 likes. Wow. Too petty. Too petty. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ronnie, down. You, know, you know why people love Ronnie is because uh, Ronnie is does impress, is more of a coach. And sit there, works with you, and accommodates you, and he'll he'll he responds to all your questions. There's right. no, you know, there's no pressure. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing. That's why we love Ronnie. When we met Ronnie, we we had this guy here, by the way. We had another, we had a guy uh, who wanted to come in, and was really just hating on Ronnie. Thought Ronnie was like, you know, just because he just wanted a job, you know. Right. It was it was selling a book and was really hyper aggressive, dude. About like. His way is the only way. He's got the book. He wrote the book on dice. Oh, no. If you wrote the book on dice, go out and make your money on yeah. dice. Mm -hmm. Like, if you wrote the book, it just that should be the book, right? Right. If you got it all figured out, you got it all figured out. You know what I mean? So, uh, we were we like... We did hit 100 uh, likes. We did? Yep. Holy smokes, 100 Can't likes. Like super low mics to super hot mics. Oh, sweet. Vegas Pirate, thank you. Yeah. Uh, is, how's my mic doing? Is it is it is it okay? I haven't seen any complaints from the chat, so no I, complaints. I, yeah, no, I think we're good so far. Uh, all right, so here we're gonna give away these. No, 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 we're not. The those wood? are no, those no are wood wood Those are mine, dude. Nice. Uh, this is all the wood I need, dude. This is my jumbo wood. <laughs> this is my hard eight wood. Uh, here, we should put it on hard eight. Oh, look at that! Look at that, buddy. I thought it was look a hard twelve. Uh, well, let's not get like, crazy, buddy. Wasn't the hard 10 the girl let's, best friend? Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's, let's not get crazy. Hard 8's plenty, Sorry. dude. Hard 8's plenty. <laughs> That's your hard 6 or 6 inches. Hard 8's plenty. On, the di on dice, on dice. We're talking about a dice game. God, you people out there. Yeah, we're giving away a land. Okay, ready? You picked a word. Okay. It's all about so, Jesse today. Pupusas? Pupusa? Yeah, can we get pupusas in the chat, <laughs> Oh, please? my God. Listen, that's going to go south for me. I cannot, I cannot say that word over and over again. Okay, all right, guys, pupusas in the chat, please. Oh God, pupusa. Spam and pupusas. Uh, pupusa is the word. Uh, and if you guys uh, make sure to add uh, all the vowels and the consonants <laughs> as they are. Okay, let's not mess this word up. There it is. Uh, there you go, pupusa. Oh look at this. See, lots uh, of people. Well, want see, I'd have picked the hard eight, that's for sure. But all right, pupusa's fine. All right, so we're gonna let them spam that away, and then you're gonna tell them when to stop and what number to pick. And for those of you out there who are big and tall, you're gonna love this lanyard. Or you're gonna give it to someone you know who big and tall, and we all have we all know someone big or tall, okay? Because we live in America, or most of us live. Uh, even if you don't live in America, holy crap, there's a lot of big and talls out there. Yes. I have to say this, Vegas Pirate says, I heard the hard floor is enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. 
<laughs> Listen, I'm not touching that with uh, Dennis's stick, okay? I'm not. Uh, right, I'm veering away, you veering off to the side of that one. What? You gotta call it. Stop. I'm trying to stop. No, it's you. You're, oh. the, you're the man. All right, uh, uh, stop. All right, he said stop. All right, what do you got? Wait, wait, I didn't even uh, start. Oh, oh, yeah, he hasn't stopped. Oh, you gotta, like, just... Stop they've, they've been going for a while. They've been going Dennis, for a while. Dennis runs the show over here, dude. <laughs> Dennis, that's why they call him Bitch Mouth. Oh. 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 Did you see me lean in and, and pronounce that? <laughs> and, and the Did emphasis. That? <laughs> why we get demonetized. That's why they call him. <laughs> well, I had to let that out there, dude. You should have seen him. He showed up for his interview in sweats, dude. And he's oh, like, listen. Yeah, I'm still here. And he's like, listen, <laughs> listen. So you know what? Is, 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 is that like, where the sticky name came from? No, or? he was sticky. Was like, uh, sticky had to do with him and his uh, password, his old past. No, no. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Nobody wants to know okay, his. The real reason I'm sticky is because I was, I was always stick man. He was always a stick uh, man. Uh, so one yeah. day David, I just. And you know what, David doesn't can't come up with any nicknames. I just add a Y. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's his name? Was Wrinkly. I added, uh, oh, yeah, uh, Isaac. Isaac comes in, it's just all wrinkled every day. I was gonna call him wrinkly. Okay, now tell me when to stop. Stop. One through twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen. Rigged. Uh, Rigged. Jonathan Stan. Oh, Jonathan Stan. A new one at least. Uh, yeah. Jonathan Stan. Congratulations, You're sir. You have been out. selected as the next uh, winner of our lanyard. <laughs> I hope uh, you enjoy that. You're gonna get a lanyard. And wait a minute. We're going to send you the, the heart. Oh, yeah. uh, we're going to send you the heart and diamond check. So there you go. And we might even send you Sticky's wallet. It might get thrown into the accident. Yeah. It's right here. It may or may not gonna be sticky. Push it out. Yeah. You're going to enjoy that, by the way. For a 20-year-old, he's got a lot of credit. <coughs> Money clip. Money clip. And, uh, <laughs> you sent my wallet. I'm taking yours, David. Uh, oh, man. No one is. wants my wallet, dude. That's going to smell. That's been in my ass. That's been... <laughs> That's been feeling my ass for like no. years. We, we need his No one wants that. It's That's got some need. taint to it. Huh? I'm just looking at the chat. They're all saying you're rigged. At, they're they're all rigged. Oh, uh, it's always rigged. It's always yeah, rigged. You gotta, you gotta tell them to email. Yeah, oh, you got to email info at cegdealers.com. Info at cegdealers.com. And you will, uh, well, not just email. Email your address so we know who you are and where to send it. And if you're or if you're here, if you're coming, we just had somebody come by the other day. Was actually in town. If you're coming by Vegas in the you next couple days or week, you just pick it up. Yeah, makes it real easy. We just hand it off, saves us on the postage. Yes. yes. I mean, it's like two dollars to mail that stuff out there. That's a lot of. We got no coupons. Nope. nope you know what's nope. funny? You know the coupon is the pirate one, the Vegas, not the Vegas pirate, not this guy, but it's called pirate mail or pirate postage, something like this. That's our coupon. We found a coupon for shipping, dude. Nice. I wow. didn't think there'd be a coupon for shipping. I, do, yeah. I didn't think there would be either. Pirate ship, but because I figured the post office is like, screw off, we, we're raising money, you know, mm-hmm. we gotta like, you know, pay bills. But apparently, you can just circumvent the whole post office. They just, I don't know how it works, but anyways, but there's that. Uh, messages held, oh yeah, there's a magnet. How come that is held for review? Just a magnet. It doesn't, I don't know if it makes any sense. Is that offensive to uh, you? Magnets, Are you offended no. by a magnet? No. No magnets. I mean, is there something to the magnet? Uh, just roulette, maybe. Magnets. A magnet on a roulette? I've seen something that looks like a magnet that's used in a certain position with two people, that kind of thing. <laughs> I've seen that kind of magnet. Okay. I could see how that could be held for review, I but mean, I've never seen that as an though. emoji. No, no I wouldn't we see do it have... offensive either. Really? <laughs> Uh, Alan. I know. I know. <laughs> you him a That's true. We did. We did. Hey, uh, hey, Alan. Alan. Alan, buddy. Okay. We have like two thousand bubble mailers. Okay. We we need. We have like one thousand nine hundred and eighty of them. That, no, Alan. Uh, so we Coin Pusher. Coin Pusher sent yes. us uh, two boxes or a box. Uh, we mail. we box, we don't box. even open if it comes. Listen, it comes from Alan now. We just we just leave the boxes in the side of the. We don't even open them anymore because it's gonna be supplies. It's gonna be it's either that or it's more pennies. No one wants to. Ca- I'm still going. Actually, I love the pennies. Love the pennies. I've been counting the pennies. All right. Uh, you did Duran. Uh, yeah, you met these guys. Yeah, we love them. They're they're fantastic. Nice. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, J K. Yeah, no. We have literally have. I think we have 2,000 bubble mail is left. He's got five Damn. more boxes if you need them. I, we ran out, and then we now we're just not going to run out. Yeah, we're going to let... Forever. We're going to let... Is David bought some before Alex I did. Uh, it was so depressing. <laughs> I was a little late. Uh, I, bought, I bought a box. I bought like 500 of them. And then, of course, that one signed up. I'm like, holy crap, dude. Yep. 
We literally have a whole section of the thing. By the way, do we we love these two guys? Uh, they they've been fantastic. Oh my God. He said he has another five more boxes of them. No, I know he does. We we won't run out. We well, you know what the really fantastic news is is uh, we we had a guy in today who saw a sticky shirt. See. So there, our retail footprint has really just now kind of um, been established. We finally got the retail in, got all the shirts, got all of our stuff in. But you know, it takes like any store now, it takes a minute to get people. A guy was window shopping, came by, loved Dennis's designs, uh, loved his. He came up with that new minimalist logo. He designed uh, several of the shirts that are here, which are fantastic. And this guy like just wanted those as souvenir shirts. Lost more focused on Vegas than they are Casino Quest kind of thing, and they love that. But more more interestingly we've sold out three times of all the chip sets wow yes. this is our third set of boxes we've sold out three times this last set is well this is the third set that we're selling now people see them they love them yeah. and dennis is 20 like you guys are young uh, that's another we have a we have a you know fairly young we skew a little bit young uh except for me <laughs> god <laughs> But you guys bring down the average age just enough. Dude. The average just age. Enough. Bring down the average age a lot. Me and, and then we you. got, how old is Mara's like, yeah, no, you're 23. Yeah, 23. Yeah, you're 23 wow. next week. You're the old one in the room, dude. Oh, besides, yeah. I don't know how that I know. The whole time I was in school because yeah. I, remember, I was always the youngest in the class. You're always the youngest? Always the youngest. And then something yeah. happened. Now you're the oldest. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, yeah, eight. it's so rigged. Dented Vader, yeah, you oh, missed it, buddy. You meant to that was oh, yeah, a that you. was a long pee, buddy. You should have been back was, quicker. Was Eating that barbecue pineapple pizza. God, wouldn't that doesn't that sound great? Barbecue pineapple oh, pizza. I was wondering who Doran was, but now I remember that he said he was the first one to do the roulette challenge. That's awesome. Yeah, you guys. Oh, Very Doran nice, did yeah. the first ever roulette challenge. Yes. The twenty-one uh, or no, fifteen spin. How did, spins, how did, do we record. know how? We, we don't want to give it away though. No, it's going to be. I believe it was. Oh, don't tell it. Alive. Alive. That's all. He left alive. Alive. Well, if he left with more than one dollar, he's like on the leaderboard. That's alive. Because he's yeah. literally number Automatic. one. First one. Number one. Automatic. First one on the leaderboard. Even if it's Wall of Shame, he's on the leaderboard. Oh, he gave it away in chat. <laughs> oh God. Here we go. Can we can we cancel Vegas Pirate? Can we just mute <laughs> mute Vegas Pirate? Oh my God. If it's gonna be Grandpa, Daddy, <laughs> oh, Papa but, uh, David, David, yeah. Papa. Oh, we got a new subscriber. Nice. Oh, we have. Thank you very much. Did we get really something that came up? Uh, I can right there. Michael, two new subscribers. Nice. All right, let's talk. Let's talk Vegas. What do you guys know about Vegas? What's uh, your, by the way? So uh, let's uh, Mark. Uh, let's we'll, we'll let's talk to Mark for a sec. Because Mark works at a very interesting restaurant here in town. He's a cook. Yes. By the way, you're a young cook to work at such a high end place. No. Yes. I I busted my ass to get there. For really? Sure. Yeah. For uh, real. So I started um, at fast food. Yeah. And I worked my way up through fast food mm -hmm. and finally got into a hotel. And I actually got into the hotel as a housekeeper. Wow. And I spent my probationary period as a housekeeper and I transferred over to being a cook. I spent a year as a cook at the Flamingo and I earned a spot at Giada's in the five star restaurant just yeah. by working. Giada's, work Italian work. restaurant. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, Giada's has a great reputation. Yep. You know, really good food. So, they brought you back. So, they must love, they must like you. Yes. Yeah. So and uh, you, go ahead. I'm going back to almost full time now, so yep. I'm I'm every day that I'm not here, I'm over at Giada's. Yep. Uh, every day I'm not at Giada's, I'm here. Um, but we're slowly bringing back our full menu, and when we have our full menu running again, we'll really see like we'll doing close to four or five hundred every night. So we're at three hundred already, and we only have half of our menu. Three hundred so, tickets. Yes, three hundred yeah. covers every night. Three hundred so covers. We yeah. feed. Yeah. We flip our tables an average of every hour and fifteen wow. minutes. Wow. Oh, that's flipping awesome. the entire restaurant. Yeah, so. I, I need to go. Definitely. Uh, we've yes. been we've been making the runs of all the uh, Italian restaurants, and trying to get a feel. Like you know, I I have I actually have an anonymous unknown account where I become a seventh level Google guide. Okay. A Google you know Google yes. guide thing, and um, I have over three million uh, views on my on my guide thing. So far, I've earned the socks. Just so you know, I got the Google <laughs> yes. socks. Uh, I was expecting a little more. I'll be honest with you, and it wasn't. I don't even think. Yeah, no, I got two socks. I didn't even know they gave socks. They know they get socks. So the, the higher you go as a guide, and the more you do, you'll get like whimsical stuff. Returns. I've got a few other things, by the way, but the socks are the most impressive because they're literally like, it, it's it's a copy of one of the the Google search screen images they've nice. had on a sock. That's or really a cool. pair of socks. So it's kind of cool. I'll have to show them too. I'll have to bring them in and show them. I, I also got a, a Google uh, coin. I got a Google coin, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You know, CEG got a Google, a veteran, a, a highly ranked veteran-led 
uh, business, Google business, and we got I got an actual coin. Nice. Uh, the minute that came out, because I collect coins, I took that one home, dude. You ain't going to get that. I was like, Alex, because originally we were going to put leave it at the school, but I'm like, these little bastards don't need it at the school. <laughs> I need mine. it in my collection. Yes. This is mine. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I took that one home. But I'm hoping to get more than socks. I'm, I'm, I, so I, I take pictures of, uh, you know, everything, mm-hmm. and, I, and I do a review. Sometimes it's, uh, I get a lot of, I, you know, because my reviews are brutally honest. Yes. For me. You know, I I try not to take away because I I recognize that, you know, I don't have the only taste buds on the planet. Yep. And my taste buds are very white. Are they all are they all talking crap? No, no. They're asking, does Giada's have endless breadsticks? Oh, Uh, no. So actually, we don't do breadsticks. We hand make our own rosemary bread in house. Oh. And if you run out of that, we order in olive bread from a local bakery in Vegas. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, well, that's so kind of cool. Everything that we order comes either direct from Italy or locally sourced through wow. Vegas. Oh, uh, locally Giada sourced. Giada has yeah. connections <clears throat> yeah. um, in the Andes Mountains as well as here. Yeah. And so we use all of those connections or like our Parmigiano Reggiano, we get delivered straight from Italy. Uh, so here's the thing. We, uh, so I don't know why. Texas fan wants to know if you smoke. Do you smoke? Me? Yeah, do you yeah. smoke? Oh, you do smoke? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow, I didn't know you smoke. Yep. You don't smoke often though, huh? Every day. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, I think we're talking two different things here. Do you smoke cigarettes or no. just? Oh, you, yeah, no, 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 yeah, okay, good. Uh, Esther's Kitchen, oh, yeah, I will no. I when you asked if you smoke nowadays, it's really about the other one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, usually not, the Young people don't, don't smoke cigarettes well. anymore. Mm-hmm. They, they might vape. No, it's yeah. not really a thing anymore. It's not a thing anymore? No, my, uh, both of my parents smoke cigarettes, and so yeah. I promised them I would never do it. Yeah, no, I, so I've yeah, never. I smoked for 20 years. It sucked. <laughs> yeah, basically, I just went to the other one. Yeah, no, I, I, it took me forever to quit smoking, dude. Mm-hmm. It was a terrible, terrible habit. It took my mom six years. It whacked my, I had terrible, I was in, I, I was, my teeth got messed up in the military. Uh, and on top of that, the you know the, the cigarettes just whack my my, uh, my teeth and and uh, yeah. So I mean, I smoked up until I I've only been I I haven't smoked in about eight years. Oh nice. my god! Nice. I know what Vegas Pyro wrote in the chat. Uh, can you believe they made paid three dollars for? So, oh my god, David, I Google. Yeah, so uh, that's terrible. Two. St- I bought it a coupon. And they wouldn't honor it. Can you believe they made me pay three dollars for a slice of pizza? Oh my God, David on Google. I can hear it in his voice. Uh, I, I, so here's the thing. I, I don't rate that low though. No. I, I no no. I don't eviscerate because I, I as long as the place is like a freestanding, the walls aren't crawling with roaches. Right. And you know because I, I feel like food is kind of a it, you know if the service is good, and the quality is good, mm-hmm. I, you're gonna get four stars from me. Now, if, if it's off the charts for me, I give it my fifth star. But as long as it meets, because I because I know that for restaurants especially, you know you know what really pissed me off one day. Uh, I there was this restaurant, this this Chinese Thai little bistro thing, takeout place near where I used to live, and literally someone came to the re- that restaurant and because they didn't take American Express, they rated them one star, which I think is just ridiculously yeah. unfair. And you have to assume that, you know, everybody's taste buds are different. Like, my, my taste buds, I recognize, are not like, you know, the taste buds. Not I'm just broad. like, yeah, not really broad. <laughs> you know, for me, the bar is like, what I'm hoping is other people with sensitive stomachs at my age can share in the knowledge that we're not going to be stuck on the toilet for two hours afterwards. Right. You follow? Yeah. I totally. think that's the win. Like, that's like, yeah. that's the bar. That's my fifth star right there, everybody. Oh, that's the fifth star. Okay. Uh, that's the fifth star. <laughs> hey, what do I call that fifth star, Dennis? The gas meter. Oh, it's the gas, gas meter. meter. Yeah, because if the gas meter is low, then I, you get a fifth star for me. Because that means it, quality food. Definitely. I made it out alive. I got in and out. Now, and, and or if the service is off the, ch- even if I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the food, if the service is off the charts, dude, you got to reward good people mm-hmm. doing good things. So I'm not one of these, you know, restaurant haters who picks out, you know, all the negative things to, to talk about. You know, I, you know what I mean. I think yeah, that, the is that, you like and the reasons you're gonna go back. <clears throat> yeah. So, like, I'll, I'll write that up. But I like adding pictures. Let people figure it out for themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's worth the experience. That's why Vegas has really become a place of experiences. Oh, my God. Am I giving more crap? I, I got to just cancel out. <laughs> Five stars, I didn't Turn the shit. comments off. I didn't oh, I shit myself. Well, that's true. Oh, I, I, uh, that is true, sir. That, that, is, I just had, that is true. That is, that is definitely a pimp star. <laughs> so, so, you know. 
Oh my god, I I, uh, that's, uh, I gotta digest that for a second. That is pretty so, good. Julie Marie asks best dish at Tiadas. Go. Um, personal opinion. Yeah. I like our bucatini pasta, so yeah. it's a spicy red pomodoro sauce. Okay, I'm out already. Go. <laughs> we make it with no spice Ooh. For, for the non-spicy lovers, oh. uh, but it's regularly served spicy with Parmesan, basil, and ricotta cheese. Wow, that sounds good. It is. That is my favorite dish. Our yeah, right? most popular dish yeah. is our lemon spaghetti, oh. and it's a lemon cream spaghetti sauce, oh. and you put it served with shrimp on the side. Wow. Okay, I'm in. So. Yeah. Wow. Where is Giada's? Uh, it's at the Cromwell, the old Barbary Coast. The Cromwell, yeah. Second level. Old Mr. Bill's. And we're open every day Barbary. from 5 to 10. 5 to 10 for yes. dinner. We recommend reservations. Yep. But you're welcome to walk in. And the same thing, we do brunch on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. From 9 a.m. to 1. Oh, the brunch? There's, yes. Is there a bar for people to sit by themselves? Yes. Nice. Yeah. You can come in. You can just get a drink even. You can, you can sit with yourself? We have, people right, so, we have people that'll come in, they'll get drinks, and uh, when we have our bread displays out, they'll get drinks and just eat bread, and, and they leave. So how much does Dennis have to have to uh, pay for this? Like um, his, uh, Dennis account? is probably looking with your stomach, uh, probably closer uh, to about, you know, 200. Wow. 200 uh, bucks? But All right. the reason I would say that much is I recommend doing the tasting menu. Oh. It gets you a four-course meal. And you get to taste a little bit of everything. Oh, you get appetizers, in. salad, the pasta. We like to taste the menu. So yes. Do you? Um, do, I want that lemon. That sounds fantastic. The lemon spaghetti. Yeah. So no bag, no bag, uh, no heated up bags uh, here. Everything's made fresh. Everything's made fresh. Yes. And so the way yeah. that we ensure that our shrimp is actually cooked all the way through, we sous yeah. vide it to order. Sous vide. Yes. So it's cooked in. So sous vide machine. Water is bag. basically it's a water that is kept at a constant temperature. Ah, I've heard of this, by the way. And, and you're letting it cook. It's in a bag, but if yeah. we put it in the bag and take it out of I've the bag. I've seen this. And it, I, uh, it keeps it all the way cooked through without overcooking. Yeah, you, you don't even know. I uh, Believe it or not, I'm a very cultured individual, sir. Okay, so let's just not forget that. I've actually heard of it. I didn't know. I forgot that it was called that, but I've seen the bag in the tubs. Yes. Uh, where people keep the meat at like a perfect temperature. Yes, and that's exactly what it so, is. So like I bought a pressure cooker not too long ago trying to make myself uh, dinner because I, I have to eat out constantly because mm -hmm. uh, I can't cook to save my life. Like. I even mess up macaroni and cheese. I don't know how that's possible after all these years. You'd think I'd be a pro. Maybe. The only thing I get right is cereal. Well, you can't even do toast? You I mean, a toast? I do have a toaster, uh, <laughs> and I get bagel. I've toast before. So I was researching how to how to do the meat. Because, mm -hmm. you know, even in, like, a pressure cooker, you can't really sear the meat. or no. You don't get it. It's got to, like, other than, like, the, the frozen meatballs. Like, it just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then I got – now, this is before they came up with the Genius Air Fryer. This is – I'm talking pressure right. cooker. You can just put everything Now they the got fryer. the Ninja Air Fryer thing yeah. that just literally you just press a button, you tell it what it is, and it just, like, it just comes out. So, so cooking the meat in the pressure cooker, yeah. you would want to sear it off. This is a problem. In a hot pan. Oh, in a hot pan. And See, that that's cooking. The, that gives you the color. That's not, that's not a pressure cooker. No, no, pressure no. cooker is supposed to be all in one. Easy, trust me. Trust easy. Me, trust Here me. he goes again. So it is a sear. It's just sear. Pss, pss, and then in the pressure cooker, you just leave it alone. I don't, I don't know. I literally just, dude. Color, I don't know what it is. I swear to God. Color adds flavor. Yeah. So the more color that you get on your meat, when it starts to turn that I like, golden I like brown, color that's on my the meat. flavor you get. Yeah, we love color on our meat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we're now. All right. So, but this is this is fantastic because you're in your one of your dreams. Uh oh. How to, how do, to do the meat? Yeah, David. <laughs> definitely not David. I mean. I, I literally I, I've had this conversation about searing the meat. Yeah. And so but but the thing is is like so I took the pressure cooker and there's apparently there's a way to sear the meat in the pressure cooker before you actually put everything into the pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. And I went to this whole tutorial. The thing is is like you put the water and it, so it, it matters like what levels you put what everything you in. You follow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I left the meat at the bottom level after I seared it. I figured that's the first thing in, seared it, done, meat. Oh. And then, of course, all the dry stuff in the water. And then I just got this, like, just, it was really, the, that didn't work out so well yeah, no. for me. You know what I mean? I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't all that excited. And, uh, yeah, that pressure cooker has been in the closet. Then uh, then they evolved to the, so this this other thing you were talking about with the bag and the tub. The sous vide machine, yeah. So, so the the YouTube video I saw. This is before I got in on YouTube. Mm. I didn't know that YouTube. I only did YouTube for the tutorials. Okay. And I saw someone with this thing, 
this this thing they put in the tub. Yeah. They literally stick it in the tub, throw their meat in the tub, and then they yeah. they and slow whatever. They just like in the tub. Mm-hmm. Well, I use my tub, dude. <laughs> I don't want my meat. I mean, the only meat in the tub is my tub. My, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just started making me a little like, what happens if the bag breaks? And now I got steak. And David, <laughs> Steak you know and I mean? David cheeks <laughs> on the same. <laughs> I mean, that's that's just not my uh, idea of like good meat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's not to me. I and I figured like I know, and they're like, that's not gonna happen. But anyway, so like that just seems like a lot of work, dude. So, I I mean, I honestly think it's easier to do it that way mm. because the sous vide machine you can forget about it, and it's not gonna overcook it. It holds right. it at yeah, the just, temperature just regardless. Stay yeah. I mean, so for example, we can cook our chicken up to 24 hours in the sous vide machine. We oh, don't. Wow. But you can. But you, you can. can. Yes. Have everything ready. And it'll still be juicy. You'll get the same flavor. I, I've heard that a lot of a lot of places now, a lot of these restaurants, especially like there's that one type of restaurant that's the chemical gourmand. They cook everything to a very precise. What's that uh-huh. called? The temperature. It's the hydro. Whatever they. It's yeah. like there's a certain type of restaurant. They have them at. They're really expensive, mm-hmm. and everything is made to like this chemical perfection they have everything a certain it's temperature more science than cooking more science yeah. yeah it's the science of the of the meal uh, you know i i guess that could be interesting no it, it definitely is i mean and it's not cheap even no no so, so do you once, guys have like all the sauce in these like you know pressure cookers everything just wait i heard that you guys use lots of machines now you do everything by hand still or what's so, that yeah we do cook everything by hand um huh? we have a specialized pasta machine yeah. that way we can cook more pasta at once yeah of course yeah but other than that um everything is still like we make our sauces in a pot every single day wow we re-season them we add yes yeah because yes, so. i'm afraid that i'm gonna go to i mean not afraid but like I, I, so applebee's set me back a little bit i gotta i gotta admit <sighs> Because when, when me, and, me and my buddy ordered the same thing, and when that lady came to the table and said, I don't know what the problem is, it, both, it came from the same bag, I was like, <laughs> bag? I had never known that this was a thing. Yeah. I had seen the bags at Sam's Club mm-hmm. or, you know, Costco. You, you buy the bag and you put it in or whatever. You know what I mean? I, I did that myself. For myself, mm-hmm. I'm willing I'm going to eat out of a bag because I can't make it any other way. The bag right. is halfway to, you know, perfection for me. Right. But I, but when I go to a restaurant, I don't expect my food to come out of a bag. Although thinking about it now, Alex has explained to me, David, you can't get two for twenty at Applebee's without there being a bag yes. in the, yes. somewhere in the process. You know what I mean? So that's the exact reason why I want to open my food truck. Yeah. I want to do affordable food that doesn't come from a bag. That doesn't come from a bag. In I want a food it to truck. be. I want it to be exactly like if you went to the local grocery store, yeah. you could find all these items. But yeah. I cooked it for you. You didn't have to do any of the work. No, I would love that. You could park your truck behind my house, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. There we go. I already got a location. I'll right? just like, I'll location. just like get, just jump out of my house and go, Mark. What do you got for me, buddy? Yes, that'll be sweet. Yeah. You know, uh, that that was the interesting thing about you. The Wall Street Journal came down to the school, and uh, you're you're the, you and this truck are on a path, dude. You're gonna have your truck. I I, I, 100% I hope so. believe it. Uh, you know, me and me and Dennis have an idea about some food that we think would be fantastic either out of a truck or literally served in front of this damn mall definitely we we came across some people who um who are very uh have some very innovative ways of looking at a certain type of food that i love and we we were trying to get it into a truck and originally when when it was interesting because we met you at exactly the same time that we were researching this other type of foodie type of venture you know because food has taken on a whole different level in vegas yes It, it really is fantastic back when i was here do you know what the most famous restaurant in town was when mm-hmm. I was here? When I first came here, there was only one that was really nationally known. Ping Pang Pong. Wow, okay. Even Ping, more Pang, so Pong. than Piero's? I mean, no, Piero's locally for sure. Heard, okay. uh, but, I'm, but I mean, yeah, like, Pang you know, Pong. as a Chinese restaurant, as an Asian food, Piero's probably is an Italian restaurant. I'll be mm-hmm. honest with you, right? I didn't even know. I've lived here. I used to live within a stone's throw on Paradise. Right. I didn't know Piero's was a thing until yes. they... I used to literally live at Paradise Bay Club, within 200 feet. Oh yeah, of uh, yeah, Piero's. It's right there at the. You know what I mean? Not Paradise. Uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, Las Palmas. I mean, Las Palmas. Mm-hmm. It's it's now. But anyway, so I used to live so close. I never knew it was there, dude. I literally never knew it was there. So I don't know how big that is. I knew Ping Pang Pong. Of course, I would go to the Barbary Coast all the time. Go ahead. So with with that, the 
the whole brand there is mm. kind of the same thing like you guys do. There's no marketing. It's all word of mouth. Yeah. And that good enough reputation off of word of mouth brings in all their customers. Their no, I, I, especially for food, dude. If yeah. you can get enough Ferraro's, uh, Ferraro's is like that. Yes. Ferraro's mm -hmm. is all word of mouth. And by the way, the cheesecake there is holy crap. Just go for the cheesecake. So we, <laughs> me and him, me and him, we've never. First of all, he doesn't fight over dessert. Look at him. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's just down. He doesn't so. know a dessert. He doesn't know dessert, dude. Like I have no sugar listen, to it, okay? Listen. So when, yeah. I, when I eat dessert and I'm yeah. fighting for it, it's really good. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he doesn't. I like Jesse with his him. cookies. Yeah. Jesse, oh, Jesse's <laughs> cookies, Mr. Fields, yeah. Sir. Mr. Fields. Uh, you don't, you don't want to buy dessert for Sticky. He might not make it through it. You know what I'm saying? He's just like, so, but but this cheesecake, he fought over it, dude. He, we were like, oh, my God. Are you nice. kidding me? Uh, it was really, like, quite literally the best cheesecake I've ever had. So I saw a study in 2019 uh -huh. that the food industry in Vegas did more revenue than the gaming industry did. Wow. I don't know about that, but... $3.5 billion in food sales in wow. 2019. Holy crap. Yeah, well, you know what the number... You know one of the top 10 uh, restaurants in revenue is here in town? Mm. The top of the world at the Strat. Really? Over $20 million in sales. Nobu does a lot, too, wow. by the way. Yeah. Um, but the, the other one that's big is uh, the Bazaar guy uh, at Bazaar yes, Meats Bizarre Meat. uh, Sahara. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty confident that if he wasn't still at the Sahara, the Sahara might not might not be a convenience be store anymore. at this yeah. point. Like yeah. literally, sadly, we would have the only chandelier left from the Sahara. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. which really is kind of depressing because uh, back in the day, Sahara was quite Bill Bennett, dude. I mean, he was a was popping. a titan uh, for for. But it's kind of sad. But Bizarre Meat has literally kept that place, you know, kept people coming in the door. Definitely. I don't know. I haven't eaten there myself, but I, I I've heard it's pretty fantastic. That he's legitimately it's one of the best. Things. What about what about so so two hundred bucks? That's a tasting menu. So what's an average like meal? Like what does it cost for a plate uh, of pasta there? So per plate, you're running about for for salads. It starts yeah. at around twenty two to twenty seven, depending uh -huh. if you get meat or no meat. And then for your pasta dish, you start around thirty dollars a plate. Wow! So it's really it's really up there. It's a pricey because, place. It's because we hand make all of our pasta. We don't make use everything. anything out of a box. Everything is from scratch. Flour, Flour Durham, eggs. semolina. They're what? Yeah. Not so ingredients, is it? Yeah, it's all about the ingredients yes. and and the labor. The like labor you're is literally so like, I'm I'm so impressed, dude. You're so young working at this restaurant. That's. Is there any other young people that are there? Uh, so I'm Besides, actually the youngest. You have person, to be the yeah. youngest too. And the next closest to me is uh, 32. No, I I hundred percent believe that. I've actually worked as a as a uh, assistant chef, uh, doing uh, food prep. Yeah. All I did was do the. Uh, I I wasn't trusted to do the actual. I would do like the uh, the roux and the stock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But see, so you're you were more of a saucier. So, a saucier. Wow. So you Perfect. are a vital part to us as a cook mm -hmm. because if see? we're not pre prepped before, our uh -huh. sauces don't come together. So especially in Italian cooking, really, like our sauce is actually better the day after. Oh. So we'll make a batch of sauce. We'll mm -hmm. serve it for dinner, and we don't use leftovers. Like whatever we didn't use for dinner goes to yeah. the trash. Yeah. But we have another batch ready for the next day. Yep. And that's what we use because the seasonings have binded together. Yeah. We don't keep any of our sauces for more than three days. Wow. But that we have a batch for each day for three days. Wow. And the spices taste better every single day. So I I um. We used to, I was part of a, a, a team that would cook for about 400 kids. It was a camp Definitely. that I worked for, right? And uh, one of the things that I was done, I, I, uh, I used to, I worked for this chef who was, uh, he was outside of this camp schedule, he was having a pastry chef. Okay. So they had given me this little tool to, uh, you know, uh, I was supposed to separate. So it, they were making turnovers, apple turnovers. And he told me to crisscross mm -hmm. uh, because you do, you do this thing or you crisscross. Well, I, I crisscross just like this over and over and over again yes and so of course uh when they went to do the pan they went to put the apple filler in he went he 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 uh he was not kind <laughs> uh because uh so i crisscrossed it because he's like dude there there was nowhere to fold it because i had literally crossed them anyways it's kind of hard to explain but uh yeah i sucked at that too by the way literally the only thing i was good at was uh in the military i was pretty good i, I division that and then being a dealer being a crap dealer that's why I focused so hard. I was so tired of being, uh, not I wouldn't say an epic fail, but you know, having other issues. You know, you didn't feel as mastered in the other areas. I've never been dice. mastered, sir. Okay, oh, just whoa, just to whoa, put that whoa, out there. Whoa, 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 <laughs> no. whoa, whoa, whoa. And demonetized. Uh, all the sauce. Yeah, I heard on Twitch. Brian is running part of Top of the World into a furry lounge. Oh my 
God. That's got to be a joke. Oh, Linda. Uh, here. Yeah, that's a joke. Linda, Peppermill, huge. I got to take Dennis to Peppermill. You got to go to Peppermill. Peppermill okay. is less about the food than the atmosphere. The in fact, the atmosphere is a runner-up to, I mean the atmosphere, the food's a runner-up to the atmosphere. Wow. Uh, it really is a, an amazing experience. Have you been? Oh, uh, you got to go, dude. You got to go to the Pepper Mill. You gotta, you gotta, that place has refused to sell out uh, tremendously. They have been offered a, a ton of money, I'm 100% sure. I haven't been privy to those conversations, but I've heard lots of rumors because they're in key, prime you know, location. prime location real estate. And that whoever owns a pepper mill has never once uh, has given in. I, I have I remember a story at some point where they were offered a ton of money specifically, and um, dude, that it's it's that is old Vegas like in the flesh. Yep. Go to the pepper mill experience if you want a little taste of what old Vegas was like. Pepper mill is still part of that old Vegas. The other one is like Golden Steer has been around for a long time. Forever. I've never eaten there, Steakhouse. but that's been literally there forever. Yeah. I, I, amazingly, it's like it borders Naked City. And you would think they were selling sandwiches out, barbecue sandwiches out of there. Like instead, yeah. it's a high-end yeah, it's a steakhouse. High end steakhouse. Mm-hmm. So like you know, uh, but just uh, just make sure that you go right to your car after you're done eating. Dude. <laughs> Don't go out the back and have a cigarette because uh, you may not make it back into the front. You know yeah. the kind of thing. I don't want to put that out there. That's terrible. No. But uh, I I want to go. Super chat. Oh, we got. Oh, hello. Thank you, Taco about Chris. And uh, wow, fantastic. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, love. Yeah, love the pepper mill. Yeah, Vital tweeted it. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Wait, what happened now? Uh, I heard it's sticky. It's true. All sorts of bad. What did uh, What did Vital tweet? Brian said it on stream. Uh, changing the top of the world to. A- oh, yeah, that would work. That would work. Imagine that a ferry lounge up there. That could be big, dude. Yeah. That might be the huge. biggest thing that ever happened in Vegas, dude. Because, you know, the ferries need somewhere to go, too, buddy. You know, imagine looking down, working uh, working each other over in a little uh, ferry costume. Okay, okay. Care- careful with your vocabulary, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and fade to black to the full Oh, time. <laughs> man. I'm going to get so can It's just a matter of time, dude. It's just a matter of time. Oh, yeah. Uh, skill and luck. Hello. Hugo Seller. Yeah, so here. Hey, tell us what your... I'll tell you my experiences. Uh, happy 4, Taco. Uh, Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Uh, Hugo Seller, Four Queens. Uh, I've been several times. Uh, I've always loved it. I never had to pay, thank God, because back then it was expensive. It's still expensive now, but I don't think anywhere close to some of the restaurants. I think it's probably at a discount compared to some places you can go. But Hugo Cello was fantastic. Four Queens, man, you guys wouldn't know this, but Four Queens used to be one of one of the nicest. Uh, I wouldn't say the nicest. I, I used to love their canopies over the pit. This it was kind of a thing. high end. It was a more high. End it was a little though. more high yeah. end property. Uh, the dealers there went table for table. Service is great. Mm-hmm. I, I used to work at the Fitz and just walk over there to and hang out with some friends of mine. They were the competitor on Fremont to the Golden Nugget, weren't they? Basically, I mean, when you went to, I mean, Golden Nugget was always sort of its own class, so to speak. But if if you couldn't fit around a dice game, you went to Fort Queens. You know, sure. that was kind of that was the other place to go. Yeah, you know, the Plaza and the El Cortez, both gone properties, uh, Jackie gone properties. They were sort of a little lower rent. Uh, dude, uh, Alan would have loved the Plaza. Even back 10 years ago, they used to have these penny clear patcher machines. Mm. And uh, you would, uh, if you loved collecting coins, would you would you sit there. They, they, huh? Would it pay you in real pennies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had nickel machines that pay you in nickels right wow. to the very end to where they just got Even when they still had some ticket out, they still had some of these machines. And you could sit there. And people have been feeding this machine for decades, dude. Feeding you, you I've actually run into 1926s. I've, I've actually, I've wow. actually, you know, found pennies worth a hundred bucks. Yeah. Uh, out of these clear patches that no one knows. I, I found, uh, uh, you know, we've, I've found silver out of some of the nickel machines. I mean, you know, it was tremendous. You could just sit there, and put in a dollar. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or, or just get your bucket and just play and cash out. Uh, yeah, no, Craps has been uh, fantastic. All right, so the other, where are the other steakhouse? So where are the other, what are, what are your favorite other than Giada's? I've heard good things about the Circus Circus Steakhouse, and I'm not sure if that's a joke or not. Oh, that's not a joke, dude. It's is the it? steakhouse. Okay. That is quite literally one of the best places. Herbs and Rye is pretty good for a little lower budget. Herbs, we went to the uh, stepchild of Herbs and Rye. The stepchild is the location, Cleaver. The sister location. Oh, Cleaver, yeah. Not mm-hmm. the stepchild. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cleaver. We went to Cleaver. What do we like about? We like something. We didn't like one thing, we but we like. Oh, oh my! The macaroni was amazing. God, have you? Did you go with us? Oh, you went with us. 
Dude, they have macaroni and cheese there. That's a whole nother <laughs> level of macaroni and cheese. What did it have? Like barbecue macaroni and cheese, right? No, it bacon. Was, it was something. It was bacon. It was bacon? Maple, maple bacon is what it was. Maple, maple bacon. Maple bacon, bacon oh. mac and cheese. Wow. Wow, it was fantastic. That's a step up. I didn't even sure. remember. I don't remember anything else that was there except for the <laughs> except mac and the cheese. Mac and like cheese. quite literally, it's all I remember. You know who took us there? Uh, JK. JK at Fahad, right? But we went with Fahad too, but JK took us out. All right, yeah. Timmy was there. Timmy was there. Timmy went out to eat with us. Yeah, Timmy, Timmy there. made it out wow. in public. Wow. Oh my God. He made it late. Just, Timmy, Timmy. It was it's tough to get. It's tough to get Timmy's out of his house, dude. <clears throat> I mean, he just strolls around in his undies and flip flops, and that's it. <laughs> he's just, he's all editing. editing. He's all, all editing. Yeah. Uh, Paris. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Gordon Steakhouse at Paris. So, uh, Voodoo at the Rio. Oh, here we go. Ready? El Cortez still has coin BP. Yeah, there's still a few places downtown that have coin uh, slot uh, machines. Jerry's Nugget has quarter machines. Skyline still does uh, chains. It does the buckets. Jerry's Nugget? Yep. Yeah, Jerry's Nugget just hasn't been able to upgrade. That's the problem with Jerry's yeah, yeah, yeah. Nugget. They're, they're still working on it. They wish they had it. El Cortez, <laughs> it's like, I think they've actually made that. I, I, love, I love that old feel. I love the sound of the coin, stuff like this. All right. You ready? Voodoo at Rio was fantastic. I tried to go to Voodoo Isn't back the in the day. Top, it's at the top, top of the Masquerade Michael? Village. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I only know that because I opened the Masquerade Village. Amazingly, I was a dice dealer in there, right? And uh, I tried to go there with some friends of mine, and I got turned away for having uh, the wrong shoes. You couldn't wear sneakers. Back in the day, they made you. They were, I don't know what they have now, coats. but they had a dress coat. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, a friend of mine had Timberland work boots on. And I had sneakers, on, nice sneakers, and and somehow the Timberland work boots are fine, but my sneakers didn't, didn't pass muster. Yeah, right. I was like, you gotta be kidding me! You back in the day, so like you know, years ago that used to be a style. You wore your work boots with your slacks or you know whatever. But anyways, uh, all right, ready? Voodoo. Okay, Paris Gordon Steakhouse. So uh, very good. Just opened. A couple of Thanksgiving ago, I had I had a uh, we had uh, 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 some family of ours, and we were trying to get a room, and um, some friends, anyways, trying to get a room around Thanksgiving, and he originally we would go to that uh, that cafe that's mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. What's that one called? The fish and chips. No, the one outside Paris where you sit there. Oh, uh, Mon Ami Gabi. Mon Ami Gabi. Yeah. Mon Ami Gabi. Gabi. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause they have uh, gluten free. You don't yes. know this, but they have gluten-free. They have a, a pretty extensive gluten-free menu. Yes. And uh, you don't want to know this because gluten-free sucks, dude. Okay? Can I put that out there? It's very popular times. now, though. Yeah, Because no, the you know, allergies to gluten. No, a lot of people have uh, either they have allergies or they want to have allergies. Or they think <laughs> they, they have allergies. They just don't want to deal with the gluten. Or yeah. they just wake up with diarrhea and now they got to eat gluten free. I, I feel, by the way, if you're an actual celiac and you can't have gluten, I apologize 100%. But if you're not a celiac and you just go gluten free, you're I, missing I, out on you're all You're missing the out. I was diagnosed uh, incorrectly oh, wow. by some quack. Uh, I had a virus, it turned out, that was, you know, in my digestive tract for a long time and mm -hmm. made me, you know, sensitive to certain types of foods. I thought I have, had gluten sensitivities. And for a year, I ate gluten-free crap. Oh, and when yeah. I say crap, yeah, and, I, yeah, and I do, if I sound bitter, it's because I am bitter. It is hard. Uh, a pizza that's gluten-free, all the pizza. toppings just slip oh, off. Yeah, it's I've, like this. I've made it, have you seen it? Yes. I made it you just go like this. Everything falls off. Yeah. It's yeah. like, what the hell happened here? What's going on? It comes we, frozen in the big old box of like 12 of them. Yeah. And they're like, it's we the have worst. to make special sauces now in pasta because oh. we have gluten-free. Really? And you have people. type of flour. I will say the desserts are fine. Because uh, apparently you could just eat like an absolute pig. Yeah, you can't really tell. Cupcakes. Yeah, like, gluten -free I, I can't cupcakes. really can't tell I'm gluten free for the dessert. Fantastic. No. Covered yeah. in chocolate and you're fantastic. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that Udi bread, by the way, if you leave it out on the counter for even a second, uh, it'll go bad. They got to keep that bread frozen. The Udi one, the, I don't know if you've ever had this. It's like, I, I think it's called Udi bread. I, I think it's called Udi, something like this, but it's a gluten free bread. Yeah. Mm. Uh, which doesn't taste much like bread, dude. By the way, if you're looking for gluten-free pasta, the only one that makes it, and I've researched it forever, for, for someone like me who has ultra-white palate, Trader Joe's has these green bags yes. of gluten-free pasta. Yes. And it's literally the closest thing to pasta. You you won't know the difference. It's that good. Yes. It's a really a Trader Joe's. And I, so you know what I did? I literally took 100 bucks. I was so tired because I love pasta. Stocked it, up I on could, it. It's one of the things I can make. Mm -hmm. 
even if it doesn't always come out perfect, mm. it's at least I can you know boil water and make some pasta, right? I'm telling you, I, seven minutes. Yep, and you seven strain minutes. The water out and never, never fails. Seven minutes. I went every store in town, found gluten-free pasta, gluten, lined them all up, and for literally days, I had this one, this one, this one, and I would test them out. Trader Joe's, without a doubt, that is the closest thing I've ever found to being tasty like actual pasta. But anyways, uh, but Mon Ami Gabi is known for having the closest thing to breads and pe- yes. you know foods that are gluten free. So if you are if you do need gluten free, just know that that's an option. But anyway, so they were open the Gordon uh, Steakhouse, mm-hmm. and we were gonna get a room, uh, so they couldn't fit our our, our groups. So they were gonna get a uh, thing and have it catered <clears throat> until we got the price. Holy crap! No coupon allowed, buddy. No. You know what I mean? No. He's uh, he's not cheap. No. My God, he's not, not cheap. Anyways, is it good? You've been to the steakhouse? It's fantastic. Yeah, I've been to Hell's Kitchen too. Pretty really? fantastic. Yeah, yeah we have. Uh, what about burger? That I keep. I've been in line at the burger place twice and can't. I've never had yet to get inside. So, personally, with that, I don't know. If you ask me, I, I feel like I can make a better burger at my house. Yeah. But but that's just because it's all in the meat that you use. So you can buy a higher quality meat, and your burger's gonna taste better. Really? Mm-hmm. Than what he's got? Yeah. He, well, I mean, he uses he uses USDA Prime. So he uses okay. the best, there the is best available. Kind of meat that you can get, and Here. He, just, he grinds it himself instead really? of buying frozen burger patties. We yeah. do the same thing at Giada's. On our brunch menu, we have a burger. We hand grind it ourselves. It's, wow. it's a mix of pork butt, uh, pork butt. chuck roast, That's and awesome. veal chops. Yeah. And okay. we grind it all together, and that's what makes our burgers. So you should say, so every time I skip out of the line, I probably should just hang out and wait. I, get, I just get so impatient, dude. It is... Definitely mm. worth the flavor explosion in your mouth. Oh my God, we're but getting flavor if, explosions if, in if our mouth. If we're talking how like you guys rate value as well, yeah. I don't think not a lot of value for a burger is. How is much is the burger? The the cheapest one on the menu is nineteen. Oh my God, that's no the coupons cheap, and that's no fries, just the burger. Is there a Groupon uh, special Nothing. to go to burgers? The value depends on if you're willing to buy it again. That's that's and that's. Always- that's yeah. where I feel that I could make a better one by just buying the meat at my house and mm. and in the you just work your own meat literally yeah. perfect <laughs> we got that <laughs> hey uh, Monami Gabi by the way that that's really the idea is that Monami Gabi is just known to have some of the best bread yes so I think they've excelled at making bread and that's why a lot of gluten free people like it because they they their bread is so much better mm-hmm. I, I've literally heard this I I can't even begin to tell you so if you're if you are a celiac, you have gluten sensitivities. There's like there's there's support groups, because yeah. you spend a lot of time crying about it. You really do. You get because first of all, not so much crying about it, but trying to talk to other people about what foods you can have. Uh, you can have and like where to go. Because you know, the biggest problem is you don't want to be dude. It gets so boring. Can you imagine? I can't. I can barely cook for myself gluten free. Now I mean not gluten free. Gluten. Regularly. Now yeah. imagine I'm gluten free. Your options are doing. limited. Mm-hmm. You know, you, back in the day, you go to Walmart, they had one little squeezy little aisle for allergy-sensitive uh, stuff. Now, it's everywhere. Yeah. But so you go online, you talk to people, say, hey, what do you do for this? And you want to go out to eat sometimes. You don't want to be stuck in your home, right? right. So everybody has, and, and Monami Gabi comes out like all the time as a place to go here in Vegas if you're looking to eat somewhere. Because you got a great view, the food's good, yep. the service has always been good. I've, always, I've, I've been there a couple times that's what I like about the restaurant I work at at yeah. Giada's. We have a view of the Bellagio Fountains. Oh. And we offer gluten and vegan options. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, Fenton. Wow, you're options. the best, dude. Did they pay you to be like, this is like, listen, oh. if you're going to go hit up the podcast, <laughs> here's $100. Just plug, just plug it right sneak there. Sneak in a little bit of this. Tell them. I, I can't wait to go, actually. I, I, I think that's going to be. The, 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 what's that one Italian place that we went to uh, up there at uh, Tavoli Village? Uh, Solito Qui or something like that? Solito. Oh. Solito Qui. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Mm-hmm. That's what it is, soliloquy. Oh, now that makes sense. My God, the whole sign makes sense. I thought it was Solito <laughs> Pasto Pozo. <laughs> it's soliloquy. Are you kidding me? That's it. That's awesome. That makes sense. Anyways, it's up there at Tavoli Village. It's fantastic. Yeah, right across hey, from uh, Rampart and Suncoast. Value. Yeah. By the way, value because uh, it's half of what uh, you know. Uh, it's half of what it is for you guys, and yeah. it's still good. The service is great. They got a host. I don't know who owns a place. There's like a couple different people that come by and make sure you're okay wearing suits and you know what I mean? Mm. It makes the me... The desserts are just average. Uh-oh. That's the only thing. Desserts... Uh, you're going to have a good eh. dessert. I can't have any dessert. So that's actually somewhere that I personally too would struggle with. So like I, I can cook. I can cook fine. Yeah. When it comes to desserts and really? sweets, I can't make them. 
Really? Even following a box recipes. Wow. It's kind of hard. Like it never t- seems to turn out right. Yeah. So no, I have my I mom feel your make pain. my sweets, and I, I oh, just your do mom? all the cooking. Yeah, I just go out. <laughs> Is that like the baking part of making. Yeah, the baking. Okay. Mm-hmm. The baking. Yeah, because it's you have to be, a good to be baker. so precise as about a baker. everything. Yeah, everything has to be exact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Like I as suck a cook, I can eyeball and and yeah. taste so it tastes right. All right, so let's talk about. Uh, so by the way, the steakhouse at. Uh, oh my God. Oh, that's so. Hey, Matt. Uh, yeah. Coming to CQ Casino, that that would be funny. Uh, you don't know what letters are missing, but if you play with Alex at all, you do know what letters are missing. That'd be the a perfect name for a steakhouse, because that's about value right there. Yeah, that's about getting a lot of it all coming out of the same recipe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that would be all about value. Milking it for everything. Is there a good burger? There's a good burger here, like uh, the show, uh, like the movie Good Burger. Is there a good a good burger in uh, Vegas? Oh, he's talking about. Uh, He's Somewhere else. Gordon Ramsay's burger is good. Oh, is it good? Yeah, working is me to get an explosion. Well, that's good. All right, so bye. All right, see you later, buddy. All right. Oh, I forgot it's seven o'clock. Wow, you guys are like far from done. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Unless you want to hang out, you can hang out. You can fit on the couch. I'm gonna take my spot back on the couch. Well, I mean, I would, I would take your spot. I would just join you. Well, yeah. I got, I got no, to, yeah, yeah, I got to you gotta go. Yeah, oh, you gotta go. All right, yeah, come on over. Yeah, we're doing the longest podcast ever known, dude. To this human beings. Though. Okay. What are you guys even talking about? You guys have been talking for food. We're, most we're just going yeah, on about, about the food, food aspect dude. of it. Oh, yeah, that's a food, especially because he, right. he knows so much about food. Yeah, Mark knows yeah, a lot. We only have seventy-eight people. We're 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 dying. We're dying over here. That's okay. It'll it'll be on the. That's amazing. I love that you eat something that you cook. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime. I'll bring in. I'll bring something in for all of us one day. So. See you, buddy. Oh, we can split it. So. Okay. Before anyone jumps on that couch, I need to go to the restaurant. So. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't. You can't. Yeah. Make sure the doors are closed. Seven o'clock. So oh, just yeah, close it up. Close, you yeah. close everything. Okay. Uh, yeah. You can always request. Uh, in fact, uh, you got to do it sooner than later because we're gonna kind of change that around depending upon where we're at. But. Uh, the steakhouse at Circus Circus, by the way, mm-hmm. is fantastic. Is it really? Oh, it, it's unbelievable. I, I have to say, like, uh, I've been there probably four times. In my, I've always at pivotal points in my life. Mm-hmm. I've been there uh, with some really special people. For some reason, always end up at the steakhouse. That's where the business meetings go. And... I mean, not so much business, <laughs> but more personal stuff. Heard. You okay, know what okay. I mean? Just yeah. big moments. Big moments in my life seem Definitely. to always sort of and and and. A lot of people think that is kind of funny that Circus Circus, of all the places in town, has one of the best steakhouses in town. I, I thought it was a complete joke. And I, no, I still do think no, hundred percent not. It's it's called the to, Steakhouse. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, no, it, you, you I, have I to look go for reasons to go to Circus Circus now. You said so you weren't a big steak guy. If you said you like these. No, yeah, you know, that's only because this place. I so I have some people from out of town mm. uh, that are, have been uh, fantastic sort of supporters of mine over the years. They're not even related to me, and even when I went through some hardships here in town, they were they were they supported me. Definitely. And twice that I've been there with them, where they've come to town. And by the way, these these two people are are very wealthy. Uh, they've had they they had a fantastic business, mm-hmm. and um, you know very humble people for the most part. And that's where they choose to go. Out of all, they could go anywhere they want. Right. But uh, that's there. that's where they choose to go. Definitely. You know, they never stay there. We, you know, we don't stay there. No, no, no. But we eat, eat there. Food. Yeah, you know course. what I mean? Of course. Yeah. You, you, all right. You good can stuff. Eat there and just go next door to have fun. Yeah, no, we we love. Uh, I miss uh, slots of fun and. Um, I was you talking know. about the resorts world next door. Oh, resorts world! Yeah, resorts world now is next door. Yeah. What do we think about? Have you guys been to resorts world? I'm going tonight after. All right, all right. Mark's gotta go. We're gonna move yeah. in. Uh, we're gonna move in Isaac for a Thank second. You, everybody. Oh, yeah. This we'll is gonna be the longest time. spot here. What do we got? Seven. We'll end it at seven thirty. So we'll let everybody uh, go yeah, go yeah. sleep. Less than half an hour. Another Less than half an more hour. Minutes of the goldenness. Dude, we're gonna see you at Giada's. I want to go. Can I go when you're working one yeah. day? So you know. Yeah, of course. Uh, so I'm actually there Monday through Thursday next week. Yeah. Or and then I go on my vacation, but I'll let you know my schedule is every day. Yeah, I will go next week. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'd love I'm, to come too. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm there every day. Uh, every day Monday through Thursday. We'll bring Isaac to pay. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. See, That's Dennis, you get, the hook. you get off the hook. Wow. Yeah, Good sure. <laughs> We're like, hey, you, you want to be on the <laughs> in crowd? Ask me that company card. The, the yeah, first question David asked me was, how much money does Dennis need to pay for dinner? <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. So, if Isaac's coming too, now we need three hundred. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> See you, buddy. Thank you. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Have a good right. night. Uh, have you got... I have not tried the steakhouse at Treasure Island. Uh, Sinatra had his booth at Circus Circus Steakhouse. I completely believe it. Uh, are there new CQ chips? Uh, okay, well, hold on a second. Can I make a reservation for October for 30 World Challenge? I believe so. How many months ahead can you make a reservation? Um, I, believe I, I think it's six year. months, no? no? Six months. At least six months. So I'm sure you can. 
Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll still be here. No, we'll be here. We'll be good. Uh, is there new CQ chips? Only if you haven't gotten those ones on the bottom. Those are all new. Uh, well, I mean, they're new for this year, 2021, so um, far. The only new ones are the, the grand opening ones. Oh, the black and uh, red ones. Although yeah. we just gave the red one away. So these two. So this one. Here, can I put it? Uh, I can't. Uh, here, get up there, Sticky. Show them what you got. All designed by Dennis himself. Wait, you designed the chips? Yeah. yeah. That's sick, dude. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. He de designed the shirts. The design work is me. That's actually crazy, bro. Uh, That's super cool. He's done cool. a fantastic job. Wow. Yeah, Dennis, uh... Yeah, he's done Wait, do you design, that. like, shirts and stuff, or...? Yeah. Those Vegas shirts back there, man. I love that. That's cool. Right. We'll have to try... You know, Treasure Island is right across the street. We'll have to go knock that up. I gotta say, since uh, when it was an MGM property... Mm -hmm. I was all about. They used to have an actual, a show outside, okay. where they had, uh, you know, like a pirate show. It was supposed to be like a pirate ships fighting yeah. each other, you know, Treasure Island kind of thing, that whole thing. Then they nixed it. Why? I, I knew, I knew one Wait. of the girls that uh, was is, in that show. Is this like a restaurant or a casino or what is this? No, no, no this is outside the Treasure Island. They used so to have like a is, show. Yeah, what if is that? Down, if you walk down the street to Treasure Island, yeah. you'll walk on like a bridge, okay, like a wooden bridge, and you'll see pirate ships there. And when I was a kid, me and my mother would always stop by and they would have this whole show, they would fight, they would Oh, that music. sounds sick, dude. And if you've never been born, like if you weren't ever here in Vegas at that time, you would have never seen it, but they took it out. It they took like, it out, they killed Damn, it. Damn, I Since missed then, it, I haven't bro. been inside. Damn, I missed everything. The toke rate went yeah. down, like wow. the whole quality. They had this guy come in who kind of, he, he, he bought the Frontier and then he swapped the Frontier for Treasure Island. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, He's a bit different type of casino operator. He now owns Circus Circus, by the way. All right. So. And let's just say it's you know it's a more budget friendly kind of operator. When, when you watched the show, was there like food being served, or was it just like a show that you? No, watched? it was a free show. Like like if I you see. walk down the strip, you get to see the Mirage, the volcano go off, and the Bellagio fountains, Damn. and the Treasure Island. You'll still see the boats, the actual where the pirate ship show happened. You Damn. still see the pirate ah, ships. I wish I could have seen it. But yeah. no more show. Yeah. So I, I haven't been in there since the end of the show. I see. Wow. Because I, you know, I'm like a hater that way. I don't like <laughs> it when they take away things I like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's very disappointing. I sympathize. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hope. Uh, all right. Well, here isn't Sticky still? Sticky is a kid. Yeah. No, the TI show. We all missed the TI show. All right. Here, do patrons have to make a reservation to reserve you guys for the challenge? Of course, this is Al. <laughs> uh, you just uh, when you call De either Dennis or myself or someone will set the reservation. You can request it. No. If you are a patron, you have to call me. There's can they hear you? That's why I'm talking really loud. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, if you are a Patreon, you have to call me. There's a post on Patreon with my phone number on it, my business phone. Uh -huh. You're going to call me and I'll reserve you in. If you do not call me and you show up, I yeah. guarantee nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he guarantees it because he's got to set it in our calendar. It all depends if we have uh, time in our calendar. Man, last week I didn't have time to poop in my calendar. That was uh, <laughs> There was a lot of conflict there. Serious, serious conflict there. Damn. Uh, that's why I can't wait till, uh, uh, to, anyway, so, uh, rest in peace, Star Trek experience. I, I completely 100% agree. I lived on Paradise, by the way, when they first opened the rest the Star Trek experience. And they basically recreated the, the whole, uh, you know, enterprise command really? center kind of thing. And then they, that experience got downgraded to be like a bar. Okay. They, they literally, the experience didn't work out so well. And they they downgraded it to uh, you know kind of the bar. Uh, right. I, I say that over and over again because man, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I went to the bar. It wasn't bad. Uh, it just uh, you got to meet like uh, what is that guy Quark? Uh, what's his name? You know, uh, uh, Spark. not Spark. The guy with the big ears. Captain and, Kirk. Uh, not right. Captain Kirk, but it was less about Star Trek and more about like the bar. Okay. Do, do, do you guys know anything about Trek? Like, uh, Trek. No, you, you remember that uh, where they they were on that outpost? Yeah, uh, dude, Deep I, Space Nine, Deep Space Nine. That kind nah, of thing. dude, I'm not a, a Star Trek fan. Not Wars, a dude. Star Trek fan. What's the matter with you people? Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> Michael, who who do I have here? Holy yeah. crap! Uh, back to Dungeons and Dragons for for the rest of us. All right. Yes, yeah. uh, what are the chips of the top row of the rack? Okay, these are collectible chips I've collected from uh, either fans or channels I love. Uh, I've got uh, Craps Hawaii up here. I got Big AZ. I think a uh, check. I got Toothpick. Although no, Toothpick I brought home, dude. Toothpick. Oh no, wait. You brought I got Toothpick. 
I got toothpick is with my silver. He's actually in the bag in the closet. No, we we keep toothpick in the closet. Okay. Because uh, his is actually a bad has value. It's a, he he poured a, a one ounce silver nugget. That wow. he had two fit productions. By the way, the picture of him looking at it at first when he didn't realize what it was. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what the hell was going on with that one. I knew it was. Of David just looking at this, like, what but now, but now I'm like, oh yeah, because I, if you don't know, I love silver, dude. Yeah. I I, lo- do you think I, it could I'm be a, like an investment chip? I'm a or? big. I mean, it's not so much. Well, it's one ounce of silver, so it'll it'll be worth like 150 dollars soon. Okay? Damn. The silver's gonna silver go was... through the roof as soon as uh, J P Morgan gets their foot off the pedal. Right. Dude, because they're market makers in silver. They've been screwing us all over for many, many years. Okay, I just see. so clear. Uh, we love this rack. We, we're gonna have these racks for sale. By the way, I got, I got, I got these racks with collectible checks uh, on it, and um, we got plenty of these racks. We're gonna be selling these racks, so that way you guys can all display. I, these aren't actually all that expensive. Just twenty bucks for the rack. It's solid. It's solid wood. It's nice wood. And you can keep all your all your. Uh, I'm gonna have. All my, I'm bringing one home to put my coins on it because it's, it's hard to display your stuff. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't don't display their coins. You know. I mean, Alan, we keep them in like books. I mean, who cares in books? Right. We want to display it so everyone can see it. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Right. Uh, yeah, but uh, wait a minute. My next Kino video, dude. I, I gotta be honest with you. I was a bit I was a bit tired when I did this last Kino video. I wasn't my normal chipper self. Right. Video? And the good thing is, is that uh, Brian made me play a twenty five cent twenty card, five dollars a pull, dude. Five dollars a pull. Of real money? Yeah, real money. Well, look at this guy, real money. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. I fed it with like I had one of those yeah, little monopoly fake, money. Yeah, little monopoly money. <laughs> and let's just say it worked out brilliantly. Really? Oh yeah, I loved it. Absolutely fantastic. I, I I've been working Kino like an ATM machine this all this entire last two weeks, dude. I'm up eleven grand now. Damn, eleven, 11 thousand in two weeks, dude. Two Jesus. weeks. Jesus. By the way, you didn't read that full comment. At What's the, the full said, comment? Uh oh yeah, <laughs> uh, all those time to watch it, David. Oh yeah, no no I know. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. My Kino is like ASMR. Uh, for those people who have, if you have difficulty falling asleep, apparently my Kino video will put you right out. <laughs> Any one of them. Uh, I, I, I have a husband and wife that came here, and uh, they have me on repeat. I swear to God, that's how she she actually uses one of my. I don't know which one. Probably the one that I think is the most exciting. <laughs> I think it's the most exciting, and this this woman is literally using it to put her. Cause I I have a I do the same thing, but it's a cartoon I watch. Mm-hmm. And it's just not it's Brickleberry. You ever watch Brickleberry, the cartoon? No, it was, it was like on a, Comedy Central for like, like a bear a, thing or no? A bear thing? No, yeah, a little bear. Yeah, there's a little bear that's in the in the in the show Brickleberry. I've not heard of this. I've heard oh of my Brigsby God. Bear. Which one? Brigsby Bear. Brigsby Bear? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, have you guys How never you heard of Brigsby Bear? You guys have never what, heard of Brigsby Bear. What's freaking me out is you knew there was a bear, and now you've never heard of it. What's the matter with you? Because I've heard of Brigsby Bear, and Brickleberry sounds familiar, so maybe that's really? what it was based off of. No, yeah. no. Brickleberry is a, uh, it's just a cartoon. It's about this nonsense about in a park. And it's park rangers, and it's it's really non PC, which I love. Oh, I really? love it. It's a very, yeah, it's it, it's it's an adult cartoon. It's oh, an adult. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait, you gotta watch it because it's it, it's it'll offend the hell was out of like everybody who like gets offended easy, huh? Was it on like Adult Swim or anything like that? Like how? Does... Yeah, it was probably Adult Swim. I'm sure about nine thirty. It, it, dude, it jokes maybe, about being dude on a... maybe I've heard of this actually. Really? Oh, I it's might a lot have heard of fun. Of this. If you guys haven't seen it, just look it up. It's Brickleberry. They have it on Hulu. They some reason they took it off of Netflix or. I don't know one of them. I think it's on Hulu, but you can put it. I I have one episode. I watch it. It puts me right to bed. Wow. You gonna go too? No, you're right. good. I you're mean, tired. I was right, moving buddy. yesterday. A bunch of boxes. Oh really? Um, yeah, he was helping his family move out here. This yeah. is a good man right here. Yeah, I heard. I you. I know you're talking a little bit about that. Yeah. But yeah, already. No. Go. All right, buddy. Right Asta, all right. see you guys. He's not just waving goodbye. Look at me still hanging out. All right, <laughs> we're almost out. We're gonna we're gonna go right to seven thirty. All right, here we got. Yeah, dude, we got mouse. Wow, that's a hot seat, buddy. Whoa, whoa. Almost a Timmy ass right there. <laughs> Why, does no, he have a hot ass? No one can heat up a seat like Timmy, though. That's, that's okay. the, all right, see you, buddy. I don't know, maybe Alex could. No, 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 Alex isn't even, Alex got a cold ass, dude. Really? No, he doesn't have a hot ass like I Timmy. I thought he was dude. blowing bombs out there, so. I mean, that's true, that's true. <laughs> the, the seat may have, uh, be a little bumpy, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you know what I mean, not be, be worse for wear. Right, right. But uh, he records those, just so you know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't. If you'll I never still miss, you you talk it up so much. I gotta see this now. No, he, I gotta he's see got it. one on his phone. He'll he'll show you the best one, dude. So if you guys don't know, Alex, Alex will he, dude. If 
if he's sharp, if he had a really record-breaking sharp, he's going to record. If he knows it's on its way, he's going to record that so he can share that with everyone. If it's good enough, I bet you he'd frame it yeah. too, bro. <laughs> uh, it, no, no, he would frame it. That would become, uh, yeah, no, 100%. Right, I, right. I was literally on the way into a conference meeting, and mm-hmm. he's literally, I, I couldn't, it was him in an elevator. Right. And there's this weird noise going on in the background. <laughs> And at first, I had no idea what I was looking at because I, all I'm seeing is this elevator. And right, it's like, right. no, no, listen. And I'm like, oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What the hell, dude? Who does that? <laughs> oh, my dude. This, I mean, he, that's how you know. Yeah, you bro. don't know. You don't, you, 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 uh, that's Alex, dude. That's yeah. Alex. Alex will just rip it and record it and let you know and just want to share that with you. And uh, yeah, dude, what I mean, to add to your, to, to your day, dude? I don't know, maybe he eats a lot of kimchi or something like that. You know he, he comes across some really amazing videos, by the way. Uh, one of them is, uh, oh, my God. Apparently, he's got a – listen to this. He's been mm-hmm. using the damn info thing to make all his reservations. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's showing up on my calendar as my reservations because we both use the same email. And so his girlfriend's in town and, and then I'm getting, I'm buzzing in. I know exactly where he's at right now. Anybody know where he's at? Anybody wants to know where Alex is right this second, I could tell you because apparently he had reservations at some restaurant. Wow, a really? nice restaurant too. Really? Wow, that little bastard. I don't know where he's getting the money from. Dude, I mean, listen, I, I, I don't know if I should hope for it or hope against it, but maybe he's gonna forget that it's shared with you, and he's gonna make a reservation at some sketchy place. No, he, he, no. oh yeah, right. He's <laughs> yeah, gonna be yeah. like the Sapphire Deco is gonna pop a bottle service is uh, is available at Sapphire. He wouldn't even care. He doesn't. It's sketchy. Are you kidding me? Alex doesn't care about it. Oh, yeah. It's sketchier the better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He would love it as long as he's there to record it and share it with everybody. I oh, think yeah, that's. Invite yeah. me next key. time for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we've been we've definitely been making the tour of restaurants here because you know we know a lot of people ask us about what we like to. eat. I don't know why anybody asks me what I like to eat. Yeah. I mean, dude, you gotta no expand sense. your palate. Maybe this is how you will expand your palate, bro, by going around and trying new stuff. I'm just looking for the best cheesecake now, but the thing is, I got to get through the rest of the meal to get to the cheesecake. I don't know how to just go in and just order cheesecake. Can you imagine? No, I mean you can just order, dude. Go to like New York Cheesecake Factory or something like well, that. Well, I mean, that, uh, factory. dude, that uh, I mean, obviously, yeah. you can show up at Cheesecake Factory, but imagine going to like the steakhouse and just like saying, "Listen, I just want cheesecake." Dude, dude who? Why? Why I care, just, bro? Just well, I just sit want down the and dessert. be like, "Yo, give me my cheesecake now." You know really? Yeah. Who? Does, I got to get to a hundred dollar steak to get to the damn cheesecake. Nah, like, you dude, can just we don't serve. The, do you think they just serve dessert there? They'll be like, "Sure." If you're a paying customer, bro, why, why, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Like, what do you? Yeah. <laughs> What are you gonna stop him for? We we did we did actually do that. We went to this Italian restaurant that has these Italian bikes in the in the inside the restaurant. Like what do you mean by like like riding a like a bicycle? So that's the that's the whole theme is that okay. they it's a restaurant inside a inside a casino. Okay. It used to be a casino hotel. Now it's just a hotel working on becoming a casino kind okay, of thing. Okay, all right. It, this is this is a bit of a story, but anyway, mm-hmm. so it's this guy who's got an Italian restaurant, and he has uh yeah he has Italian bike because Italians are known for bicycle i thought that was like a france thing but sure yeah, yeah. and oh, well the french too because there's yeah. by the way that's not just the uh uh what tour de france there's a yeah. tour to italy really i yeah, did not yeah. know that I'm there's a tour to spain wow okay that's like there's uh there's a couple tours yeah it's not right. just everyone thinks it's just a tour de france there's right. a whole circuit europeans love bicycles yeah i know that europeans are huge uh, uh huge. cyclers yeah, you can make sure. serious you, you can't make any money on a bicycle in uh in the united states or maybe you can i don't know i, I mean I, I if you can i wouldn't know yeah but anyway, so they, yeah. they have this. What do we have there? The gelato. That was we, we hated the meal. We don't want to rest mention the restaurant because the, the meal kind of sucked. I see. All right, but, but the, the gelato, gelato was good. That gelato slap. Do you remember? The restaurant we went to that like, took forever to get to. Yeah, it took us forever. It was the middle of COVID. We couldn't even oh, get there. We shit. had to like. Right. It was a, the food was okay, but the gelato. Like, the gelato was oh, really gelato good. Was, right, Luckily, that was we special. stayed for the gelato. And and gotcha. and sitting there under the, under the 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 bicycles was a kind of a different cool experience you know what the best the like mm-hmm. dessert ever was what we yeah went to this place in california this italian restaurant <laughs> yeah they made they made a sorbet okay a lime sorbet inside a lime oh that's sounds oh, sick like, yeah inside dude, of, that, like the case that was in california wow. man we it was amazing because I so it was this was in Beverly Hills. Okay. I, I got to I got to stay at the uh, Alex convinced me to stay at an Airbnb right. in Beverly Hills. So you're thinking it's in Beverly Hills, right? right? It's right off of Wilshire too. So it's like a more of this only these nice houses, right, expensive right. thing. What a piece uh, of crap! Right. The was, worst Airbnb. Wow, I, I had to go to the. Right I there. had never stayed at an Airbnb before, mm-hmm. yeah. and this Airbnb was on just ridiculous. Some dude. ratchet Airbnb. It was there. ratchet. Yeah. Dude, you walk in. <laughs> you had to go in like the back through this like. Yeah, because yeah, you say Beverly Hills. I would expect it to be like bougie. Yeah, you know I mean bougie. Yeah. 
No, there was boogery, dude. <laughs> it was just, it was literally like, if I'd have walked in there while picking my nose, perfect. Just, just in like a. You might have actually dude. improved it. No, yeah, I swear yeah, to God. Yeah. In fact, even the other part of the house that was rented out to some other family, they tried to break into our place because they couldn't figure. Out. The directions were so weird. Actually, you were and, even there. And the hard, yeah, he was there. The, the yard was all overgrown. It was a shithole. Can I say shithole on YouTube? Are we past the three I, I, minute? Yeah. We, we already, you, know, you already said boob in the beginning. All right, yeah. so this was literally just a whole nother level of, of hole with shit in it. Gotcha, God. I feel that. And the beds were all lumpy. It was supposed to be double beds with a suite, two different rooms. So he would have, and it ended up being, dude, look like, I, I've stayed in bigger places when I was in camp. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, out out in the woods kind of thing. It was so uh, weird. I, I, I they just like rolled that, yeah. a cart into this flipping thing. It was terrible. <laughs> no, That's it was actually terrible. Terrible. it really was terrible. But anyway, so but the good news is we we walked down this street, right? In, you know, in the middle of nowhere, basically in California. I know California fairly well, but this this area, and all of a sudden we came across this Italian restaurant, right? In the I mean, and it turned out to be we looked it up on. Uh, on Google, thank you. I was gonna. I don't know what I was gonna say. Yeah. And uh, it got great ratings. We went in there, and it was it was like, um, it was very sort of uh, you know for California. You know how it's like very rustic. Okay. Yeah. Everything is like authentic. Yeah, yeah. it's like a yeah. It gives you off a certain like culture yeah, vibe. Very like culture vibe. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, it. They don't have to really be too upstat. Yeah. And yeah. somehow they still get away with charging you a fortune. Yeah. For that's how it there. always is. Yeah. And you're eating on like you know nap you know pan you know, uh, what is it paper plates it was it was a little Wait, better. Wait really? No wow, okay. no. I was about no, to say like, yeah. <laughs> but but the tables were like you know they just look like they need a little work the okay. place is kind of small okay. the walls were coming apart even mm -hmm. the bathroom you couldn't access directly you had to go around this back alley dang and it was just to, to it was fair, uh, the code the, restrictions were a lot rougher than yeah in California. yeah okay. there was this there was this poor lady there and i have to say poor lady because she was she was literally you know when the karen thing was going on everybody yeah, yeah. was a karen yeah yeah and we saw a karen dude oh there was a oh karen man there? it was a total karen dude oh, so a geez. tall white lady right yeah. And she's like, you don't know who I am. She, she wanted to go through the kitchen to the bathroom, right. like old school. But they're making you go around the back because of COVID, you know, restrictions. You couldn't, yeah. you're not allowed to go into the back, right, whatever. Right. You know, you just couldn't go that way. And they're like, dude, we would love for you to go through, but you know, California law right now doesn't let you. And she was going on, you don't know who I am. She was like, you just don't know. <laughs> about not having enough people she wanted to bring people in yeah more people in. she's like you know oh, I'm, yeah. yeah she was like and yeah. the whole time we're listening to her going oh my god honey just this is yeah. what this is why karen's get a bad name dude yeah you're, well you're, yeah covid restriction and everything she's like yeah i just want to bring 10 more people uh, and I'm like, what the? yeah she was like and the, and the poor guy you had to explain to her you know that uh just like everybody else yeah, you gotta yeah. go around back honey you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah, and she yeah, just totally. wasn't buying it yeah she yeah. was slowly getting more and more pissed off and how dare you, you know, deprive my, you know, yeah, yeah. my peeing, you know, needs, you know. Yeah, yeah, I feel that, yeah. All right, yeah, are, yeah. Some people, I don't even know how Rough. those people exist, bro. No, it's easy, dude. I'm not, I guess You I'm, live in Beverly Hills long enough and you're just like, I, I shouldn't guess. say, there's a lot of good people in Beverly I Hills. I mean, do you think that that sort of behavior will happen less, like, in this generation? Or, because, I don't know, I feel like a lot of Karens are around the same age range, if I'm being honest. Really? Yeah, I feel like they're all, like, 40 to I mean, if we don't all melt first... I, I mean, it's been a little hot. Yeah. There's a whole town up in flames in Canada, dude. It's just like overheated. Wait, in Canada? Isn't no, supposed to be like 120 degree weather, like 120 Dang. degree Fahrenheit. Some Arizona type stuff. In I some yeah. Canada town. Can you imagine? Yeah. That's when you know something's wrong with the world. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, for sure. holy crap. That really? Because yeah. we wake up, it's 120, and that's like, you know, balmy. Yeah, you know what I mean? we're we're good. We're, yeah, we gotta wear a sweater, through. right? Yeah. I mean, it's a little chilly out. All right. Yeah. Opposite of bougie as yes, boogery. Well, anyway, so this place was fantastic, dude. Uh, we really loved it. I mean, you're I talking was, about, you're talking about sorbet, stunned. right? No, no, the whole food. the whole food. Oh, all the food was good, dude. The raviolis there were so good, and and the lasagna was so good. I mean, everything was just it was like it was unbelievable. Like, wow. uh, I was very impressed. Yeah, but see, you, the budget goes out of the uh, furniture and into the food. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> literally, the, out of the whole place and into yeah. the food. It was all about the food there. Yeah. <laughs> you could clearly tell they were Italian. It was very authentic. Yeah, no, it's very authentic. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Like, gotcha. even the guy was speaking broken English. Yeah, it was I actual Italians doing Italian, which what Italians do best. Hell yeah. Make raviolis. Hell yeah. Make raviolis <laughs> and uh, cycle. And, uh, <laughs> but that, you, know what, you know what? Coming to Vegas, by the way, right. you can go into any hotel, almost any hotel nowadays, and just walk through, and you'll find some pretty cool stuff. Everything is changing so often. 
You right. you got to do a staycation. I mean, you just got here. You're yeah, sort of yeah. on vacation still. You're right, in like right. the first week, though. No? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I I did just get here, but since I started working pretty like fast, yeah, yeah, I don't have as much free time. Even though I just got here, I don't have much time to explore. I know, we hired you right away, dude. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, uh, unemployment has uh, got to be low. It's either that or everyone's staying home. I don't know what the hell's going on, but there's yeah. like so many extra jobs here. Yeah. We're like, listen, we like pilfered you <laughs> yeah, yeah, before you found just, your way to Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah, just scoop me up real quick. But you guys were talking about how they're like, you know, there was like Treasure Island and there were like buffets open, right? And now that stuff is gone. For a new resident like me, I'm hoping that it doesn't have to be the exact same stuff, but all, new stuff opens up. You know what I mean? Yeah. New bigger stuff, hopefully, I mean, opens so, up there for me to explore. There's spots out here still that are open that survive. Right, yeah. So you know, if you like ramen, so our ramen is really good. Yeah. Right? yeah. So Jinja's like a chain. That's why I don't recommend it. But Sora is like to Vegas. Gotcha. Yeah. So Sora is actually not that far from the school. If mm -hmm. you want to try it, it's authentic Japanese Ooh. ramen. David right. doesn't like it so much, but everyone likes <laughs> it. Gina? I love Gina. <laughs> you love no, Gina. I think every, everyone loves Gina. So oh, yeah. I love I loved the Gina ramen. But if you're willing to go, because everyone who loves ramen, right. like, taken there, absolutely fell in love with this place. I mean, I love ramen, so I'm sure. You I love, love ramen? I lo Wait, you don't like ramen, bro? Come on. Dude, now. I, I love top ramen all day long, bro. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Cup ramen is fine, right? 16 cents, uh, 16 cents. Yeah, that's some, yeah. That's, that's some good stuff. Yeah, that is some good stuff. No, yeah, that's that. You come with a coupon, you can get like a whole crate yeah, for like a dollar. Yeah, you can get like <laughs> boxes of them, yeah, for sure. You know what? That's a great idea, by the way. Christopher Bird Trucking, we need a best late night eats in Vegas. You know what? It, as much as people say it's a 24-hour town, it's really not. Yeah. They have cafes that are open 24 hours, but there's not a lot of good restaurants over. Especially coming out of COVID. Yeah, you know what's a great late night Asian place? Pink Pang Pong. Is that actually what it's called? Uh, it is yeah, called Ping Pang Pong. I love Pink saying Pong. that, dude. That's one of my favorite words. One of my other favorite words is foul, and I can't say it on YouTube. But right. Ping Pang Pong is fantastic. Ping, Pong They're open until 3 a.m. Yeah. Ping what Pang do they Pong. serve there, bro? It's oh, Chinese food. Oh, just, Chinese, oh, just, good, just good food, right? Ping Pang Pong, Ping, dude. Pong, what does that bro? sound like to you? I, mean, come I don't on. know. Yeah. <laughs> but there, there's a couple steakhouses. There's one up the street from us that's open to like 4 in the morning. There's a couple places. We'll have to check that out because... Uh, when we're saying late night, we mean like really late night. Top of the world's open till when? I think only like two, maybe one or two. It's still pretty late. Oh, dude, That's what, pretty late. I don't know. When I think of late night food, I just automatically. What do you think like, of late I, night food? I think of Denny's just instantly. Oh, I knew I loved this kid, dude. Right. Oh and my we're, god. We're black, we're done. No, no, we're not done. <laughs> we got to talk about Denny's. Wait, dude. how do you? Got, wait, how is that not dollar. the first thing you think of? The, okay, I don't know how it is Denny's? in other states, uh, but in New York. Denny's you, is yeah, big, huh? Because it's I not that it's I miss big. New York. It's just that you you drink at like you know eleven or twelve or one, right? Yeah. And you just have like a party all that long, and it's basically morning already. You somehow end up in Denny's. Yeah. So yeah, you get to a Denny's and you order some breakfast. I end up in That's Denny's the all the time, bro. dude. That's no, the absolute yeah, classic. For, I don't need any reason. Like, yeah. I don't need any. I literally went to like a well Denny's lookalike today. A really good local. You know what? We found a place uh, on uh, East Charleston. Okay. That's uh, what's it called? The uh, blue skillet. Blue, blue skillet. Yeah. And uh, it's fantastic, dude. It's really? it's a little. It, it's mostly caters to like a Mexican community. Okay. And the food's fantastic. It's Mexican food or is it American food? No, no. It's it's, no, it's all it's Denny's like food. Oh, it's like Denny's a, food. Gotcha. Yeah. It's a Denny's food. You go there for pancakes. Got, yeah, yeah. I feel and that. it's cheap yeah. and it's a like, great service mm -hmm. and it's just fantastic. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. We're gonna give this a five minute warning. Uh, got me yeah. so excited about Denny's. I got like a second rush, dude. Yeah. That's like that's like <laughs> adrenaline just, for well, me. Five minutes. If you if you start talking Olive Garden, I don't like. I'm not a big fan. Of, I used to be a huge fan of Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've I've since uh, lowered my expectations. All it's right. weird that you like Denny's more than Olive Garden. Mel, hey Mel, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I love Mel, by the Mel. way. Yeah, awesome. we Mel is a, a big uh, craps guy. All right, sick. And uh, we had some people coming in to work the easy the other day. Uh, you don't know the easy. We're not even gonna talk craps with him. Mel, he doesn't know craps yet. He's still going to school. I will. He will. He will. Yeah. So he, it would be kind of lost. But uh, I'm a big. I've been a big fan of Mel even before YouTube. Like he's been around longer than us. Yeah. And uh, he hardcore craps, hardcore craps, hardcore crap strategies, mm -hmm. uh, for people like myself who are really looking to sort of change the game. Uh, huh? 99, 99. Damn! Damn! There we Dude, go. You gotta buy me ramen now. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to take, we'll have to bring him in. He's going to be, uh, we're going to add him to our uh, little mix. Yeah, because we'll, uh, it works for me because I literally have never tried this food before. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a complete newbie to Vegas yeah. food. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I, I can't wait to go to Hawaii. We're, we're oh, hoping to expand Hawaii. into Hawaii. Sick. Just have no, It's going to be Craps Quest over there, dude. If um, you don't know much about, like, you know, Hawaiians love craps. Really? Like, okay. literally love craps. Wow. The California Club, Main Street Station are all about 
Hawaii. They call this what the Ninth Island. Ninth, Ninth, Ninth Island. Island. No, okay. seriously. I mean, they they literally have casinos that cater to nothing but. If you're a dealer here in town, a craft dealer here in town, mm -hmm. and you know that there's a group of Hawaiians coming to play, right? Like, you know, uh, you know that you're gonna get action. You're gonna be busy. The great thing about it is, it's not so much like. It's it's great action. All it's right. place bet action. It's pressing action. It's aggressive play that most crap dealers, if you love craps, love to deal. Gotcha. I used to work at the Gold Coast years ago before mm -hmm. California Club was uh, California was still a thing. You know they catered to Hawaiians, but we would be, we would get a heads up when we had a, a large group of Hawaiians come into wow. the casino. Sick. We'd move over to that five dollar game, which was a high limit game at the time. Right. Uh, five dollar right. game, yeah. big game. Wow. And uh, all, they would and here they come mm -hmm. and they'd fill up both sides. So we had eight eight maybe nine to a side mm -hmm. and all five hundred dollar thousand fifteen hundred dollars and remember this is the early 90s i mean this is some serious money yeah and they they come to press and play the no no fooling around wow they, they're they're just in oh uh, it's fantastic i mean there's there's literally no and I, I say it as a racial thing because there's no other group out there i've ever experienced and i've been a dealer for 30 years right, right. that i that where that plays out Wow. You know what I mean? Like literally. I wonder how that started, but all right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they just. I here's the thing. So just like in you know in the war when they dropped all that spam, they they, they must have threw down a few sets of dice. <laughs> I guess what so, happened, yeah. Mel? How did how did how did Hawaii fall in love with craps? Uh, I don't know. By the way, Mel, I'd love to meet you sometime, man. Right. No, you'll meet Mel. He'll yeah. be by. He's uh, we we love Mel. He said he's gonna come down in September to see you guys. Oh, fantastic! You know, there was a guy that was here. His name's Carl, right? He said he was a Patreon yeah. member. Uh, he's yeah. he's from Hawaii, and he was literally talking oh. about craps. By the way, yeah. thank you, Paul. Look at that beef ramen. That's a big ass coupon. He was talking yeah. about who was it? Oh, uh, yeah. Carl. Yeah, his name's no, no, hundred yeah, percent, dude. Yeah. We have a lot of. We, uh, it's just, it's just a thing, dude. Dude, I cannot wait to learn craps, man. Literally, really? every person I've ever met since I got here yeah. has been talking about nothing but craps, which yeah. is the one game I'm like the least familiar with. Yeah. I can't wait to learn it, play it, you know, get get deep into the weeds on that. Yeah, no, you're you're gonna love it, dude. I've I've I'm trying to think back culturally, like what other sort of you know I, i've dealt to a lot of I, I used to have uh rio used to have a um these three chinese guys that would have you know big limits okay and uh believe it you know chinese of course you know are, are big baccarat players right baccarat's Bac the, the main game i know that uh they play a lot of mahjong but, yeah mahjong yeah yeah but, but baccarat's Bac Bac big oh Bac Bac actually big. i think someone told me about no, that 100 yeah, percent is a huge yeah, you go to yeah, macau yeah. it's like yeah, the cat was literally with 90 percent yeah. baccarat tables maybe some roulette mm -hmm. and then like one dice game in amongst really? 700 Dude, they have um, the Venetian Macau mm -hmm. has something like 700 tables, of which only Jesus two, I think, Christ. or three are dice games. Holy. The rest are all, and if they have all these themed, big, massive themed casino areas that are right. bigger, that have bigger floor space than anything we have here in this town. That's you know actually wild. It, it's um, tremendous. So, so a big pit here is 120 games. Can you imagine 700 tables? When I say big pit, I mean the biggest pits in town will run from 80 to 100 games, give or take. I haven't been to Resorts World, not sure how many how many games they have on the floor, but can you imagine almost 700 tables on one I literally can't. Floor? Like, I would have to, have to go there and visit. No, you'd have to go there. Yeah. So most of it's Baccarat. But anyway, so we mm -hmm. would have these uh, three Chinese guys, mm -hmm. and uh, they would somehow, they would, uh, you know, not often, but every now and then they would come in with a bigger, uh, a bigger credit line. And uh, their play was very, you know, uh, it was place bets primarily, okay. and it would be, you know, 800 across. Or okay. six, you don't know the six fifty across, yeah. six seventy five across base bets. Okay, which is something like if you were on a, on a dice game. So Mel would know this. Like if, if they were like if you get twenty seven across or or, or fifty four across, something like this, and it was just same bet. They wow. had no pressing strategy. There was no. It was just. I bet a lot of money wow, and I collect. Yeah, you speak, yeah, speaking of Mel, thanks for the. Well, Mel, bucks. there you go. Smallest package of spam. Oh, spam <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Yeah, so Mel has a channel that's really about looking at the game in a different way. Okay. And a lot of channels, uh, you know, work strategies, different things like this, but but his is somewhat unique in that respect. Okay. So, but anyways, all right. Uh, what else do we got? Well, We're up. Five minute warning is over. Oh, your five minute warning? Oh, that, yeah. Leave it up to me to go past the five minutes. Because yeah. <laughs> now we got everybody tuning in. See. Yeah. Chop some span, add it to your ramen. You know, I was at the California Club. You know, you go to California Club on uh, mm -hmm. the second floor there. They have a little cafe, and okay. uh, and you can add spam and into any meal. It really? can be Why? part of any hell? any meal. Yeah, yeah add yeah. your water. <laughs> sure. I mean, that's yeah. I mean, that's the experience. Like, uh, mm -hmm. you, you'd be surprised at literally everything. You could add it to quite literally everything. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's why they call it spam. Right? <laughs> you just you spam, just spam it, it? Yeah, you spam it, yeah. No, have you ever had spam? I love. I mean, I don't. I don't want to say I love spam. It's kind of a weird thing to love, but I've, yeah. I enjoy spam. I've had it. Really? I enjoy it, yeah. 
I don't know if I don't know if it's a Korean thing. Really? But they but you, you in, use spam. Yeah, in my family, yeah, you like you put on like rice and eggs. And, you have oh. spam eggs and rice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when I was a kid, I would have it uh, as just as a deli meat. I see. You All know, right. in a sandwich. I've never had spam in a sandwich. Before. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I eat it, like, on a side. Yeah. Oh, really? On a side? No, no. Yeah. Totally on a side. All right, where we got? Have we? Have we? Have we? Uh, oh, well, yeah, we we're we're starting to reduce. All right, all right, guys, we uh we thank you very much. And uh, all right, here we go. Mahjong tile game I'm seeing around town. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know if Mahjong tile. I think it's. Uh, are you sure it's just not Pi Gao tiles? Uh, I'm not sure if they're. I don't think that they're playing actual Mahjong tile. Oh, right, here, let me just answer some of these questions real quick. Oh, fireworks, fantastic. Don't forget to drop an egg in the ramen. That's good. Of course. Spam and fried rice, very good. Uh, what's the deal of a Mahjong tile? I I don't know of a Mahjong tile game. I don't know. I don't even As know how to a, play Mahjong. Uh, no. So, yeah. uh, hi from Wisconsin, fantastic. Uh, we have a few people from Wisconsin here. I've been looking for a place to rent. Would uh, better off renting an apartment or house. The price is similar, dude. Uh, you might want to go with a house. Uh, apartments are getting up there, so you could probably find a house. Especially look for houses with rooms to rent. So there's maybe more of those. We've had we've had a few people with luck on that one. Anyways, uh, spam Asubi I've had. Oh, see, we waited just long. Enough. Aloha, Dave and uh, Alex Kraft, Hawaii eight one seven old man Fiji. Thank you so much, sir. All right, we are uh, we're gonna take off. We're gonna get some rest and go home. We have been uh, very busy uh, upgrading this whole the retail footprint here. Yeah. And uh, thanks so much, Isaac, for being part of our little crew. Yeah, thank you guys so much, man. I love being a part of this crew. It's great. Good stuff. Thank yeah. you, guys. Take care. Bye.